Hey, 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 everybody. It be Key Coins, your favorite fat man. <laughs> What's up, lady kid? What's up, Dizzy? How y'all is? I seen AZ and Nightmare was in here a few minutes before I started. Are y'all ready for an auction? Na 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 auction. And Dizzy, she's up and down. Sometimes she is, sometimes she's not. So, um, two sixty for my stream. Oh, I forgot to get this up right here. Um, kitchen window. Okay, make sure it's working. Yes, it's working. Boom. Oops. <laughs> There we go. I am back up here. Yeah, right, there we go. Boom. Hey, Silver Shark, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for her to go to the specialist, so... Hopefully we hear something tomorrow. Let me put me up here till we get some more people in here. Four people in right now. Hopefully everybody sees that I win. Hey, what's up, Donald? How you doing, Bubba? I just need to wash it again. Last time I washed it, it turned out pretty good. Oh, nothing much, Dizzy. My name's Big T. I'm everybody's favorite fat man. And it's great to see you here first time in my chat. Lady kid, I got to say, your husband had me cracking up the other night when I was in there. Oh, my God. He had me cracking up. What's up, Steve? All right. That's cool, Steve. That's cool. We'll be around here for quite a few hours. Yeah, Mr. Clever Coin name. It, he, I tell you, he had me cracking up like crazy. And the more his, um, hey, clever, and the more his uh, edible kicked in, I think the funnier he got. Yes, Donald. Yes, you may. Yes, you may, because I know you're good. Mr. Ink Master, how you doing? Hey, baby, why don't you start popping up the link? <clears throat> oh, there's Mr. Time Killer. You 
Just another BS Monday. Yep, Ink Man, I know how you're feeling there. Oh, and by the way, particular uh, just random uh, packages will be having Time Killers stickers stuck in them as they go out this week. Let's hurry up and get to 20 people. Uh, you are welcome, Donald. You are welcome. Do, 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 do. Uh, yep, Dizzy, you sure do. <laughs> Yeah, well, all right, y'all. Mama T said y'all get a chance to drop her an email at PA underscore Kimmy at yahoo.com. That is her email, PA underscore Kimmy at yahoo. At yahoo. Yeah, Counter Down John's going to be trying to uh, get both of his channels going. The Time Killer is the original Counter Down John. And the new Time Killer channel is... The new Counter Down John channel is the... Went over to Time Killer. He ch just changed places with him. Yeah, <laughs> Mama T said you change your name as often as you change your drawers. He says he thinks he changes his name more often. <laughs> oh my God! Yep, fifteen people. Hello, people that have not said hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in, take a seat. There's plenty of seats out there waiting for y'all. That's cool, Dizzy. I need to get a new one. I'm, I'm using the same one I started with. I need to change it to a little hobo. Hey, AZ, how you doing? We are doing good. What's up, CM Silver? CM Lurker. Let's call him CM Lurker. <laughs> River, how you doing? Okay, since Mama T wants to put it out there. Next Tuesday, not tomorrow, a week from tomorrow, is Big T's birthday. Okay. So, Monday, next Monday night's auction is going to be auction birthday, birthday party. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Josh? How you doing? Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, River, I am going to be 52. I am going to be 52 next Tuesday. No, I'm only going to be six months older than you. Yeah, but no, but I'm only six. I was only born six months before you, so yeah.
<laughs> uh, you say that, but yet you look older than me, so. <laughs> Holy shite what, River? <laughs> yeah, everybody send Mama T an email. She'd like to get everybody's emails. I'm not picking on Mama T. I'm picking on Traveling John, Time Killer. Traveling time killer counter down John. Traveling time counter down John killer. Something like that. <laughs> hey, Miss Ida. How you doing, hon? I don't know if they can. I've got it over here by me because I don't want you straining your voice. But Mama T says hello to everybody. Her voice is not there. Uh, that's great, Miss Ida. That's great, 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 great. Oh, just to let everybody know, next Wednesday... I'm going to be holding another auction, but it won't be for me. It's going to be for Wheat Back Attack. He has a bunch of stuff he wants to get, get rid of, and he wants me to host it. So look for an auction next, next Wednesday also. I'll be holding one for Wheat Back Attack. And then also this coming up Sunday is also Redneck Metals next auction. Oh, it's no problem, Miss Ida. Uh, he called me today and I talked to him. So we already got it planned. He's going to get me a list of everything this weekend. So Mama T can do a, a spreadsheet for him too. Hey, Gleason, my good buddy. How you doing? All we need is one more person at 20. I say show 19. Oh, no, I don't ever mind, Miss Ida. You know that. I tell everybody they can call me anytime they want to. And if they don't have my number, all they do is got to email me and I'll send them my phone number. Ain't like half the community don't already have it. <laughs> You are E-21. Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right. You're seeing 20. Oh, you're seeing 21. I'm seeing 19. Mine hasn't refreshed yet. Come on, refresh. I believe it, Dizzy. I believe it. Come on. Change update. 20 is a magic number on my end to start the, uh, to start the, uh, 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 auction. Come on, 20. Let me see 20. Yeah, but mine mine's not showing twenty. Mine is. is it? Huh? It's not updating. Are you ready? Yep. I guess we'll go ahead and start. Mama T saying she's seeing twenty also. All right, cool, Gleason. Yep. Go ahead and start up the spreadsheet one more time. Hey, Jason, how you doing, Bubba? There's a spreadsheet. What's up, Mud? How you doing, Bubba? 
Yep, I see 23 now. All righty. All righty. There we go. I got number one up here waiting for Mama T to drop the link. What's up, Jado? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, this is an A, B, or C choice. Starting bid is a dollar. Right here is two rolls of BU, 1964P. Got two rolls of 64B. I mean, did I say B? 64P. <laughs> I said B. 64P. Philly. You get two rolls of them. Or in B. Three rolls of. Sixty two P got three rolls of them. Starting bid is a dollar, your choice. You either get stack one, stack two, or stack three, or you can take all three. That is 62D. And 63P. We got Time Killer starting off with a dollar. We got a dollar do we here too. A dollar here we do we here too. These are BU rolls. They have not been searched. They were just placed in here. This is the way I got them. So there could be some good errors, die cracks. Who knows what? I, hey, Dana, how you doing? Yep, I have not. All I did was got them and stuck them in bags. We got Dana with two. Two to be here, three. We got three of a time killer. Three to be here, four. Three to be here, four. We got four. Four to be here. Five. It is your choice. You take one, two, or three, or all three of them, or just two of them. Doesn't matter. Time killer five. Five to be here. Six. All right, Dizzy. Five to be here. Six. We got five to be here. Six. Cat five to be here six. B U rolls. We got sixty four P, sixty two P, and a sixty two D and a sixty three P right here. We got a bunch of PPs. <laughs> we got five to be here six. Five to be here six. You have me counting down tonight? Yeah, All right. We got five to be here, six. We got five to be here, six. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh, it does, doesn't it? Sounds like a good uh, slasher movie. Yeah, I know. You didn't notice that? Yeah, clever's in the room. 
We got five. Do we hear a six? All righty. Nobody else going once. Uh, nope, they're not mud swat. They are 62, 63, and 64. They are not. Oh, we But you might find some errors. Five, do we hear six? We got five, do we hear six? Five, do we hear six? Going twice. Going twice. Five, do we hear six? Five, do we hear six? Last call. Five, do we hear six? All in, all out. Encounter down, John. And so the time killer, which ones you want, time killer? Time killer takes all. So that's five times three. Okay, let me mark these all these bags here. Oh, wrong one. What's up, Hustler? How you doing, Bubba? Lot number two. Nineteen seventy one, uncirculated, mint set. Right here. And it has both all three pennies, P, D, and S on the pennies. P and D on the coins, P, D, S on the pennies. Hero Hidden. Thank you, Hidden. Starting bid is five. Five dollars on the seventy one. That is the seventy one mint set. PD and S pennies, PD on the other coins. Looking for a five dollar start. Time killer five. Five to be here six. We got five to be here six. Five, did we hear a six? Come on, y'all. That's the PD and S on the pennies. PD on all the other coins. 71. I know there's somebody out there born in 71 that needs a set. Uncirculated, right there, original thing.
We got Dizzy at six. Six, do we hear seven? We got six, do we hear seven? Seven, we got seven with Dana. Seven, do we hear an eight? Seven, do we hear an eight? 71, uncirculated set right there. Purdy coins. Purdy, purdy, purdy. They are uncirculated. Uncirculated. It's got a little toning right there, Miss Sida. A little bit. Not much. It's trying to start toning. Got a little bit on the back. You can barely see it, but it's got a little bit around the edges. It's just starting to tone. We got seven. Do we hear an eight? We got seven. Do we hear an eight? A uh, seven. Do we hear an eight? We got eight. Do we hear a nine? At eight, do we hear a nine? We got an eight. Do we hear a nine? What's up, Chris? What's up, son? Eight, do we hear a nine? Come on, we got eight. Do we hear a nine? This is an au auction. Eight, do we hear a nine? Eight, do we hear a nine? Eight, do we hear a nine? Anybody else? All righty, going once. Going once. Eight, do we hear a nine? We got eight, do we hear a nine? And eight, do we hear a nine? Going twice. Going twice. Eight, do we hear a nine? And eight, do we hear a nine? Last cow. Not yet, Chris. Eight, do we hear a nine? All in all out. And counter down, John. Oh, yeah, the BU rolls of pennies, Chris. Yes, we did. Already did them. Sorry, Bubba. And so to Time Killer. <laughs> Talk to Traveling John about him. Uh, son, he, yo, he might work something out with you. Traveling John Bottom, Counter Down John, Time Killer John. All righty, y'all. I got number three ready. Nope, John doesn't pay shipping. <laughs> Lot three. Frank Gasparro was the designer of the Lincoln scent. Reverse side shown the Lincoln Memorial. This was introduced in 59 on the 150th anniversary of Lincoln's birthday. Right there. We got, let me see what year. That's a 1956 D. Oh, we did. 
Peggy right there at the end. And then you got the 59 P and D, 60 P and D, 61 P and D, 62 P and D, 63, 64, all P and D's. Miss Ida at five. There's the bat. Yeah, let's go. Boo, 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 boo. What the hell is John doing Poppin' Thompson? Yeah, what are you doing Poppin' Thompson's? Mama T want to know what you're doing Poppin' Thompson's. John Pops Thompson? I know, she said, why are you Poppin' Thompson's? Right there, we got Miss Ida at five. Do we hear a six? We got five. Do we hear a six? Five. Do we hear a six? We got five. Do we hear a six? Five. Do we hear a six? Nobody else. Five. Do we hear a six? Going once. Going once. Five, do we hear a six? We got five, do we hear a six? Five, do we hear a six? Going twice. Going twice. Five, do we hear a six? Five, do we hear a six? Last cow. Five, do we hear a six? All in, all out. And counter down, John. Sold to Miss Island for five. We go, Miss Ida. Uh, no, only had the one, Miss Ida. I only had the one. All righty. Right here. Look at that. Ooh, look at them. Franklin Mint Series. American Series 1. Collector's Edition tokens. Well, I'm going to do one better than that. I'm going to go right here to camera mic. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to show some of these up close. We got Booker T. Washington. And starting bet is five. Paul Revere. Alexander Graham Bell. Georgie. Albert. Abe, Alexander, Mark Twain, and Thomas Alva Edison. And let's see who's this right here. Uh, do, 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 do. 
Come on. There. Francis Scott Key. Richard Bird. And John Paul Jones. We got five with Dana. What's up, big dog? And right there, the telephone tells what they did on the back of the Paul Rivera's ride, Tuskegee Institute, crossing the Delaware, EM Squared, Lincoln Log, Lighting, the Ferry Boat, the Telephone. We got Dana with five. Did we hear a six? Star Spangled Banner, Admiral Byrd's flight over the South Pole, John Paul Jones' flagship, right there. You get all those. We got. All righty, we got five to be here. Six, five to be here. Six. Five to be here with six. Anybody else? All righty. Going once. Going once. Hey, Johnny Ray. Five to be here with six. Five to be here with six. Uh, five to be here with six. Going twice. Going twice. Five to be here is six. A uh, five to be here is six. Last call. Five to be here is six. All in, all out. And counter down, John. Hey, Sandra, how you doing, hon? And so to Dana F for five. You need what? Hey, John. Can you get the light for Mama T? All righty, number five here. What have we got? Right here. Look at this. Dime to the 20th century. You got the barber. You got the murky. And they got the Rusey. We got Collective Chris with five. Got five. Did we hear six? Let me see what years these are. <laughs> On the back. Oh, uh, we got a 40, 1940 uh, Mert. A 1908 uh, Barber and a 78 Rosie. So the Rosie's not silver. Two are silver, one is not. Hey, what's up, Juanito? No, the Rosie is not silver. We got five to be here a six. We got five to be here a six. Five to be here a six. 
We got six. Do we hear seven? <coughs> six. Do we hear seven? We got six. Do we hear seven? A six. Do we hear a seven? Six. Do we hear seven? All righty. Uh, Chris is out. Thank you, sir. Going once. Going once. Six, do we hear seven? We got six, do we hear seven? Uh, six, do we hear seven? Going twice. Going twice. Six, do we hear seven? Uh, six, do we hear a seven? Last call. Six, do we hear seven? All in, all out. And counter down, John. You got what? All righty. Sold to Disney for $6. You better not melt them, Dizzy. That's true. It is Dizzy to do what he wants to. All righty. Guess what time it is, y'all? All right, game one is for, let me show you. Boom, right there. 35 silver certificate, 64 EPQ. Exceptional paper quality. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And it's five dollars a penny. Five dollars a penny. All righty. Uh, you know how how it's done. You wait till you see my go, and then you can pick your numbers. All right. Miss Ida, number six and number nine. Hustler at number three. Josh, number six is gone, but you can have number eight. Yep. Gosh, it's number eight. CM number eight is taken, but you can have number five. Donald nine is gone, but you can have number seven. Johnny Ray at two and ten.
I have Donald first at number four. They're five dollars a penny, uh, lady kid. Five dollars. And the only thing I have left is number one. Lady Jax takes number one. <clears throat> All righty. We'll be playing them throughout the night. I got six games in all tonight. After every five items sold, item sold, we have a game. All righty. The number is one. <clears throat> and Donald Harmon. Donald Harmon on number four. Congratulations, Donald. All righty, let's get on to the next one. Move that right there down. All righty, this is going to be choice. This is going to be choice. Starting bid is $3 each. We have a 71 set, no box. Proof set, Mint. Proof set. I got Time Killer at three first. We have a 1975 in the box. All right, let's just go on here. There we go. We got Time Killer at five. Miss Ida's out. We got the 75 set. But you see, the top three are Bicentennial. 75. 75 and 75. And also, we got the 87 set. We got, uh, actually, I got Dana F. at six first. I got Dana at six first. Six, do we hear seven? Counter down John at seven. Do we hear an eight? <clears throat> I got a seven, do we hear an eight? Dean gets eight, and this is choice. Eight, do we hear a nine? I got Mr. Dean at eight. Do we hear a nine? No, I just have a 87, 71, and 75. Time killer at 10. 10, do we hear 11? 10, do we hear 11? Dizzy's out. This is choice. <laughs> Dean with 11. 
11, do we hear 12? Look at the shine on that one, though. I'd say that's a good deep cameo right there. Look at that. Time Killer 12. How you doing, Dean? Long time no see, Bubba. We got 12. Do we hear 13? Uh, 12. Do we hear 13? We got a 14 from Dean. Time killer's out. We got a 14. Do we hear 15? Yep. Mr. Dean put the smack down on that time killer. Uh, 14, do we hear 15? 14, do we hear 15? 14, do we hear 15? Nobody else going once. Going once. Fourteen to be here. Fifteen. A uh, fourteen to be here. Fifteen. Fourteen to be here. Fifteen. Going twice. Oh, sorry to hear that, Jax. Prayers go out to you, hon. Fourteen to be here. Fifteen. A 14 to be here, 15. Last call. 14 to be here, 15. All in, all out. And counter down, John. All right, he sold to Dean. Uh, which ones do you want, Dean? I got the 71, 75, and 87. Hey, what's up, Empyrean? Dean just wants the 75. All righty. 14. Backup bidder, time killer. Time killer takes both. Ready. No problem. Thank you, sir. Don't worry, y'all. We got lots of silver tonight. All right. No problem, Imperian. No problem. Lot seven. Look at that. That's the presidential quarter, the uh, presidential dollars. Thirty beds four. We got dizzy with six. Yeah. 
We got six. Did we hear seven? We got Georgie Porgy, John Adams, Jefferson, and James Madison. Uh, <laughs> funny ink man. All righty, we got six. Do we hear seven? <clears throat> six. Do we hear seven? Yeah, it is cheap. Six. Do we hear seven? Six. Do we hear seven? I know. Six. Do we hear seven? Nobody else? All righty. Going once. Oh, we got seven. Seven. Do we hear an eight? Hey, Alex, how you doing, Bubba? Seven. Do we hear an eight? We got seven. Do we hear an eight? Eight. Do we hear a nine? Eight, do we hear a nine? We got eight, do we hear a nine? Eight, do we hear a nine? Eight, do we hear a nine? We got eight, do we hear a nine? I'm doing great, Alex. Eight, do we hear a nine? Anybody else? <clears throat> going once. Going once. Eight. Do we hear a nine? We got eight. Do we hear a nine? And eight. Do we hear a nine? Going twice. Eight. Do we hear a nine? We got eight. Do we hear a nine? Last call. Eight, do we hear nine? All in, all out. Encounter down, John. And so to Dizzy for eight. Oh, you were quick on that one, huh? Yeah, get him out. All righty. Next one up. Mama T's ahead of me. <clears throat> It's a 2004, uh, five, 2005 United States Mint proof set. Look at that. Ooh, hey. And right behind it is the 2005 quarters with it. Look at that. We got Dizzy Five. Dizzy at Five. Right there, that's got two of the starting nickels right there for the 2005 set. Time Killer at Six. Getting all them sexy little quarters right there. Look at that. Them some sexy little quarters. Six, do we hear seven? <clears throat> Six, do we hear seven? 
We got six. Do we hear seven? Uh, six. Do we hear seven? We got seven. Do we hear an eight? Lady Kid Nichols. Seven. Do we hear an eight? We got seven. Do we hear an eight? Okay. You don't like sexy quarters? How about sexy other ones? Eight. Do we hear a nine? <clears throat> eight. Do we hear a nine? Comes with the COA and everything. Eight. Do we got nine? Nine, do we hear a ten? Nine, do we hear a ten? We got ten. Do we hear eleven? A ten, do we hear eleven? Uh, Dean, no, I went up a while back to five dollars. Right there, it says five dollars. Ten, do we hear eleven? We got ten, do we hear eleven? We got ten, do we hear eleven? Ten, do we hear eleven? Anybody else? Uh, going once. We got 10. Do we hear 11? Now, if you win at a game, you do not have to pay shipping if you win a game. If you only get a game, you don't pay shipping. But if you buy something, and you, know, you do have to pay shipping. <laughs> All righty. 10. Do we hear 11? Uh, 10. Do we hear 11? Going twice. A uh, ten, do we hear eleven? A uh, ten, do we hear eleven? Last call. Ten, do we hear eleven? All in, all out. And counter down, John. Who's been buying all of them? Yep. Yep. Sold to the time killer. Four ten. Well, yeah, because you also owe what for uh fifth forty five for uh Gleason. <clears throat> yeah, lot number nine. Lot number nine. It's the 2007 Proof Quarters. 2007, look at them. Proofity proof, proof, proof. Proof that they are quarters. Starting bid is five. Jim Schmexy, sexy quarters. What about you, Gleason? What, are you sexy? <laughs> Miss Ida at five. Five, did we hear a six? <clears throat> Five, do we hear a six? Five, do we hear a six?
right there. Some sexy schmexy quarters, 2007. And they are proof. Ah, uh, yeah, you would, Gleason. And uh, Juanito, don't you be talking mean about my Gleason. We got five to be here at six. Nobody else? All righty. We got five to be here at six. Oh, we got six. Six to be here at seven. Six, do we hear seven? All right there, six, do we hear seven? We got a six, do we hear a seven? <clears throat> uh, six, do we hear a seven? Anybody else? <clears throat> Anybody else? Six to be here. Seven. Going once. Six to be here. Seven. We got six to be here. Seven. Is that a bit Empyrean? I've never seen anybody spell it out. Empyrean at seven. Seven to be here in eight. We got seven to be here in eight. We got seven to be here in eight. All right, Dean, you have a good one. Thanks a lot, brother. I still got your address. Seven to be here in eight. A uh, seven to be here in eight. Anybody else? And a go in once. A <clears throat> uh, seven to be here in eight. A uh, seven to be here in eight. Seven to be here in eight. Going twice. Seven to be here in eight. We got seven to be here in eight. Last call. A seven to be here in eight. All in, all out. And counter down, John. Uh, Empyrean for seven dollars. Okay, give me just a second. Uh. All righty, lot number 10, Ooh, Americana Series, Own a Piece of America. It even has a little stand in it. Right there. Frontiersman, and it's got four V nickels. Let me see what the dates are for you. They're V nickels, baby. Yeah, well, I use 
1903, 1905, and 1911. So three, four, five, and 11. Right there, three, uh, four of them. We got Miss Ida with five. Five to be here with six. We got the five to be here with six. We got a five to be here with six. A five to be here with six. We got five to be here with six. Uh, five to be here with six. Anybody else? Anybody? All righty, going once. Let me do. Five to be here with six. We got five to be here with six. Uh, five to be here six going twice. Uh, five to be here six. We got five to be here six. The last call. Uh, five to be here six. All in, all out. And counter down, John. And so, Miss Ida May, steal the night. Way to go, Miss Ida. All righty. Guess what time? <clears throat> All righty. Right here. 2019 Panda early release MS70 from NGC with the red Chinese writing. Republic of China. 2019. NGC MS70. And it's how much? Six dollars a penny? All righty. Y'all know how it's done. You wait for the go, and then you can pick your numbers. Miss Ida, five and nine. Number five is gone, time killer, but you can have number three. Number nine is gone, Mr. Gleason. Number three is gone, Hustler. Number five is gone, Nerd, but you can have number seven, Nerd. Two and eight for Johnny Ray.
Eight is gone. Number one for nerd. Number seven's gone, lady kid. Number's gone. Number seven's gone, Donald. Number two's gone, time killer. Lady kid at number 10. Robert Worley, four and six. Yeah, she got number 10. Robert Worley get, got the last two spots. You got the last two? Yes. What up, new coin? What's up, brother? All righty. The number is zero. Zero. Uh, six dollars a penny. Uh, Robert, it was six dollars a penny, and it's for the Panda 2019. Let's see who gets it. Well, let's see. Robert Worley. Robert Worley, right there. Congratulations, Robert. Hey, what's up, Jeff? All righty. Put that right up there. All righty. <clears throat> right here. World War One. That's the two that's the 1914, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Oh, excuse me. Hey, what's up, Dove Season? Let me see his mint marks on these. Philadelphia. 1914 Philly. 1915 Denver. 1916 Philly. 17 Philly. And 18 Philly. Miss Ida at five. And here we go. We got the weed is right there. Let's do a little. There's the 14, the 15, the 16, the 17, and the 18. It's hard to show it off with the glare, but All right there we go. All righty, we got, all right, thank you, lady kid. Dana at six, Ida at seven, Dana at eight, Ida at 10. We got 10, do we hear 11? 
Uh, 10 to be here, 11. 10 to be here, 11. Uh, list, baby. 10 to be here, 11. We got 10 to be here, 11. All right, no problem, new coin. 10 to be here, 11. A 10 to be here, 11. A 10 to be here, 11. A going once. Going once. Ten to be here eleven. We got ten to be here eleven. Ten to be here eleven. Going twice. Going twice. Ten to be here eleven. We got ten to be here eleven. A uh, ten to be here eleven. Last cow. A uh, ten to be here eleven. All in, all out. And counter down, John. And sold to Miss Ida for 10. All righty. Yep. Here we go. 1971. Blue Ike. We got Miss Ida starting us off at five. Collective Chris goes, jumps it up to seven. Sorry, 710, you just a second too late. Collector Chris at 7. What's up, Lee County? How's it going, 710? I did 8. Johnny Ray, 9. 9 to be here at 10. In original packaging. It's an Ike. And it is silver. Uncirculated, 40 percenter. Right there. I get Miss Ida at 10 first. Yes, he finally did. Yes. We got Ida at 10. 10 to be here, 11. We got 10 to be here, 11. Original package here. Got the cardboard inserts in it still. We got 10 to be here, 11. Johnny Ray's out. Collective Chris is out. 10 to be here, 11. A uh, 10 to be here, 11. A uh, 10 to be here, 11. Anybody else? All righty, going once. Uh -huh. 10 to be here. Ele oh, we got 11 with Dana. 11 with Dana. Do we hear a 12? Miss Ida's out. Look at there. Let me. Go like that. Boom. We got 11 to be here at 12. 11 to be here at 12. 
Anybody else besides us out? Thank you, ma'am. 11, do we hear 12? Going once. 11, do we hear 12? 11, do we hear 12? 11, do we hear 12? Going twice. 11, do we hear 12? 11, do we hear 12? 11, do we hear 12? Last call. 11, do we hear 12? All in and all out. All that good stuff. And counter down, John. Dana at 11. So did Dana for 11. Thank you, Dana. Get back in this envelope. This baggie here. All right, lot number 13. We're breezing through here tonight. Oh. Lot number 13, right here, American Mint. Beautiful piece, starting bid is 10. Gold plated. Mr. Ronald Reagan. Right there. To me, one of the best presidents we've ever had. There he is, right there. Looking for a $10 start. A $10 start. Anybody on Mr. Ronnie? Mr. Ronald Wake Reagan. Great actor and even better president. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Nobody for 10? Oh, we got Robert Worley first at 10. We got 10 to we hear 11. That's a beautiful piece right there. Let me tell you. 10 to we hear 11. Yeah, there's only 9,000 limited to 9,999. We got 10, do we hear 11? Look it up, Mr. American Mint, guys. That thing retails for $79.95. Yep, like Mama T said, quit straining your voice, baby. Look it up. Go to American Mint. Look it up. They retail for $80. $79.95. No, you only pay um, shipping one time, Robert. You only pay the shipping one time. Uh, no, uh, new coin. It's just gold plated. No silver in it, is there, baby? Hey. No, no there's no silver in it. It's gold plated, but 
just gold plated. But it is a collector's piece. We got 10, do we hear 11? A 10, do we hear 11? A 10, do we hear 11? All righty, nobody else? Going once. Ten, do we hear eleven? We got ten, do we hear eleven? Uh, ten, do we hear eleven? Going twice. Uh, if you don't want it for that, uh, Robert, you don't have to buy it. If it, yo, know, you can retract it. A copper nip, a uh, cooper nickel layered in 14 karat gold. It, is. it said, See you layered in 24 karat gold. <coughs> All righty, he's now retracting. All righty, he says he likes it. All righty, <clears throat> 10 going to 11. Uh, 10, do we hear 11? Last call, 10, do we hear 11? Uh, all in, all out. And counter down, John. And if you win a game, you don't have to pay shipping unless you buy something as well. Uh, Lady Kid said, Two bad, there's not brains on it. <clears throat> Brains on it because she knows, uh, like a zombie, oh, yeah. and sold to Robert for ten dollars. Do what? They don't have to pay until the yeah, y'all don't have to pay until uh, Robert. You don't have to pay till the end of the night unless you're leaving early. All righty. Lot fourteen. These are both for one money. Oh, there we go. Here we're focusing. 1928. This one does have a little tear. Hey, coconut. We got Lady Jackson 10. There's one. New coin at 15. I got a new coin at 15 and two. You get two of them. Two, 1928. This one is circulated a little tattering right there across the top where my thumb is. Circulated. But these are the big twos. See the big two? And they are red seal, 1928. If it'll ever. <laughs> 28 D's. We got new coin at 17. Josh at 18. You get both of them. Right there. Look at that. You get two of them. Let me show the backs. Huh. New coin said he's out. There's the back of one. The back of the other. Lady Jacks is out. We got 18 to be here, 19. <clears throat> 18 to be here, 19.
Hey, Bubs. 18 to be here, 19. We got 18 to be here, 19. 18 to be here, 19. And we are going once. Eighteen. To, oh, we got nineteen. Above uh, delicious. We are on two. Nineteen twenty-eight red seal two-dollar bills that do not want to focus for anything. Lady kid at nineteen. There's the first one. Josh at twenty. Here's the other one. This one does have a little missing corner down there in the end. Fourteen to be uh, twenty to be here. Twenty-one. We got twenty to be here. Twenty-one. That's for both of them. You get both of them. Yes, you do. Here's one. And two. Yes, you do. All righty. To Winnie, do we hear 21? <clears throat> uh, to Winnie, do we hear 21? Uh, to Winnie, do we hear 21? And going once. To Winnie, do we hear 21? Uh, to Winnie, do we hear 21? Uh, 20 to be here, 21, going twice, going twice. Uh, 20 to be here, 21. Uh, 20 to be here, 21, going to last call. 20 to be here, 21. We got 21 to be here, 22. Uh, 21 to be here, 22. We got a snipe by the lady kid with the nickels. <laughs> 21 do we hear 22? Uh, 21 do we hear 22? Uh, 21 do we hear 22? Going once. To anyone to be here, 22. Uh, to anyone to be here, 22. To anyone to be here, 22. Going twice. We got 22. Do we have 23? Twenty-two to be here, twenty-three. Twenty-two to be here, twenty-three. Uh, twenty-two to be here, twenty-three. Going once. Twenty-two to be here, twenty-three. Twenty-two to be here, twenty-three. Uh, 22 to be here, 23, going twice. Two twenty-two to be here, 23. Uh, 22 to be here, 23. Lady kids out, 22 to be here, 23, last call. 22 to be here, 23. All in and all out. 
Encounter down, John. And sold to Josh P for twenty two. Yeah, sorry, y'all. Mama T cannot yell tonight. I have to keep yelling at her to shut her mouth. Uh, the more she yells, the more it messes up her throat. So y'all tell her, don't talk. Y'all tell her to keep her mouth shut. All righty, right here. All for one money and Bub starting it out at 20. Johnny Ray at 25. These are Jim Crisp. I'm not touching them. Right there. Look at the number 12710328. O three two nine O three thirty. Right there, they're all Jim Crisp. These are gradable bills if you want to degrade them. We got Josh at twenty eight. I got Johnny Ray at thirty first. Donald at 35. Yeah, I would have these send these in and have them graded as a set as consecutive numbers. See him at 36. Yeah, sequential even. Yeah. Consecutive, sequential, whichever you want to call it. Johnny Ray at 40. 40 to be here, 41. Thank you, Robert. I got 40 with Johnny Ray. Do we hear 41? Do we hear 41? Let me flip them over. Let me show you the back. Jim Crisp. No folds, no tears, no nothing. Welcome back, Jay Dog. We got Donald at 41. We got Donald at 41. Forty-one do we hear forty-two? We got forty-one do we hear forty-two? We got forty-two with CM. Forty-two do we hear forty-three? 42 to be here, 43, 45 with Donald. Forty-five to be here, forty-six. Oh. Nice and Tavos. Nineteen oh four. Huh? Coins or bills? Coins. No. Are they coins, uh, bubs? With die cracks. Yeah, they're coins. Hey, S. Robbins. We got CM with 48. Donald with 50. Uh, J Dog. Yes, you do. Welcome back, River. We got 50. Do we hear 51? 
Bub, she will let you know. Fifty do we hear fifty one? We got fifty do we hear fifty one? Yeah. Uh, 50, do we hear 51? We got 50, do we hear 51? Uh, 50, do we hear 51? Anybody else? All righty, going once. See him is out. Thank you, sir. 50, do we hear 51? What's the mark on? Uh, what mark are uh, uh you mean mint mark? Yeah. Sure. Uh, what mint are they in? Uh, mint mark on them. Uh, bubs. Or is Hold on, baby. You, you're confusing me. I'm trying to end this. We got fifty. Do we hear fifty one? Uh, fifty. Do we hear fifty one? Uh, Theatre, do we hear 51? Going twice. Going twice. Uh, Theatre, do we hear 51? Theatre, do we hear 51? Uh, Theatre, do we hear 51? Last cow. Theatre, do we hear 51? All in, all out. And counter down, John. Bub delicious. Uh, just need to know what the mint mark is on them. And sold to Donald Harmon for fifty dollars. Thank you, Donald. She said M O. Baby. And this was sold to Donald for 50. All righty. Uncirculated, she said. Yes. 1904, uncirculated. About 60 bucks. A piece? Yeah. As long as uh, they are um, uncirculated. Uh, Bub's delicious. She said $60 each if they're uncirculated. 60 bucks a piece, uh, Bub's. All righty, y'all. Game number three. That last one was Donald Harmon for 50. Yep. All righty, game number three is $10 a penny. If I can get into this friggin' bag. That's... Oh, baby, this bag you gave me. Well, we'll just do it that way. Marvel, right there. Captain America. All right, you got to wait for my go, lady kid. I have not put go in the room yet. PCGS MS-70 to Valu. 
first strike. Yeah, and it's with the blue gasket in it. The blue uh, ring protector. 2019. Cat America. Right there. Wait for my go. When you see the go, you can get your numbers. $10 a penny. $10 a penny. Miss Ida, five and nine. Bubs at four and six. Gleason, number nine's ga gone. Counter down John at three and eight. Uh, Lady Jacks. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Johnny Ray. Uh, eight is gone. You can have two. Johnny Ray at number two. Uh, Lady Kid Nichols at number seven. Uh, five and nine is gone, Lady Jacks. I uh, know the asteroids at the end, S. Robbins. Uh, Dove Season at number 10. Does it number 10? All right. All you need is dove. Bum, 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 bum. All you need is dove. Bum, 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 bum. All you need is dove. Dove. All you need is dove. Nerd Analyst takes number one. All righty. The number is four. Nerd, no. J Johnny Ray, no. John, no. Bub Delicious, no. Miss Ida, no. Bub Delicious, no. We're going deep. Lady Kid. So it's between John, Traveling John, Miss Ida, and Dove. No. Between Ida and Dove. And it is Dove. Dove got it. Way to go, Dove. Yep. Oh, man, I need to shut up. Yes, you do, baby. Shut up. Hush, 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 hush. <sighs> That's a very nice grab right there. All righty, y'all. We're changing strings now. Number 16. If you've got a red book, look this up. 1903. Right there, 1903. And it is an S. That is an S mint mark. Very key date. It is a key date. 1903 S.
Starting bid is 125. That is a 1903S. That is a 1903S. Robert Rural, are you crazy? Had a couple zeros on that. Yeah, had a couple zeros there, Robert. Look him up, seriously. <laughs> he was lagging. He said, hey, oops, sorry, never mind. Y'all look it up. Grab your red books. I'll wait. I'll wait a minute. And some very funky toning right on the end of her nose there. Like you got a Pinocchio nose nose. Still a full liberty. There's the back. All right. Let's do this. The lowest I'll go is a hundred dollar start. Oh, yeah, bubs. Absolutely. I get everything from my dealers. My dealers are on the up and up. They would not sell me anything fake. If you ever have a problem with any items, you know you can send it back and I'll make it right. Yeah, 1903S VF is at 275. I'll start it at a hundred, but that's you know that's the, that's the lowest I'll start it. If somebody can get it for Can you wait till Friday? Yeah. Yes, Bubs. Yes, ma'am, Miss Bubs Delicious. We'll yeah, we'll do that for you, Bubs. All right, we got a hundred. Okay, 100. We do 105. We got 100. Do we hear 105? Y'all, look, look it up. I mean, I'm serious. If you can do it, do it. It's fucking steel. That is a steal. Still, not steel. Anyway, it's it right there. We got one hundred. Do we hear one oh five? One hundred. Do we hear one oh five? One hundred, do we hear one oh five? Yes, 
Nobody else. Wow. 100 over here, 105. You're going to be broken to this, Bubba. One hundred. Do we hear one hundred five? No problem, Bubs. One hundred. Do we hear one hundred five? What up, King and Queen, Mister Ronnie King? How you doing? One hundred. Do we hear one hundred five? All righty. Nobody else. All right, Imperian. All right. Going once. This is a heck of a deal for you, Bubs. <laughs> Going once. 100, do we hear 105? We got 100, do we hear 105? Oh, 100, do we hear 105? Going twice. 100, do we hear 105? 100, do we hear 105? 100, do we hear 105? Last call. 100, do we hear 105? All in, all out. Counter down, John. Sold to Bubs for one hundred. Send it back to my dealer. So I, I would never ever sell a safe. We always make our shit right. If there's any problem. Yep. Wicked steel bug delicious. Oh, okay, new coin. All righty. Eighteen ninety one. I'm ready. Look at that beautiful. Eighteen ninety one. Carson City. Eighteen ninety one. Carson City. That's a 91 Carson City right there. Looking for a hundred dollar start. Hundred dollar start on a Carson City. What do you mean, Robert? No fair. Hundred dollar start, Carson City. See him silver at a hundred. We got a hundred. Do we hear one oh five? A hundred. Do we hear one oh five? That is a very nice, very nice right there. Beautiful. Got that dark toning to it. Yeah. 
the back. I'm showing him that CC on the back. Uh, lady kid, over a hundred at five dollar increments. Yeah, look at that. CC. Then y'all get a good close look up at it. Very nice edges. That Liberty. Look at that hairline. Yeah, look at the flowers and all like that. I'll let it go this time, lady kid. 101, do we hear 15? All right, no problem, Imperian. What? 105. Do we hear 110? This is $5 increments after 100. I just did, baby. Right there. Get the wheat. Yeah. One oh five, do we hear one ten? 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 Actually, Bubs, he's bidding up uh Lady Kid Nichols. One oh five, do we hear one ten? Anybody else? One oh five, do we hear one ten? One oh five, do we hear one ten? All righty, gonna count her down. Going once. One oh five, do we hear one ten? One oh five, do we hear one ten? One oh five, do we hear one ten? Going twice. One oh five, do we hear one ten? One oh five, do we hear one ten? One oh five, do we hear one ten? Last call. Yep, I sure do, new coin. <laughs> one oh five, do we hear one ten? All in, all out. Counter down, John. And CM Silver for 105. Way to go. Second steal of the night. Way to go, CM. All right, just to let y'all know before I show this, I did not clean it. It was like this when I got it. All right. I don't hardly ever get a cleaned one, but you can tell this was cleaned. We got time killers jumping out with 20. This is an 1882, but unfortunately, 
It is a cleaned one. That's just some smooth on the case. Yeah, the case is crappy. Crappy case, but at least it's holding it in good shape. For a clean one. Jeff at 21. 21 to here, 22. We got 22 to be here, 23. 22 to be here, 23. 23 to be here, 24. If it wasn't for the cleaning, it'd be a nice one. 25 to be here, 26. Twenty-five to here, twenty-six. Oh Quit talking. No. Or we'll come in there and take your mouth shut. You are twenty-five to here, twenty-six. Twenty-five to be here, twenty-six. I got time killer at twenty-five. Lady Jackson, twenty-six. 26 to be here, 27. 1882. Philadelphia. Time killers out. 26 to be here, 27. Uh, 26 to be here, 27. 26 to be here, 27. 26 to be here, 27. All righty. Anybody else? Jeff is out. Time killer is out. Last one left in is Jack. So going once. Going once. 26 to be here, 27. 26 to be here, 27. Uh, 26 to be here, 27. Going twice. 26 to be here, 27. Uh, 26 to be here, 27. Uh, 26 to be here, 27. Last call. 26 to be here, 27. Uh, 26 to be here, 27. All in, all out. Down or down, John. And so the Lady Jacks for 26. Hey, what's up, Badger? Hey, what's up? Look at the Irish is back with their right with their right name. Yes, I am. Look at this, y'all. Four nines fine, two thousand nineteen, two ounce double. Maple leaf. We got the starting bid is 50. And we got Johnny Ray at 50. Look at the thickness of that. Is that what it's called? Super leaf. Yeah. I thought the super leaf had three leaves on it, uh, Bubs. I thought the super leaf was three leaves. I got Johnny Ray at 51st. 50 to be here, 52. We go by twos now. 50 to be here, 52. 50 to be here, 52. 
Yeah, I thought the super leaf was had three leaves on it. This is a double leaf, and the super leaf has three. Fifty to be here, fifty-two. I got Johnny Ray at the fifty-first. Fifty to be here, fifty-two. Hustler at fifty-two. Ah, uh, funny Gleason. Ah, 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 ah. We got fifty-two to be here, fifty-four. Yeah, we got fifty-six. 56, do we hear 58? 56, do we hear 58? Uh, no, lady kid, you did, did not. 56, do we hear 58? 56, do we hear 58? You were outbid at the last second, lady kid. CM Silver got it. All right, Bubs. <laughs> we got 56. Do we hear 58? Oh, 56. Do we hear 58? 56. Do we hear 58? Fifty-six. Do we hear fifty-eight? Coin, so. Yeah, about seventy-dollar coin right here. About what they go for? Fifty-six. Do we hear fifty-eight? We got the fifty-six. Do we hear fifty-eight? Anybody else? All righty, let's go once. Oh, we got 58. 58, do we hear a 60? 58, do we hear a 60? We got a 60. 60, do we hear a 62? Uh, yeah, lady kids, after we hit 100, it goes by fives. Uh, but I'll let you do the 101, and then CM Silver did 105, and he outbid you. 60, do we hear 62? 60, do we hear 62? We got a 60. Do we hear a 62? A 60. Do we hear a 62? All righty. Going once. 60. Do we hear a 62? A 60. Do we hear a 62? Sixty do we hear sixty two going twice? Sixty do we hear sixty two? Uh sixty do we hear sixty two? Last call. Sixty do we hear sixty two? All in, all out. And count her down, John. Yeah. Yep, he does. And sold, Johnny Ray, 60.
Yep. All righty, lot 20. All right, now this is by ICG. Yeah, if they re-slab it, if you send it off to PCGS or uh, or NGC, I think you'd get a better grade. But it's an 86. That's a first year. First year. Look at that. 1986. Uh, look at the cameo on that. And them scratches, you can see, are on the case. Them little spots are on the case. That is a first year San Francisco. There's the S right there. New coin at 40. Nineteen eighty six, San Francisco, first year. First year, Silver Eagle. This is at a PR sixty eight D cam. It is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yep, forty to be here, forty one. We got 40 to be here, 41. That's a beautiful, that's a first year. 42, 42 with a hustler. 42 to be here, 43. 42 to be here, 43. Well, that thing like tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it's that thing. 43 to be here, 44. Hustler sits back too and he sees what he likes. 43 to be here, 44. Yeah. Yep. Out. 43 to be here, 44. <laughs> 43 to be here, 44. We got 43 to be here, 44. 43 to be here, 44. Anybody else? All righty, gonna go once. 43 to be here, 44. Uh, 43 to be here, 44. Uh, 43 to be here, 44, going twice. 43 to be here, 44. Got 43 to be here, 44. Last call. Hey, what's up, Scott? 43 to be here, 44. All in, all out. Counter down, John. And sold to New Coin for forty three. Yep. All righty, y'all. Ah, oh, there it is. Guess what time it is?
All righty. This is ten dollars a penny. Oh, all these bags stuck, don't they? I gotta get good bags tomorrow. This is a Trump 2020. Right there, read it. 2020 Philadelphia PCGS MS69 Silver Eagle emergency issue struck at Philadelphia. And this is the Trump. This is a river. All the other mints shut down, which means it left it to Philadelphia. Philadelphia normally does not do the Silver Eagles. It's usually San Francisco or West Point, but they shut down. So Philadelphia did these. So right here, it is going to be $10. A penny. Ten dollar penny. And when you see the go, you know what to do. <clears throat> Scott Jarvie was six. Yep. Nerd at seven. Yep. Nerd at seven. Gleason, number six is gone, but you can have number nine, Gleason. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, time killer. Three and eight. Miss Ida, five and ten. We have three left. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. Three left. Dove season with number four. All you need is dove. Boom, 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 boom. All right, one and two. We got one and two left. Who will take one and two? One and two. It's about time for this pack to start hitting on one and two. I don't think we have, but maybe one or two. Uh, these are $10. $10 a penny uh, value, and it's for the Trump 2020. Val takes one and two. Thank you, and that closes it. How you doing, Val? Let me see here. The number is zero. Let's get it going. Okay, Val is out. Traveling John's first one is now. Dove is out. Messiah's first one's out. Scott Jarvie's out. 
Nerd Analyst. Nerd Analyst. On number seven. Mr. Nerd Analyst. Congratulations, Nerd. <laughs> Thou. <laughs> All righty. This next one, y'all, is going to be a doozy. And let me do this right here so I can show some of them. There's a 58D right there. There is 21. Forty nine P. I mean, forty nine D. Looking for a one fifty start on this. There's twenty one Benjis. That's the PD and S of the nineteen forty nines. Nineteen fifty, Philadelphia. We got Lady Jacks with one fifty. One fifty, do we hear one fifty five? Uh, 49, yes, there's a 49P. There is a 53S, a 56P, and a 58P, uh, no, 58D, and there's no 60. I do not have the 58P or the 60P. But I do have some of the other ones. We got 155. And they're all in really good shape. And these are all in really good shape. I'm showing them to you. 155, do we hear 160? We got 160. Do we hear 165? 165. Look at that 51P right there. I will when I get to it. Miss Ida would like to close out. 
Yes, there is a 55 Philadelphia in here. There is a 55 Philly in here. 1951. All right, J-Dog, have a good night. 165, do we hear 170? One sixty five, do we hear one seventy? We are one sixty five, do we hear one seventy? Dove is out. One sixty five, do we hear one? That's a micro S. Look at that. There's a micro S. This is a fifty one micro S. Micro S, look at that. Little bitty S. Everybody wants to see that 55. Well, let's get that 55 out. We got 165. Do we hear 170? No, it is not a vampire. No vampirism. That's a 50 right there. Right here, 165, do we hear 170? Here's one of the ones that he said. 53S. Oh, blah, blah, blah to yourself, new coin. 53 right there. Look at that ass. We got 170. Did we hear 175? 175. Yeah. One seventy. Do we hear one seventy five? We got fifty seven right there. Beautiful. They all got beautiful detail in them. One seventy five. Do we hear one eighty? Yeah, most of the time you see these in the community, they're all scratched up. Mine's not. I'm just jumping around to different ones. 54D. Uh, we got 175. Do we hear 180? 175. Do we hear 180? We got 180. Do we hear 185? Remember, you're getting all 21. All 21 right here. One eighty. Do we hear one eighty five? I'll just stick one back up under here so we have one to look at. Lady Jax is out. 
180, do we hear 185? 180, do we hear 185? I don't think it is either. Go for it, Bubs. Mama T said, Go for it. You got a figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a roll of Benji's plus one. Right there. That's plus one. That's below. Go to Atmex. Look up what you pay for a roll of Benji's. 180. Do we hear 185? 180. Do we hear 185? 180. Do we hear 185? Anybody else? Go once. Go in once. 180. Do we need 185? 185. I got jacks at 185. Do we hear 190? 185. Do we hear 190? One eighty five, do we hear one ninety? Yeah, you just a second late, uh hustler. Lady Jack's at one eighty five. One eighty five, do we hear one ninety? One eighty five, do we hear one ninety? One eighty five, do we hear one ninety? Going once. Going once. 185, do we hear 190? Come join me where, Empyrean? 185, do we hear 190? 185, do we hear 190? 185, do we hear 190? Going twice. 185, do we hear 190? Uh, 185, do we hear 190? 185, do we hear 190? Last call. 185, do we hear 190? Do we have all in, all out? And counter down, John. Sold the Lady Jacks for one eighty five. Wow. Heck of a deal, there, Lady Jacks. Yes, All righty. Now what we have right here is we got some BUs. Uncirculated.
pennies. And I will show some of them. Do you put all the dates on them again this time? They're all in my thing there. Oh, that's what I asked. No problem. Uh, boy, these things are hard to get out of. Look at that. Oh, look at that party. Starting bid is $5. You get all these. Sixty four Philly. We got Dana. With five sixty eight Philly. Let's see. Is the fifty five the one with the DDO? There's a 55S right there. We got Dana with five. Did we hear a six? There's another 55S. Five to be here at six. We had another fifty five S. Five to be here at six. Anybody for this is twenty one twenty six. Yes, yeah, twenty six. BU, uncirculated, whatever you want to call them. Pennies. Right, come on, get out of there. This one's toning right here. There's another 55S. We got five. Do we hear a six? Five. Do we hear a six? We got five. Do we hear a six? Seven ten right there. Fifty six D. Fifty six D right there. Five, do we hear a six? Five, do we hear a six? You getting all them? Look at there. You got fifty fives, fifty six, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty seven, fifty seven, sixty. All uncirculated BUs, 61, 64, 68, 
69 and 70. All righty, that I guess nobody else. All righty, going once, going once. Five, do we hear a six? Five, do we hear a six? Going twice. Dana. Five, do we hear a six? We got five, do we hear a six? A five, do we hear a six? Going twice. I mean, go, last call. Five, do we hear a six? All in, all out. Oh, counter down, John. And thank you, Mr. New Coin. I hope, you know me, I always try to have nice things. And sold to Dana for five. Boy, when I moved all those, everything exploded here. Oh, give me just one second here, y'all. All righty. Let's go to this one. You look, it's hard to see it, but there's a die crack right here. There you go, right there. Yeah, I'm going to go down on it. You could be in a pervert woman and shut your mouth. Right there. See the die crack? Right there across the head. There it is. Right there. That's a 59D crack skull error. Oh, you hush, 710. <laughs> That's seven ten. <laughs> All right, looking for a five dollar start on that die crack. A five dollar start on the die crack. Crack kills, you know. All righty, anybody? All right, Bubs at five. Five to be your six. That's a nice little die crack. Let's check around, see if there's anything else. That's a definite die crack. Dana was six. Let's look at the back here. Anything on the back? <laughs> we 
at some rioters. They busted his head. Try and get it where I can see it again. Right there. There it is. We got six with Dana, who does a seven. We got a six to be here, seven. A six to be here, seven. We got six to be here, seven. We got six to be here, seven. We got six to be here, seven. A uh, six to be here, seven. Anybody else? All righty. Go in once. Six to be here, seven. We got six to be here, seven. A uh, six to be here, seven. Going twice. Six to be here, seven. We got six to be here, seven. A uh, six to be here, seven. Last call. Six to be here, seven. All in, all out. And three. Go counter down, John. I'm going to count it down myself. <laughs> Yep. And sold to Dana for six dollars. All one money. We got a 36. Wanger approved. Got another 36. Wanger approved. Yeah, I know. Above the five. We got a 1925 here. Philadelphia. I got Bud Delicious at five first. Five looking for a six. Another 36. Wanger approved. Josh at six. Let's that's a twenty seven right there. Wanger approved. See, he's Wanger approved. Another twenty six. Yes, they do. The forty three does have silver, thirty five percent. Right here, another Wanger approved. You're getting all these. That's got to be a 1919. I thought it was a 29, so I might be wrong. That is a 1919. Yeah. Yeah. I was wrong on that one. Thirty six. 
Winger to Prude. Bubs at seven. This is the last Buffalo. Another 29. And Wanger approved. Then we have nineteen forty-three. Oh, I must have forgot to put the nineteen nineteen one up on there. P Forty-four. D. Got the D. Right there. And a forty-three. Yes. Right there. You get them all for one money. You get three Warnicks. Seven to be here and eight. You get three Warnicks. And nine buffaloes. Look at that. You get all those. Seven to be here and eight. We got seven to be here and eight. A uh, seven to be here and eight. Oh, uh, anybody else? All right, going once. Going once. Seven to be here and eight. Seven to be here and eight. We got a seven to be here and eight. Going twice. Seven to be here and eight. We got seven to be here and eight. Seven to here and eight. Last call. Seven to be here and eight. All in, all out. And counter down, John. Sold him his buzz for seven dollars. Thank you, ma'am. All righty, number 25. Whoa. Pretty close to game time again. All righty. We got a 1906 Indian. Let me get down there close to her again. Let me get her right. Well, yep, yeah, right there. We got an 06 Indian right there. And then we got, what is this? Oh, Cinco Centavos, 1973. Look at that. Mexican Cinco Centavos. All 
And another Mexican Cinco Centavos, 1973 also. So you get an 06 Indian and three Cinco and two Cinco Centavos. Looking for a dollar start. Dollar start. A dollar dollar make me holla. Come on. We got Bubs at one. She gonna make me holla. There we go. Big T hollered. He got that dollar. So he hollered. We got a dollar. Do we hear two dollar? To get a double holler. We got a dollar. Do we hear two dollar? We got a dollar. Do we hear a two dollar? A dollar. Do we hear a two dollar? We got a dollar. Do we hear a two dollar? Dollar, do we hear a two dollar? Anybody two dollar? All righty. And we are going once. Go in once. I believe he's in the bathroom, so I'll count this one down. Go in once. Dollar, do we hear a two? A dollar, do we hear a two? A dollar, do we hear a two? Going twice. A dollar, do we hear a two? A dollar, do we hear a two? Last call. Dollar, do we hear a two? All in, all out. And we're going three, two, one. And sold the bubs. All righty, y'all. It's everybody's favorite time of the night. And no, Big T's not shutting up. It's not that favorite time. No comment from the peanut section back there. <laughs> Guess what, y'all? Look at there. Tara ra boom Game number five. Game number five. And this is a nice one. <laughs> this is five dollar penny. Five dollar penny. Two thousand seventeen. First day of issue MS seventy NGC Silver Eagle. Oh, right, thank you, S. Robbins. Right there in the blue holder. In the blue holder. Two thousand seventeen first day of issue. Right there. Five dollar penny. And when you see the go, you know what to do. Nerd at five. Miss Bubs Delicious at four and seven.
We got Traveling John Time Killer at one and three. We got Hustler, number three's gone. Irish, seven's gone. Lady Jacks, five is already gone. Gleason News at four. Four is gone, but you can have number nine, Gleason. Irish, nine is gone. Jacks, nine is gone. Irish, three is gone. Four is gone. One is gone. Johnny Ray at two and eight. Need six and ten. Dove at number six. And Irish at number ten. Right there. I should have been calling this out. John, Johnny Ray, John, Bubs, Nerd, Dove, Bubs, JR, Johnny Ray, Gleason, and Irish. Right there. The number is four. The number is four. Nope, John. No, Johnny Ray. No, John, you're out. Bubs, no. Nerd, no. Dove, no. Bubs, no. Johnny Ray, no. So it's down to Gleason and Irish. Gleason and Irish. And look at the Irish. Luck of the Irish at number, wins it. Luck of the Irish. Congratulations, Irish. Irish, will you resend me your address? I cannot find it, and I found something here the other day that actually I've got to send out to you. Can you resend me your address? I would appreciate it, Iris. All righty. Uh, yep, new coin. I'll get it to you afterwards. Night, new coin. We have a 1907. Starting bid is three. 07 V. We have another 07 V. And then we got a 1912. Denver V Nickel. This one is a Denver. If you'll see right there under the dot, there's the Denver mark. We got Jacks at three, Irish at five. We got five to be here at six. Five to be here at six. 
We got five. Do we hear a six? Five. Do we hear a six? Anybody else? We got six. Baby, quit rushing it. Just started. Six. Do we hear a seven? We got six. Do we hear a seven? Uh, six. Do we hear a seven? We got six. Do we hear seven? All right. Anybody else? Going once. Going once. Six. Do we hear seven? We got six. Do we hear seven? Six. Do we hear seven? Going twice. Going twice. Six to be here seven. We got six to be here seven. Uh, six to be here seven. Last call. Six to be here seven. All in, all out. Down or down, John. All righty, sold to Lady Jacks for six dollars. Thank you, ma'am. All righty. Next one up. All right, thank you, Dove. We got an 1897 barber. And a 1906 Little Barber. Father and son came right here. Big Papa teaching little son to be a barber. That Papa Barber teaching the son Barber. We got Bub to three. Do we hear four? We got a three. Do we hear four? Mama T said night, Dove. Three. Do we hear four? We got three. Do we hear four? We got four. Do we hear five? Barber quarter, barber dime. Father, son, team. Five, do we hear a six? Five, do we hear a six? We got the five, do we hear a six? We got a five, do we hear a six? We got the five, do we hear a six? A five, do we hear a six? Ooh, ooh, five, do we hear a six? Five, do we hear a six? Anybody else? Going once. Going once. Lady Jack said six. She has to sleep. Night, Jacks. Jax hits a six and says she has to go to bed. Six, do we hear seven? Uh, six, do we hear seven? Uh, six, do we hear seven? Uh, 
Yeah, only got a few more to go. Six to be your seven. Going to going once. Bubs at seven. Seven to be here in eight. We got seven to be here in eight. Oh, seven to be here in eight. Seven to be here in eight. We got seven to be here in eight. Going once. Seven to be here in eight. We got seven to be here in eight. Uh, seven to be here in eight. Going twice. Uh, seven to be here in eight. We got seven to be here in eight. Seven to be here in eight. Last call. Seven to be here in eight. We got seven to be here in eight. All in, all out. And counter down, John. And sold to Miss Bub Delicious, seven dollars. Yeah, y'all hang tight. We ain't got much more to go. Right there, we got a 34. And 36. And we got one more game, too. 34 and 36. Mama T, behind me now. <laughs> and they're both Philadelphia's. We got Bubs at three. All the holders are worth that. <laughs> <laughs> three to be here, four. We got three to be here, four. Three to be here, four. We got three to be here, four. We got three to be here, four. Oh, Lady Jack didn't go to bed. We got four to be here, five. Four to be here, five. Jack said she was going to bed, but she decided to stay up. I got to stand up for just a second. Yo, give me a second. I had to stand up for just a second. I had to move. Uh, S. Robbins or Lady Kid, one or the other. Okay. Uh, she said her phone's on with one eye open. <laughs> Sleep with one eye, one eye open. Into the night. Into night. <laughs> oh, never mind. Bubs at five. Five to be here at six. Five to be here at six. We got five to be here at six. Uh, five to be here at six. Going once. Going once. Five to be here at six. Hey, Sam, how's it going? Five to be here at six. We got five to be here at six. Uh, five to be here at six. Going twice. Going twice. 
Five to be here six. We got five to be here six. Five to be here six. Last call. Five to be here six. We got five to be here six. A five to be here. Oh, all in, all out. Counter down, John. I think we should get to the last game, then do the rest of the stuff, baby. Attendance is dropping. Yeah, I get it. I got 29 already checked in there. Okay. Just move through Well, sometimes I try to, and these snipers make it slow for me. All righty. You're welcome, Ms. Bubs. Oh, is it time? Yep, 29. Put it out there. Lot 29, we got a 43S steel penny, and it's a bright one. That's from Littleton, it says right there, 43S, right there. Then we got this is in an INB 2000D, 2009D formative years. Right there. And then. Early Lincoln Cent. 1924D, 24D, and it's a weed. We got bubs at three. Three to be here, four. Uh, three to be here, four. Uh, three to be here, four. Anybody else? Anybody contend, contend with Miss Bubs Delicious? Three to be here, four. Going once. Getting all three for one money. Three to be here for. Uh, three to be here for. We got three to be here for. Going twice. Going twice. I think so, Bubs. I think so, Bubs. Three to be here for. The three to be here for. Three to be here for. Last call. A uh, three to be get four. All in, all out. Counter down, John. <laughs> Bub's like, quick, next, go, go. <laughs> All righty. Number 20. I mean, 30. Number 30, we got the Liberty Bell official commemorative issue. Starting bid is $5. National Historic Mint, Double Eagle Commemorative. 
commemorative, which means not silver, with the Liberty Bell on it. We got a George Washington Bicentennial right here. Wakefield. We have this piece right here, the VFW piece, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, Department of Pennsylvania. We do anything for this country. And in service of 100 years service to the nation and its veterans. The VFW, United States of the United States. Right there. And one more. A gold-plated 1985P. That's counter-stamped also. 1960 to 1985. Oh, no shit, I missed that. Well, I just seen it, so... <laughs> Right there, starting bid five. Anybody want to do five? Five, five, five. Anybody want to do five? Who wants to do five on this title? Anybody want to do five? You're getting all four pieces. We got Sam at five. Thank you, Sam. We got five to be here, six. Got a five to be here, six. We got a five to be here, six. Uh, five to be here, six. We got five to be here, six. Anybody can contend with Sam? No other bids? All righty, going once. Five to be here, six. We got five to be here, six. We got five to be here, six. Going twice. Five to be here, six. We got five to be here, six. Five to be here, six. Last call. Five to be here, six. Five to be here, six. All in, all out. And counter down, John. And sold for Sam for five dollars. All righty, guess what? Boom. Right there. All right, cool, Sam. This is six dollars a penny. Huh? Ten. Oh, yeah. Ten dollars a penny. I'm looking at game six. Ten dollars a penny. Ten dollars a penny. This is an X graded MS seventy two thousand sixteen Canadian Superman right there. Right there. Queen Lizard Breath on the back. You got to wait till I say go, stack deck. $10 a penny. All 
Let me get my last card right here. All righty. When you see the go, here we go. Time killer, eight and nine. Uh, age taken, but you can have number two, Johnny Ray. Number nine is gone, Gleason. River takes number seven. I don't know. I think it's the first. Yeah, River number seven. Stack deck at number six. Uh, Bub six is taken. Johnny Ray at number ten. Gleason number four. Nerd at number five. Numbers one and three left. We got one and three left. Who wishes to take one and three? One and three. Do what, John? Number one and three. I can't run it. Did we get one and three? One and three. Ten dollars a penny right there. One and three. And it's out of an MS seventy. Superman with the maple privy, I believe. River at number three. Who would like to take number one? Number one. All righty. All right. Traveling John closed it out. John, Johnny Ray, River, Gleason, Nerd, Stack Deck, River, John, Traveling John, Traveling John, Johnny Ray. The number is seven. Here we go. All right, between John and Johnny Ray. Traveling John. Traveling John. Number nine. 
three more items, guys, and we're done. Yep, three more items, and we're done. Let me switch to you here. We have a nineteen seventy eight Ike. Oh, waiting for Mama T. Waiting for Slowpoke. All righty, two Ikes. We got a 78 right there. And then we got a Bicentennial right there. We got Hidden It too. Hero Hidden. And welcome back. Juanita. Hey, Rue Hidden. Dana, three. We got three to be here for. Three to be here for. What's up, Yankee? Three to be here for. We got three to be here for. On both of the Ikes. Hidden is out. Thank you, sir. Three to be here for. A uh, three to be here for. Anybody else? Three to be here for. Going once. Uh, right there, that's a Philadelphia and a Denver. All right, thank you, nerd. Denver and Philadelphia. We got three to be here for. Uh, three to be here for. We got three to be here for. That's for both of them. Going once. Going once. Three to be here for. We got three to be here for. Three to be here for, going twice. Three to be here for. Uh, three to be here for. We got three to be here for. Last cow. Three to be here for. Three to be here for. All in, all out. Down and down, John. Sold to Dana for three dollars. Buffy. We got this one and one more. We have two. Buffalo. 2015. Tribute pieces. Starting bid, three dollars. There's one. 
And here's the second one. And they are both Wanger approved. See, Wanger one, Wanger two, Wanger approved. Uh, Bubs, I really don't know what's under them. We've sold them before. Mama T don't remember what's under them. Yeah, I don't remember. I, 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 I know they're tribute pieces. I know that. And it took me some time to look them up last time, so I didn't feel like it. That's why I marked them down cheap. These are deals. End of the night deals. End of the night deals. Three to be here for. Do we hear three? A uh, three, 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 three. Who wants to buy them? End of the night deal. Okay, two bucks. Quit yelling so loud, baby. You're going to be hurting tomorrow. All right, Travis and John said three. We'll take it. Uh, three to be here for. We got three to be here for. Uh, three to be here for. We got three to be here for. Anybody else? Go on once. Go on once. Three to be here for. We got three. Oh, we got four. Four to be here. Five. Four to be here. Five. We got four to be here. Five. Four to be here. Five. We got four to be here. Five. Going once. Four to be here, five. We got four to be here, five. Uh, four to be here, five. We got four to be here, five. Going twice. Four to be here, five. We got four to be here, five. Last call. Uh, four to be here, five. All in, all out. Counter down, John. And y'all are going to have to excuse me for just a minute. I've got to run to the little boy's room.
All right, y'all, I'm back. The last one was Bubs. Right? Yeah. All righty. Take a look here. This is hammered brass. With Mexican coins. Tacked in them. The Mexican coin there. And a Mexican coin there. And some kind of Aztec or something like that in the bottom. And it's hammered. Right there's the Made in Mexico stamp. But ends. About time you showed up, woman. We got John. Traveling John, time killer at five. Dana at six. Six to be, we got Siren at seven, uh, time killer at seven first. I got time killer at seven first. Sorry, you just a second too late, Siren. Seven to be here at eight. This was made somewhere around the 1950s, 1960s. We got Siren at eight. Eight. Do we hear nine? I guess I would exactly like it, but yeah, they're sort of like it or, or about that era. She couldn't find one exactly like it. But the other ones that she did find similar to it were around the 50s, 60s. We got Time Killer at nine. Siren at 11. It does look like a bird. Right? Kind of does look like a bird, doesn't it? Yeah. Dana at 12. 12 to be here at 13. We got 12 to be here at 13. We got 13 to be here at 14. Time killer's out. Thank you, sir. 13 to be here, 14. This is a pretty unique piece. It's a partridge and a pear tree. Or is it a seal? It kind of looks more like a, like whatever you, I don't know, I guess that's what you do with art. Yeah. Kind of figure whatever you think it looks like. We got Siren at 13. Do we hear 14? Do we hear 14? 13, do we hear 14? Dana's out too. Thank you. Nobody else. All righty. 13, do we hear 14? Going once. Going once. 13, do we hear 14? We got 13, do we hear 14? A 13 to be your 14, going twice. Going twice. A 13 to be here, 14. A 13 to be here, 14. 13 to be here, 14. Last cow. 13 to be here, 14. All in, all out. And counter down, John. 
It is a, I'm not sure. It's a five centavos. Five centavos. Yeah, five centavos. Sorry, Val. I, I missed you. I was looking at the thing. But the, it was a five centavos. It's already sold. Sorry, Val. Sorry, Val. It already sold to Siren. We're talking then. All righty, let me dig up some stuff for some giveaways here. See if I got anything in here. You know what? I still got a bunch of them quarter things left. The state quarters. All the cards. I can give some of them away. Okay, I'm going to do a couple giveaways, and you get the ones that you get. I'm going to, got a couple of them. Put those two together. Those two together. Those two together. All righty. I'm going to do three little giveaways. Hopefully, I got three little bags left. Yep. When you know it, three with one left. I got three. I'm just going to number them. Okay, let me get this right here. Yep, I'll use this one right here. All righty. These right here have the state quarters in them. The colorized. I put two in each package. Gonna do three giveaways. Uh, sorry, Hidden. I don't argue with Miss uh, Siren. All right, let me get this up here.
All righty. This will be for the one that's marked number one. All righty. When you see the range, how many people in here? 21? You see the range and the go? One guess. Yes, one guess, one guess only. One guess, one guess only. Hey, Mike Badger, I said one guess, one guess only. One guess, one guess only. No, well, he didn't win anyway, so. Mike Badger, stop. Already found a winner. And the winner is number 74. The first person that got it was Scott Jarvey. Scott Jarvey. So package one goes to Scott Jarvey. Well, hey, Badger, you want to go back to gray level? <laughs> All righty. Hey, Paula, how you doing? Uh, you're most welcome, Paula. All righty. Next one up. One guess, one guess only. Double guesses, you get turned back to gray. There we go. One guess, one guess only. All righty, we can stop. Stop, stop, stop. I found a winner. Number 46, Dana F. Dana F. She gets number two. And I got one more here. All righty, y'all. Last giveaway. One guess, one guess only. Says we have 21 people in there. Twelve people have guessed. 
13 people out of 21. All right, let's stop. And let's try it one more time. Look at the numbers that have been guessed. One guess, one guess only. Go. Everybody has done made a guess. All right, let's go ahead and stop and try it one last time. Last time, somebody should get it this time. And we can stop. We can stop, stop, stop. I had three right answers, but the first one on mine was Paula Bloom. Paula Bloom with number five. Paula Bloom. There we go. All righty, let me jump right here, 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 and here. <coughs> All righty. Who wants their uh, totals? I'm handing out totals. Who's ready for their total? Uh, we'll do, Bubs. Or I'll text you. There, I went ahead and text you. Every Monday night, Paula. Every Monday night. Uh, Yankee, you didn't get anything tonight. So, yours is zero, Yankee. Oh, hell no. <laughs> All righty. Who else uh, needs their? Yep, got it, River. Uh, Dana. All right, no problem, Paula. Dana, you're just 35. You're still in here. Johnny Ray. Johnny, 127. Who's that, Josh P? Right there, Josh. Uh, 
Who else needs the turtles? All right. Have a good night, Paula. Uh, it's okay, S. Robbins. Ah, siren. Night, Josh. Uh, that's probably what it was, Sam. All right, who else needs the totals? Total, 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 totals. Yankee, if you want to, I ain't saying you got to. That's between you and Sil uh, Siren. Right there. That's if you want to, Yankee. That's up between you and Siren. Got it, Bubsy. <laughs> Hidden. I wish you'd let me know why I was up. Baby. Mr. John. Can you get Mama to your roll of toilet paper? Refresh and just got now got now got back. Told I was in last week. Do what, Badger? You lost me. All righty. Huh? Yep, she's right. Yeah, she's just laying there on that. All right, thank you, Josh P. And the people that have paid. Right behind your back. Just thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was scratching on it earlier. All righty. I can guess I can open. Uh, hidden numismatist. Uh, Mr. Hidden. Cool, bubs. Um, 
do you want uh, one of them Tetris? The Tetris coin. What? Between my pain in my hip, now I'm getting gout in my toe. Want Did you want one of them? Uh, $80. Uh, give me a second to get it out. Right here, hidden. Then you open it up. All right, Sam. Uh, he said he'll pass. Anybody want to play a game for it? How much are the spots on the game? It's usually $10 a penny on that. I was going to do, you know, he hadn't said he wanted one. I made him a deal on it, 80 bucks. No problem, Sam. <laughs> Yankee. <laughs> Granky says he'll play rock, paper, scissors for it. Mr. John, you. can you bring me a drink since you're in there? All righty. Was anybody interested in the gold knives either? Because we do still have the old, the two old, uh, aren't. I have not listed them yet. I'll let them go at $80 a piece. That Tetris thing. I'll buy it Friday if I got enough. That'll, that'll come in handy for being on the road. Yeah. No, but it does have gold on it hidden. Everybody likes gold. Yep, I still heard that train, uh, Cajun. Actually, how much were those ones? 80 apiece. Is what she'll take on them. Yeah, but don't move, move. I still got a couple of pictures. Hey, Victoria. Hello, 
Uh, Yankee, that's uh, cool. One that actually has both knives in it. I'll actually keep the other one. Here I wait. Yeah. Even though I'm, I'm kind of satisfied with the knife that Gleason gave me. Uh, uh, Gleason, he wishes. <laughs> he looks about as old as he does. <laughs> Said, I wish I was 67. Now we have to fuck my social security. Yep. Yeah. All righty. Is there anybody in here that did not get their total that needs it? I've got everybody's totals right here. Who in here did not get their total and needs it? At uh, seven ten, you didn't even get nothing. Every week he does that. This I did. He says it's my first time here. I know. <laughs> What's up, seven ten? Uh, Badger, you Badger didn't get anything either, did he? No. Crazy little nuts. Victoria did have any gold. <laughs> I'm sorry, Victoria. Uh, Hidden didn't have a total either, did he? No, he didn't, he didn't get a total either. This is when he full. Yeah, it is full water. Crazy little. I swear. I swear. I'm going to have to hurt y'all. You really want to know? Mixed with last week's. One ninety two. No, there's that bonus. I really hope I had to get it. No, I was adjusting my camera there. Uh, hey, how y'all are today? You can tell I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Got rid of that beetle bug and, uh, well, it's not the beetle bug that I'm happy about. It's that little T-shine. Uh, that, what? Little, what? that little dog. Oh. Man. That's a little terror, a devil dog. <laughs> God, dog. Shoot Mrs. Notepad up. Yeah, I think Red And then, <laughs> hey, Sam. Yep, yeah, that's right. It's nice to be north yeah. of the grass. Nice to be north of the grass, for sure. And then, Gabby, my little beetle bug, dropped Mrs. Notepad. The dog chewed it up the other day on one corner. And then, yeah. Gabby dropped it this morning. Didn't say a word. Do what? Right. Yeah, we did not get what we needed to this week. <laughs> and cracked the screen on it. When we got back from dropping her off in Livonia today, Missy went to get on it. It won't work. Yeah. Hey, Bob. Oh. 
Hey, oh, bubs. How's everybody doing? Oh, fair to middle and partly cloudy. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Irish? What's cracking lacking? Yeah, well, look at Iris wasn't with Missy today. Yeah. These quarters, man, I'm going through are rough. Whew. Oh, are they? Yeah. Jeez. The ones that just came out. Really? They are rough, yeah. What do you mean, bad shape or? Yeah, they're busted. They're scratched all to hell. Really? Yeah, and they're uncirculated. They're just, you know, fresh rolls. I was just trying to find some decent ones to hang on to. They're just fillies, obviously, but. Yeah. No dubs? Nope, no dubs. Bummer. I hadn't had a time to look, but I saw that uh, somebody found an air on the bat. Is that right? Really? Yeah, that's what I heard. I hadn't heard that. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is. That was, what was I? I think I saw it on my phone. I think it come across my phone. Yeah. Are you going to post the link so Baby, I've, I've been posting the link. I got two in there already. Yeah. Come on, mama. <laughs> I'm going to being a punk. She needs to keep her mouth shut right now. She, she's going to be complaining all day tomorrow. My mouth, my throat. <laughs> I know it's hurting her, but she sits in her and tries to yell so everybody can hear her, knowing she's damaging her throat more. Yeah. Missy was like that about two weeks ago. She couldn't hardly talk. She kept on trying to talk. I said, Missy, please relax your voice. Don't become another Dolly Parton. You know, Dolly Parton, the doctor told her, hey, you got to quit singing for a little while. Now, this is a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, doctor said, look, your little Dolly Parton voice will go away forever if you don't relax your vocal cords. Yeah. What's up, Sam? Hey. What's happening, Sam? How you doing, little buddy? Hey, I'm I'm doing just fine, brother. It is a good day. It is a good day. That's it. Nice to be north to the grass. Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. It is a good day. My yeah. buddy, our, our buddy Curtis Lowe used to say that all the time. Yeah. We should get back on. I need to call him. Yeah, I've got his email somewhere. I, I can email him. Yeah. I haven't heard from him in a long time. I keep on threatening to call him. <laughs> uh, and I always forget. Yeah. Yeah, Irish, if you don't want to show yourself, you can do like Bub's Delicious and just show your avatar. Yeah, I'm just right, going Sam, how'd your date go? Uh, it it did not go well. Um, I actually ended up going to a bar and talking to another woman, and uh, I kind of forgot about her, and so it kind of went bad. Uh oh, anyway, I'm, oh, I'm, hey, you you what we call in French a macro. You are macro in French. I don't know what that means, but I'm a jerk. <laughs> hey. What do we do, Sam? Huh. Hey, I'm going to send you some constitutional. Uh, okay. That's an hour. I've got, yeah, that's a, that's a silver, and I've got uh, in some quarters and stuff like that. All and right. I'm just going to send you that and, and some dime, I got some mercury dimes and stuff like that. I'm just going to send you it. Okay. Add to the books. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, just 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 give me your uh your shipping address, man, and and, and I'll trade you out those those veteran coins with you know that I bid on earlier. Yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll trade out. That oh hell, Big T can put those in his uh in his hobo packs and all that stuff. The constitutional. Yeah, buddy. Uh, if, what, if he wants to. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I'm working a deal with somebody right now. They're supposed to be sending me some stuff. And there's going to be a lot of constitutional in it. 
And uh, with that, all the Constitution that's going to be in it, I'm thinking about once I get it, uh, when I get it, the next, the auction right after that comes right after it is going to be a, a drop, a silver drop. Yeah. Another, another old fashioned silver drop, bubs. Yeah, a lot of people uh, oh. been waiting on that. Yeah. I, uh, I got a nice one a little while back. I know that. Uh, 20 Rosies, 10 Mercs, uh, a couple Benjis, uh, a couple Standing Liberties, a couple war Walkers, a couple Barber Dimes, uh, 21 40 percenters, some War Nickels, and some 90 percenters, some Washington Dimes. So, a pretty good size. Uh, drop on those Samoas. Looks like on the D, they're saying there's finger uh, finger feeder errors, and on the P's, uh, there's some die cracks. Looks like on the baby bat's head across the baby bat's head right now. What I'm oh, saying. okay. Yeah, a lot of people call it junk silver. Look at Irish, but hey, shit hit the fan. What's going on, scrapping? What's up, SHTF? <laughs> I anyway, uh, right now look at the iris with like junk silver. I, I don't call it junk, I call it constitutional. Uh, constitutional. US silver coinage, yeah, yeah. I, I always thought junk was disrespectful. I mean, to the whole, yeah. to the whole thing, um, it's not really disrespectful. Actually, I just don't call it that because junk yeah. silver to me would be like, uh. Silver rings, uh, silver jewelry, broken jewelry. To me, that's junk silk. Okay, got a yeah. question. Yeah, I can see that. I can see most, that. Most people have a pocket piece. Yeah. <laughs> pocket. yeah. Right, yeah, a pocket coin. Yeah. What's yours, Cajun? Uh, pocket coin. Uh, what kind? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh well, I don't have one, but if I would have one, it would be uh, a walker, a uh, half dollar. Yeah, you have one, Sam, a pocket coin? Or, um, uh, or a barber. You know, I, I don't have a, a pocket coin, but I've been thinking about it, uh, getting like the sterling silver uh, bezel or whatever it is. Yeah. And just, oh. yeah, getting around like that. My dad had a Morgan dollar. That he used to carry around all the time, and uh, I don't know what he did with that, but yeah, I got a buddy of mine, a couple of buddies of mine from where I was born and raised. They used to make belt buckles uh, with Morgan dollars. That was in that uh, epoxy or whatever. Yeah, they yeah. Get that Morgan dollar in there, and then epoxy it, and then the 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 back of the buckle would be silver too. Hey, buy these little kids, you know, hey, and Bubs, make them you have for money. Hey, Bubs, do you happen to have a pocket piece? A uh, half dollar a friend of mine, my best friend in high school, gave me for good oh, luck. Cool. Mm -hmm. And 710 says he has an IHD. Indian head. Uh, wait. No, the P's not close to the D. Oh. Yeah, right, 710. 43 copper. You got yeah, a 43 right. copper? Yeah, right, 710. <laughs> yeah. And keep it on yeah. you. Go try to pass that green turd off on somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> My pocket piece I keep on her. Yankee. Uh, I finally got me a pocket piece. Our last load of stuff. I told Mama T to make me a good pocket piece since it's already just about slick. Oh, yeah. There you go, Morgan. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, well, they sure can't uh, arrest you for vagrancy if you got one <laughs> yeah. in your pocket. It's uh, you always got at least $18 of worth of money 
on your possession. They can't arrest you for vagrancy. That's right. Yeah. What's the date on that, Big T? 81, 1881. Right on. No, 80, 1891. 1891. Oh, even, even better. Even better. Nice. Missy's got a what she calls her neck piece. Her silver crawfish. You know, hey, Sam. Yes, sir. Mama T was just saying something about, uh, you were saying something about a, uh, a Morgan, something about your grandfather, or your father, or something. Uh, a bezel, yeah. My dad used to carry around a Morgan dollar in like a sterling silver uh, bezel, yeah, and just yeah, as a pocket piece, yeah. Uh, what what do you need? You need a bezel and a and the Morgan, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah. What do you remember? What year it was that he used to keep? I don't. I really, really don't. Yeah, he he just showed it to me like one time. Yeah. Huh. Oh, let's see. Well, baby. All right. Find yourself a bezel, and you got a Morgan coming to you. Right on, brother. Well, right on there, Big T. Look at Iris said he carries a 86 uh, American Silver Eagle. All right, cool. Put it this way. I can always get another pocket piece. <laughs> Big T, I mean, like I just had this one just in the stuff that came the other day, but I'll send this one out to you. I mean, it's a good pocket piece, and if you want it, you know, all you got to do is get your silver, be silver bezel for it. Yeah, I'll do it. Hey, Bubbles. Hey, Butterfly. Uh, BB. B and B. So right there, let me just go ahead and, while I'm thinking about it, let me get a... Put it in something for you. Forget Yeah. There you go, Sam. Right there. Going out with the other stuff. Hey, well, there no, I'm all right. Dang, man. My uh, grandfather, my mom's mom, had one that he carried around that his wife's mother had given him when they started dating. Yeah. And by the time I saw it, when, by the time I came along, there were just four little indents from where the face had been left. It was smooth on both sides. Yeah, I met a guy up here. Well, he used to, the place we used to live where we, when we were renting before we bought this house, the guy that did the maintenance there, he carried a uh, 21 Morgan. And that thing, the front of it was slicker than that uh, 1891. For where he constantly rubbed it. Yeah. It was slicker than that one. Yeah, there were no identifying marks left on my grandfather's. His was gone. Well. <laughs> His was slick. Well, see, nobody in my family ever collected uh, money. Yeah. Never did any type of coin collecting or anything like that. I'm the first one in it. I got Mama T into it. And I got our daughter into it a little bit. I mean, she always looks at coins when she gets them now. And, I mean, she's got a couple that, actually, she's got a bill or two that I want, but she won't let me have them. <laughs> I even bought, offered to buy it from her. And she right. said no. Because once I offered to buy it from her, she knew it was worth some money. Right. And I was offering her a good price for it. And she'd say, yeah. nope. My dad, my dad has collected coins and stuff all his life, from what I yeah. can remember. There's a bill, there's only a very few of them out there, but every once in a while you'll find a bill that has a red one red number, I mean one red letter at the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And I forgot exactly what they're called, but they're highly collectible. Oh, I bet so. And uh I'd have to I gotta do some research on them again, but my daughter found one. 
Somebody used it. Oh, wow. She worked at a convenience store, and she bought it. Best place to work to get stuff like that. And she's like, I, I told her what it I said, well, I said, let me buy it from you. She's like, no, well, I found it. I'm like, but I collect the stuff. She's like, so? It's mine. <laughs> like right. she's like, and a while back, she, at last year sometime, I gave her a cat and bus dime. I'd bought three. We'd sold one, we cat one, and I gave one to her because she was getting into collecting coins a little bit. Mm -hmm. About a month and a half ago, she sent me a picture of it. She's like, do you know what this is? I said, um, <laughs> it looks like the cat bus dime that I gave you. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh. Oops. <laughs> Gave her a nice 1800s cat bus dime, and she's like, Oh, okay. <laughs> like, you know. yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, Cajun, Cajun, what have you been up to, man? Well, we dropped my granddaughter off today. Uh, we met up with Alex Conway. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't show up in here tonight uh, in the auction. Because uh, he, was he was in earlier, I believe. Oh, okay. Because uh, we met up in Livonia. You know, he was like two miles away from where we dropped my granddaughter off at her, uh, her other grandpa and grandma's house. And while we were at... Uh, at Charles and Bertha's house and at her nanny's house, my granddaughter's nanny, nana's house, uh, he texts me, says, hey, buddy, because I was calling him, and that's when I, I noticed a text mix, and I called him up. I says, uh, we're about four minutes from the Valero station. He said, oh, shit, we better leave now then. <laughs> so we met up over there. I gave my little Ticado a little present and uh, we shot the bull over there for, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes at the parking lot in front of Penny's Diner. Uh, it's first time I ever met up with Alex. So he's been in my live streams before and all that. Yeah. Uh, many, many times. He used to co-host with me uh, when I had my wheels of silver. My Cajun's Wheel of Silver. Anyway, uh, so we met up today for the first time in like uh, a year and a half in person. And then uh, we headed on back uh, over here. Me and Johnny dropped by the big shop. He had a hot board in the test tank and we were looking at it, going through it, seeing why I was missing so hey, there, there. Uh, we'll work on that earlier, Donald, but that, that's what yours is, Donald. Uh, she's she's almost nine, Bubs. Uh, bubbles. I can't call her Bubs. We've got another Bubblicious and another Bub. <laughs> almost nine. But I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not glad she's gone. I'm glad we brought her back because of her little devil dog. <laughs> <laughs> a little puppy she brought over here. Oh man! Yeah. Oh, don't worry, Papa. Don't worry, Mama. I'm gonna clean up after the puppy when we picked her up. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm gonna watch the puppy. Yeah, right. All right, thank you, Donald. Yeah, I've got uh, wait for a few people. I guess gonna pay tomorrow or next day. Or I got. Both of my uh, 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 dealers that I got to pay. <laughs> oh, next week, uh, be ready for something in the mail, Big T. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yep, you're yeah. right, Dizzy. You are correct. You are correct, Dizzy. 
In fact, I think you already know what it is. Uh, no, I'm lost. What? On what, what you got coming in a in a box to your house? Uh, you talking about from '83? Uh, '83. Matt. <laughs> no, uh, uh oh. no, from me. What's up, Juan? What's up, guys? What's hey, up, Juan? Juan? What's, What's up, Juan? Too? What's up, bro, bro? Oh, not much, not much. Oh, Mike got a new scope. Mike, Mike needs a new microphone. Mike needs a new mic. He don't need a new scope. He needs a new mic. Mike just needs to get a microphone that he can pull out away from his computer instead of closing his computer down and hiding his microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he need a new scope. He needs a he needs new one mic. of these right here. External mic. Yeah. Hey, there's, there's, there's a, there's a Herbert right there. I see him. Oh. <laughs> what are you talking about, there, <laughs> Sam? I don't know, but you, you're forever known as Herbert now. I'm sorry, you can't be Herbert my career. <laughs> Herbie the pervert. Mm -hmm. Can somebody say that again? <laughs> Herbie the pervy. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. I've been trying to take it easy today, guys. I've got a pinched nerve in my back. That might be going around. I know two other oh. people right now with pinched nerves in their back. Yeah, it's in my lower, <laughs> it's in my lower spine. I got a back brace on right now trying to uh, keep the movement to a minimum. It mostly hurts when I stand. Yeah, these guys got it in their sciatic down there. Yeah. That bubbles, I believe it. I believe it, Bubbles. Don't you do it. What's up, everybody in the chat? Don't do what? Believe it. <laughs> hey, where, where are you from, that. Bubbles? Believe that. Where, where are you from, Bubbles? Bubbles is in Texas. Okay. Where, whereabouts in Texas are you from, Bubbles? Oh, yeah. Inquiring minds want to know, especially Sam. Uh-huh. <laughs> that, that's a single man. That guy right over there. Yeah. <laughs> pointing at. <laughs> yeah. Down there in that bottom corner down down there. Right yeah, there. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. His last date didn't go too that's good. Ready, He's a macro. Better watch out. <laughs> He's on the hunt. Yeah, see, Bubs reminds me of the sister that I never wanted because she would probably kick my butt every minute of the day. Uh, I, I think Bubs hey kicked my butt, too. <laughs> oh, man, hey, I bet Bubs could kick some serious tail. <laughs> <laughs> never had to, put it that way. Yeah, well, that's a good thing, right? Right. Uh, so big team thousand dollars for nine months for a dorm. Wow, that's a really have the clock running. The countdown. 30, Holy shit. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. What's well, up, uh, Don't play dumb, Big T. You know. Does it does that I mean your your, your fertility <laughs> clock or what does that mean? No, I, Big yeah, T it's, it's fertility clock. Yeah. My man boobies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, Big T's birthday is coming up pretty soon on the set, and mine's is arriving on the 10th. So I got the clock ticking down. I don't know what you're oh, talking about. The birthday clock. Yep, that birthday clock. Never heard of it. Even though I ain't doing Jack for I, it. I don't know what the heck he's talking about. Yeah, I don't have birthdays anymore. I'm, <laughs> I, you gave I up never on that. birthday. You gave up on that age. I, I was cable. down under a rock. <laughs> I'm just oh. a long time dumpster baby. <laughs> I was found under a rock. <laughs> so. Not me. I was under a cabbage leaf. I was eating. <laughs> Imagine that. Yeah, yeah, I can see it now. I You dance with rabbits. <laughs> Not with yeah. wolves. <laughs> no, I would run the rabbits off. At two days old, I was running rabbits off. Hey, leave my cabbage alone, dude. 
I, hey, I tell you what, okay. the the deer, the deer around here, the deer in this area, they are eating up everyone's gardens. Like everyone's like tomatoes, like the, they just nibble, they just nibble on the on the tops of the tomatoes and and everything yeah. around here. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's extra meat for my freezer right there. If they would do that on me, give them a little pop. Hey, Bubs, what uh, what are you, uh, Bubbles? What are you talking about? Who who sounds like who? You talking about like you talking about uh, sound like Herbie the Furby? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do? it's 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 so funny how I could just mimic so many people. I was I was doing that in uh. In a buddy of mine's gaming live stream a couple days ago, and people were like, "Dude, are you using a sound machine?" I'm like, "No, I'm just doing it by how I sound That's it out." The first thing they all say is, uh, "Are you using a sound thing?" No. Yeah, exactly. Look, I got my hands up, and I can still sound like that guy somewhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to clear up when I, when I was asking where. Uh, where bubbles was, I wasn't asking about bubbles. I was asking about Bubblelicious when I said, "Where are you from?" I uh, that, people, people probably knew. I wasn't talking about the chat. Oh, oh yeah. I'm from I'm Ohio. From Ohio. Yeah, she's from the uh, Chinese place. Because if you hear it, it says Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> Ohio. 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 There you go. Victoria Roman Carter, how are you? Uh, yes, seven, I don't blame you, 710. They eat your medical plants. You better eat it ass. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. You you get a good a good dinner and a good buzz at the same time. Well, well actually, you yeah, took the word out of my mind. <laughs> which I don't mess with that stuff anyway. Uh, 710, well, it'd probably be better if you ate the flanks and the hindquarters. If you're eating his ass, I mean, you're just going to get a mouthful of crap. Boy, I ain't uh, no <laughs> Good God, man. Would somebody... <laughs> I'm going to choke out Gleason because he keeps wanting my microphone. I keep telling him he's got to shell out the money to get it. Gleason, I'll tell you what. You send me the money, and I will get you the microphone and send it to you. Well, uh, You can't have mine. My, my personal thought... As I can find something else that I can buy a lot more of than spending four hundred dollars on a stupid microphone. I hear that. Well, I mean, I had I, it was a well good investment for me to spend the four hundred on this mic, and that's because right, I do my gaming. Just so good, and I had to spend four hundred dollars on a microphone. I know, I know, but yeah, I do my it's one of them gaming mics. Uh, I know. And yeah, it's, see, it's this. That's my gaming mic right here, guys. This it's one does just as good, and it didn't only cost me but forty bucks. Mine's <laughs> <is> even <laughs> better. Not in blue, wow. blue mic. Wow. Uh, what's the name the, of those blue the mic? Blue, uh, the blue Yeti. Blue Yetis, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, those are pretty decent microphones, and they plug play. They have a USB port. Well, that see, you plug into your computer, and you don't need a Phantom, uh, a mixing board with the Phantom forty-eight volt power, like some condenser mics. You buy the mic on on any website, Wish or whatever. Twenty bucks, you get the big old boom with it and all that. But well, you have to have a mixing board to plug it into, then plug the mixing board into your computer. But see, mine's, if you look at my mic right here, it has the, the condenser on it. It also has a four-way channel system on here that a lot don't, uh, where I can do podcasts, I can do regular voice-to-voice, -voice, I can oh, yeah. Yeah. mouse things off left and right. Um, of course, right. it's got the LED turn off to let you know that you're recording or people can hear you. And it's also got the volume up here where you can turn it, and it has the stabilizers. The stabilizers are more hey, important. And mm, this is the way I look at it. Mm, How much is that mm, mic making you? Uh, pretty soon that mic will be making me a crap ton of money because, um, I mean, so far I just started my gaming channel. I already got nine nine subscribers, and that's nine just subscribers. Yep, where it took me a longer time to get my my 
coin channel subscribers. Dude, yeah, how does a gaming channel how, make how it quick money? do you think you're gonna be making money? Uh wanted to be a Ford it, stuff. It takes it takes a little time. It takes a I, lot of time because my nephew I, does it and he's still, you know, he's he's already got his over thousand and four thousand white. Right, you know, right that's that's why I have two channels. I have that's why it says nightmare coins and nightmare X. My coin channel is one, my gaming is the other. And the yeah, reason why right. is because in the coin, in the regular coin community, I mean, I see people making really good money off of off of doing the stuff that they do, but yeah. they will never reach the high status of what <laughs> of what gamers do, where uh, gamers are making thirty, forty million dollars a year. Dude, what, you, you, you going to make that in, in a couple of years. Who knows? If I put out really good content, that's all that matters. Dude, you got too many people to compete with. Yeah. I'm just, well, I'm, I'm, not not anymore because apparently um, one of those foundations actually just dropped recently. You so got a lot of people out there, a lot more people to contend with than what you think. Of course, I mean, and, of course. But sit there and think. But see, I know. do things. I do things a little bit different though, because a lot of people don't. Think about going back to the old retro games. That's what I'm doing. I'm bringing the retro back to what we all grew up on loving playing and and doing, you know? So I'm bringing that into the mixture as well, which you don't see a lot of people doing that. Well, I got a question for you, Juan. Mm -hmm. How does a gaming channel make you more money than your uh the, the coin channel or any other channel is it because the ads you get more subscribers you, you get ads you get promotions um, um you can get sponsored by monster energy you can get sponsored by so it, many it, people it, okay big, one of the guys i work with his boy is a professional i got professional you gamer yeah well yeah, i'm he's saying been, he's been, at, he's it, been it, at it for it. a long time it, oh yeah i i know of a guy i, I don't know his name I know of a guy that's got a gaming channel. <laughs> Yankee. And let me tell you what, this guy makes sometimes five grand a night. Yeah. In super chats. Yeah. <laughs> super <laughs> chats. Five grand a night. People are sending him three, four, five hundred dollar super chats. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. Man, uh, that's a lot of money. That, that must look be some funny money. money. These gamers that are making that kind of money, look mm -hmm. how many subscribers they've got. Oh, look yeah. How long they've been doing it. Oh, yeah. And how I mean, I'm not, they even I'm, not, got, you know, I'm not saying by any means I'm like a mass magician all of a sudden. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to get yeah, it up well, there. You got to start yeah. off small. Yeah, you got to start off small. Like and do it. And then yeah. If you don't start off, you're never going to grow big. Yeah. Exactly. You, you've got Hopefully. a big investment in it already, though. Yeah, I mean, exactly. You, I mean, check this out. More than you're on doing. my coin, on my coin channel. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm never going to quit the coin, the coin family, because you guys are my family. Right. But right. look at how much content I have on my coin channel compared to my gaming channel. I have almost 20, 20 videos already out. Okay. And live streams. Well, my so coin channel, I don't have much because I don't have anything to really. So, what you're you know, telling use. us, your gaming channel is growing more than your coin channel. It will be if I keep putting out really good content. content. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I mean, if I was able to do like how Big T does, or, you know, some of the other guys out there that have content to actually put out there. You know, well, on the I, community. I, make, I make the content. Yeah, I mean, you make wow. the content, but you know how to make your content. But Juan, I try. When, you're, when you got that stimulus check in, I guarantee you, if you would have bought the stuff and the coin stuff and started making content with it, mm -hmm. it would grow exponentially. Yeah. Okay. But when you sit there and put it all into something else and 
I'm not trying to burst your bubble or anything. I'm just, oh, no, I'm no, 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 no. Don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I, I love to hear the truth. I, I'm not one of those guys that yeah. wants you to blow smoke up my ass. I'm, uh, I'm just being honest maybe, with you. You know, it seems like you're turning more towards <laughs> the uh, away from the coin community and spending more time with the gaming. No, I'm no, I do it. I do it just as equal, man. I mean, yeah. I'm in a lot. Believe it or not, most of these people that I'm looking on this list that's in your stream right now that have channels, I have visited almost every one of their channels. I have yeah. sat in for a little while. I have commented on their videos. I even, you know, you know, just stayed around for a little bit, yeah. you know, but you know, that's because I'm trying to show everybody that I'm still here, you know, that, hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not planning to go yeah, anywhere. And, well, it's just, it, to, to hit where you need to be, where you want to try to be at, uh, you're gonna. it's going to be a couple years before you hit hit there. Of course. I guarantee it's going to be, you know, five, ten years before you hit that spot because there are so many gamers out there yeah. that make a lot of money gaming. Oh, not only on YouTube, but on Twitch too. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, in the. I mean, I have a Twitch. I I have a Twitch channel, but I haven't even started that one yet. I haven't even put gonna, anything I mean, on it. Your best thing to do is, if you want to do it, you're going to have to uh, do uh, what I would do. Mm -hmm. I would start out on Twitch because there's more gamers over there on Twitch. Mm -hmm that have the high content of people and they have what they do. Is they do their live streams on Twitch mm -hmm. and then put their content over on YouTube. Right. Okay. Right. You'll get more, you know, cause you go into Twitch and if you say you're doing a certain game, you can see how many people are doing them, you know, doing them games. Right. Uh, you search the game and it'll give you a list of everybody. And, yeah, because I go on every once in a while and look at stuff because certain people that I follow on YouTube, their content comes from their Twitch streams. Right. And if you look at their followers over on Twitch compared to YouTube, they have a higher following on Twitch, but yet they have a pretty close to high content on YouTube also. Right. I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing that pretty soon. Um uh... But, you know, for me just starting out, you know, I felt a little bit more comfortable with the YouTube side. Yeah. So that's why I put out, I mean, I've got about probably four or five live streams and I've got about maybe eight or nine uh, recorded ones, but they're all over an hour long. So the one that's uh, actually sponsoring a lot of people right now is Raid Shadow Legends. That's the one yep. that's sponsoring a lot of people right now. But if you look at the people they're sponsoring, you have 75, 100,000, 200,000 subscribers. Hey, B, yeah. B how you doing? Yo, know, to get hey, there, what's a BB? Yo, know, it's going to be a while to hit that. I mean, yeah. I've been stuck at 1,390 something subscribers for a while. Yeah. I, I don't really care to grow to the point to where. I forget who I am. Yeah, exactly. And see, yeah. that's why that's why I'm always with you. I mean, yeah. even though I don't purchase anything or stuff like that, I do purchase from you every once in a while if I have the money or if I do a trade. But, you know, I show you a lot of support because you yeah. have my most respect. Yeah. I'm you know, you, I mean, it's going to be, I understand, you know, Follow what you want to do. I ain't telling you don't do it. I'm just saying. Right, right. Follow what you want to do, but just know it's going to be a long, hard struggle to get there. Oh, I know. Nephew, Nothing's easy. Nothing's every easy. Fr every Friday night, my nephew does two hours, and he does uh, Planet Side. Yeah. I thought about playing that one, but... Um... He, he plays Planet Side every, uh, every Friday night. He streams for two hours straight. I mean, he's already bypassed me in subs, and he was below me in subs. Mm. He's already bypassed me in subs. He's already got his, uh, his, uh, you know, his monetization and all like that. And yeah. he's starting to, you know, he's finally starting 
his uh his you know, getting his, checked he, from YouTube. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, I'm, much, I'm mostly I'm mostly play like Outer Worlds, Halo Five, um, yeah, Gears of War Five, um, Red Dead Redemption Two, um, Grand Theft Auto Five. You know, I do all those, and I just got a new external hard drive for my Xbox one to give me an extra four terabytes of memory. So I can add way more games to that list. Actually, I seen the setup last night and I don't remember. I, I happened to catch this video that you can actually buy a PC system. Uh, 17. What do you mean? You can buy a P uh, a PC system. With a uh, gaming system hooked up to it. I mean, all in one. Yeah. Dude, I saw a video day before yesterday. They took one of the old Xboxes. Not the Xbox 360, but the Xbox. Yeah. They took all the components out of it and put an i9 uh, processor, a Intel processor in it with all the hard drive and everything. Yeah, and that was their computer, and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> I'm like, "How did they do that?" Uh, it's easy to do that stuff. It was crazy. And they make mods, well, not mods, upgrades for the PS4. Mm -hmm. They do upgrade stuff. Yeah, where you can upgrade the one to two terabyte mm -hmm. up to uh, I forgot how many terabyte. It was a big. It was a massive fifty-one terabyte or something like that. Dang. It's a big mod to hook on to it. It's quite a few things, extra fans to hook on to it. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. That's why I can't wait for the new Xbox system to come out. Because the Xbox, the new Xbox gaming console is supposed to have way more that you can add to it. Well, the PS4 has got a lot of stuff out there right now you can add to it. Oh, yeah. And it makes it look like a beast. Oh, yeah. I think I have what? I have six terabytes of hard drive on my Xbox One. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's I'll because I bought the, I bought the uh, external hard drive that goes to it. I don't have time to do the stuff I do now, let alone gaming. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Bubs, you're always busy. I got too much uh, of believe it or not, she my is. job and everything else. <laughs> She's got a lot that she has to do. I mean, hey, if I ever become really big, then Big T, I'm going to come and get you, buddy. You're going to be my road my road dog. Bubs is going to be my my security. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'll be like, Bubs, get him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man! Crazy, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Just you know, yeah. all I'm saying, uh, Juan is just you know, you got to look, uh, you know, probably. I got probably a a good solid three more years before I actually three three to five years before you start to actually see anything coming back on it. Yeah, that's true. But I always, I always say though, if you don't put it out there, you never know. Hey, yeah. Gleason, Gleason said, "What about him being a bodyguard?" <laughs> uh, God, Gleason would probably. Yeah, I would put Gleason as as one of the security guards. He'll chase everybody off. <laughs> <laughs> All you gotta do is show up. <laughs> oh yeah. But no, no but if I ever become my hand bone. No, but my my whole dream is to make it really big. So when I finally get really big, I never forget who or where I came from. I would never forget my friends. And I'd be like, hey, big T, let's go. <laughs> well, that's why the people that I do, I do what I do mm -hmm. is, you know, I know where I started out at. Yeah. And... Why do you think I keep coming back to your why do you think I keep coming back to your channel every single time and I can't yeah. wait to you you stream it's because you are more real than most of the people that have 
coin yeah. community channels out here because they get so big, they completely get big headed. They forget oh, where the hell they came that's from. Why I don't, you know. Now I can make, yeah, and I'm not keeping my own horn here. Right. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I can do just as much as one of them channels on my little channel. Um, B and B, what do you mean? <laughs> Nightmare coins. Do you lick your finger when you change the page on your iPad? Um, first of all, I don't have an iPad. The hell, the hell with iPad. The hell with Apple. What's up, yeah, they're I crap. Mudswat, what's happening, my brother from another mother? Hey, Mudswat. Hey, what's up, bud? Uh, thank you, seven ten. Yeah, I, I know what he means. Lick right? your finger when you switch the page, just like reading a book. Regular yeah, I don't. Book. I don't have an iPad. I don't have time for it. Regular book. Don't you that there, woman? From the library. Mm. Oh. My whole thing is, you know, Big T. He he's one of the realest guys out there. You know, he'll tell you the truth in a minute. He'll have your back if you were in deep crap. And he does a lot for the community compared to a hell of a lot of people that I know in the community that won't even piss on your gums if they were on fire. Yeah. And when I'm on here and I see that he has one or two thumbs down, I'm like, well, good for Big T. He at least getting uh, the attention, but the hell with those haters. Hey, hey, I don't mind. I don't mind the haters coming in and giving me a thumbs down. Oh, it's me neither. Attention is attention. I, <laughs> I always tell them to take that thumbs down. Turn it sideways and stick it straight up their candy. <laughs> if you know uh, what I mean. Doesn't matter to me. I mean, yeah, Apple products, man. I, I don't know if my I, I don't, giveaway seven ten. I don't know if a lot of you guys pay attention to most of the Apple products that have been reviewed, and a lot of them recently have been burning up, like catching fire and all Much kinds of stuff. Right. It's just crazy. Mud Swipe, you are completely right. If you do not ha have haters, mm -hmm. you are not doing it right. I'm telling you, if I do a, a coin stream one day soon, I want everybody to give me thumbs down. No thumbs ups, just thumbs down. Because <laughs> I want to see what YouTube has got to say about that one. Like, oh my God, this guy sucks and got bad reviews. You're a complete, you're a complete fugazi one. No. <laughs> oh, what? You're a fugazi. Oh my no, god. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just no, kidding. I'm not a fugazi. No, no I'm just way, bubbles. I mean, uh, I've got a complete system in there. I've got a three Xbox 360. All it's doing is sitting on in the cabinet collecting dust. Man, if you look at the wiring system that I have underneath this desk, you'll be like, holy crap, you can pretty much light up three rooms of this house <laughs> with that dude I've, <laughs> I've seen some wiring systems yeah i mean dude i've, I've got some wiring systems i mean i have an i7 uh dell and i actually add an extra hard drive to to give me four extra ports for usb i've got 10 total 10 big t usb drives and they're all connected to something. Yeah. This I've is got crazy. I've got three right now, and all three of them are taken up by microscope, webcam, and microphone. Yeah. I mean, dude, I still have the I still have the, the coin scope over here that's not even hooked up yet. It's it's built the one you got, the same one you got. So yeah. here on on my workstation. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> so, so Cajun, what you been up to lately, man? Been uh, making some boudin. Some boudin? Yeah. Some boudin. No, uh, we don't make a lot of boudin uh, because I can get it just about the same price as I can make it for mm -hmm. down here in my time. So. Uh, now rice dressing and all that, yeah, 
you know, I have um, I have an I have an idea for you to try. What's that? A homemade crawfish boudin. Oh man, we got that all over down here. Crawfish, crawfish boudin? Crawfish boudin. Oh it's shrimp boudin. Yeah. That's all over the place down here. I'm talking about they take the crawfish and they put it in the casing and Yeah, they you instead of putting a uh, pork meat, you just put yeah. crawfish in. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think about that. Talking about the swamp there, uh, Juan. Of course, they do that in the swamp. Toodle, Clint, toodle. Oh, did take a bit of a Yeah, we were talking toodle. about that today. We was crossing the Chafalaya <laughs> Basin, uh, but up a little more north to where Troy Landry lives and the swamp people. Yeah. And uh, Johnny Bass was with us. He, oh he God, Johnny us. Bass! Johnny Bass was with us. He always rides with us when I drop my pick up my granddaughter or drop our granddaughter off. He's always with us. So anyway, uh, we was crossing the swamp, the Chapalaya Basin and the Morganza Basin, mm -hmm. and he was yeah. like, "You think Troy Landry's in there right now?" Saying, "Shoot him, Jacob! Shoot him!" Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Scott? Yeah. Hey, I tell you what, Cajun, if I ever come down to see you and I see one, I'm going to definitely say it. I'm going to be like, shoot him, Jacob. Ooh, shoot him, Boudreaux. Dude. Shoot him, Boudreaux. What's shoot. up, Scott R? How's it going, bud? Hey, what up, Scott R? I tell you what. <laughs> one of the most respected guys, one of the most, now I'm saying that. But I'm not saying that because my cousin was on Swamp People, okay? Right. My right. cousin and her husband was on Swamp People. Anyhow, uh, one of the most guys I have respect for on Swamp People is Willie. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. The one that catches him by hand. He throws yeah. a throw line out with a weighted treble hook, and he brings them things in by hand, partner. Yeah, I, I still remember not, when he... I would, and he's my size, okay? Yeah. He's a little skinny shit. I yeah. would not want to get hit by that guy or kicked by that guy no that guy would knock you out in one lick oh hell yeah that guy's strong oh yeah hey, man know, especially I'm, you gotta pull them gators i know them coon asses like that believe me i used to hunt gators years ago you know? yeah i mean come on man if you can catch a alligator and you know just by yourself i mean god lee that's you gotta yeah, be strong because of, those things are about seven, eight hundred pounds, or well, even more. Uh, thank you, is, Scott. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. Uh, really, when you got somebody his size, what is he? About a buck thirty, buck thirty-five at the most. More uh, like a buck ten. <laughs> no, Willie. No, he's about a, a, a buck fifty, something like that. Buck forty. Uh, I think a buck forty. I think he said one time he's like one thirty-five or one thirty-eight, somewhere around there. Okay. And he's pulling in these twelve, thirteen footers by himself. Yeah. That boy got some strength. That's what I'm talking about. That's a oh, strong. Yeah. He's strong as a uh, a mule and a bull put together. I want to I want to do a spoof of of swamp people though, but it's me jumping on a very tiny gator, about a baby one. Yeah. Like, there you go. Doodle, doodle. <laughs> We got boats at the shop. We can take you out in the swamp if you come down here, me and Johnny Bess. We can take you out for a, a boat ride. Hell yeah, yeah, I'm going to hold you to that. I got two sets of those special mint sets. 50 bucks. 25 right piece for three. Cool. 65, six, and sevens. Oh, wow. That's, that's good. That's good. I still don't even know what I'm going to do for my birthday. There's every single day now they're shutting more and more stuff down because of course in Georgia, we're getting higher numbers in this stupid beer flu. It's so dumb. I mean, the restaurant literally one and a half streets away from me just caught 12 cases and they had to shut it down. That's on my back door, man. That's too close. So, and yet, I still ain't got any word from my boss yet. At all.
Yeah. Oh yeah, B and B. That's true. That's the worst. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Bubbles. <laughs> I'm from the Jay Black. Eh, I gotta put something in my brain department and my brain compartment. Now, my uh, my cousin on Swamp People, uh, which he's not on there anymore, is Justin Shoked, the one from Pecone Island. Pecone yeah. Island. yeah. Yeah. That's my cousin, and he's married, and you know all, all their kids. He's married to Liz, the Gator Queen. Yeah, yeah. and uh, when they giggle, I mean that uh, he always called Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth. 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 Yeah, she was with uh, Troy Landry during the mm -hmm. season, uh, because she's from that area. Yeah, but. I got a buddy of mine that actually works with Troy Landry right now as one of his uh, secondary hands um, named James Gaden, but he's he's from Pecan Park. Pecan Island? I mean, yeah, Pecan Island, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So last time he sent me a picture, it was him standing next to, <laughs> to Troy and Jacob. Oh, okay. And what's his last name? Gaden. Never heard of him. Never heard of that family name. Yeah, they their family's been in that in that city for. Uh, and he's from Pacon, yeah, Pacon Island. Yeah, yeah. They wow. they've been there for. I mean, his now, whole entire generation goes all the way back through there. Now they got two Pacon Yas in South Louisiana. They got the Pacon Yah not far from me. Then they got the Pacon Yah, which is Pacon Island in French. They got the Pacon Yah. On the Gulf Coast, where Justin and Liz uh, have their house at. Yeah, that's that's where he is on that okay. end. He's over there, down on the Gulf. Yeah. Okay. We see uh, when the show first started, they had Liz paired up with Troy Landry. Yep. And, and then, she got uh, she got on his butt quite a bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, and that's a strong you. woman too. Oh yeah. She so was anyway, like, uh, don't call me Liz. <laughs> but when she was with Troy, I mean, yeah, when she was with Troy on the show, her husband Justin and his boys and a friend of his, they were in Pecan Island hunting their gators. So she was, they, they were making twice the money. Her and Troy were sharing the money on what <laughs> they got. And then the two boys were on their own. And then the, when Liz left him uh you know i mean quit hunting with him to go with her husband uh then she had her daughters and then her and uh miss uh madame broussard miss broussard's granddaughter was hunting with her yeah uh, so they were still making twice the money because justin had his own lease he was getting like uh, 150 tags a, a season she was getting a hundred or so tags a season. So, yeah, I mean, hey, look, when, when you live in the marsh and the swamps like that, if if, if you go hungry, it's your own fault. Oh, yeah. You know, there's plenty board, to eat. If you got an odd board, boat and motor and all that, yeah, uh, you can make money. You can. Oh, absolutely. i tell you what, though. We just recently found out that um, – some of the alligators have been getting attacked by other bulls. Bull gators. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. We got some nasty bull gators here. In hey, when I was hunting in Grand Chenier on the west side of Pecone Island, mm -hmm. when I was hunting gators with uh, Dennis Meir and all that bunch down there and Prevot Miller and them. Some of our five, six foot gators were getting eaten. That's what we've been gators. Yeah. Well, the the most yeah. recent one that uh, Fish and Wildlife posted was a seven foot gator that was mauled to death. Yeah. So you know, if that's a seven foot gator, dude, there's a big yeah. bull somewhere in that in that. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've, that I've seen some out there in Lake Okeechobee, down yeah. in Florida. I've seen some of them ten, twelve footers. Uh, I saw. I gator. saw. I saw a really good sized thirteen footer. Yeah. Uh, 
And what was funny was it was my brother's first time ever actually being super close to one. And it was a bull gator and it kept running at him. And I'm like, dude, it's telling you to get the hell away from him because he's about to come after you. Yeah. I'm like, you're too close to the water for one. And gators are quick to snatch and take you under. I saved, uh, I'm going to say a two-year-old baby girl. Mm -hmm. I was at Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge, mm -hmm. not far from uh, Pecan Island. That's Grand Chenier. Mm -hmm. I was cast net over there for shrimp, like mm -hmm. uh, Glenn would do yeah. uh, with with the boys. And I was yeah. traveling, and I was trying to get my limit and uh, with a cast net. And they, they right. got a certain uh, length of cast net you can use. You yeah. couldn't have more than a a, a sixteen foot spread. Yeah, all the way around. Couldn't have more than an eight foot cast net. Yeah. So anyway, I think I had my little six footer with me because I was in a little closed in area, and this little girl, about two years old, her mom and them were crabbing uh, about a hundred foot away. They wasn't watching the little girl, and I can see this gator across the bayou. It's so just coming the, in. The marsh by you, and the little girl would see. The bad thing about that is people, what they do when they finish with their crabbing venture, they throw their bait in the water, and they yeah, the okay, yeah, and, and they tell allowed. you that's not allowed. So yeah, the they tell you never brave. to feed them. The gators are brave over there, and when they seen that little two and a half foot tall girl at the boat launch right there and i seen him coming i seen him coming and he got about i don't know 12 14 feet from that little girl i ran over there down the dock and i grabbed that little girl and that gator was about six foot from her and i started hollering you know making noise at the gator yeah and when i started hollering that woman looked over there and i was holding that little girl and she's coming up to me, belating me, you know, uh, hollering yeah, at me, what you doing with my little girl? I says, how come she ain't over there with y'all? Look, that alligator right there just about grabbed her and pulled her in the water. And I had about five or six people come up behind me. This man just saved your daughter. You ought to be thankful instead of yelling at him. Oh, sir, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, by that yeah. time, I might have been called the game wardens because that woman was screaming bloody murder at me. <laughs> the game wardens. And, man, the only thing they didn't do was write me a, a send off to the president a damn citation for saving that little girl's life. Yeah. Game man. wardens chastised that woman. Look, hey, you got kids over here? You need to watch your kids. Hell yeah, especially around, especially in my in my city. You come here, I mean, you ain't no telling what you're going to see here. I mean, people have been running over alligators left and right, and they're super close to my place. And that's because, you know, I'm I'm just like you, uh, Cajun. I'm virtually in the swamp area. Yeah, so, yeah you know, that's right. Yeah, this hey, is this is their Georgia, home. Yeah, We're just visitors marches, on their marches. Yeah, all most yeah. all your coastlines. Yeah, you know, it don't matter where you at. They got marshes and swamps. Yeah. You know? My my question is, how many people actually eat alligator after they killed or captured them? Uh, quite well, a bit. I do. I do. Yeah. I mean, quite a bit. I mean, what do they taste like? I've never ate one. That's, I don't know. You've never eaten gator? No. It's actually really good. Oh, dude, gator's fucking good. Oh, yeah, yeah it is. Now, gator's you can have good. all the tail meat you want. You can have all the tail meat you want. Yeah. I don't like the tail meat. Just don't. Give me yeah. the leg, the hind legs, the front legs, and the ribs. Oh, okay. man, that's the best part. Yeah, the don't, get the, don't, don't get the uh, alligator butthole. Yeah. <laughs> now, the tail meat. You speak from experience, Juan? Yeah, that's on the that's on the tail meat. The tail meat, you actually have to take all the fat out. Yeah. Between the layers of meat. If you don't take the fat out and you cook it, oh, it's gonna smell your house up. Yeah. 
Now, the legs, the front legs mm. and high legs, there's hardly no fat on it, and you do not need to take the fat off if you want to make a, a sauce with it, you know, a gravy. Yeah. Or fillet it, yeah. you know, debone the, the legs, the leg meat from the bones. You can deep fry it like fried shrimp, fried chicken, uh, or you can make a sauce with that, and you don't you don't have to take the fat off. But the legs are like the dark meat uh, of a chicken and on the alligator, and then the tail meat is like the white part. But if you don't take the fat out, uh, it's nasty. Yeah, yeah. forget that. Oh, yeah, much swatch right. A romalot sauce after you fry your uh, your leg meat. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've been um, we we just got recently warned that um, you know, because I live in Savannah, Savannah, Georgia. I live right off the East Coast, and recently they just found some um, very poisonous, venomous uh, sea snakes in our sand dunes. Wow! And they have been like migrating like crazy dude they they've been having to take a lot of them out they've been hiding all in the uh, sand dunes there awesome. it's getting crazy man i mean and we've been finding alligators on our beach so that's another thing dude <laughs> i mean they're 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 coming out huh <laughs> they're coming out stuff going on yeah huh With all this weather yeah, we've, we've been, been having, having some strange weather in the past couple of years. Dude, who are you telling, man? We've been having some of the most weirdest things. And then, not to mention, we just had that Sahara uh, desert dust. dust. Yeah. Sahara dust come over, yeah. Dude, it, it made our sky look very weird. Cause eerie, it was, eerie. Yeah, it, was, it's because it hit us first. It hit us, Florida, South Carolina. We you know. Had we had the Saharan dust all about, the way up here to Ohio. Yeah, we had the Saharan dust over us uh, about five years ago, something like that. Yeah, I wish I had some of that. I wish I could have collected some of it and made my own little small miniature pyramid. <laughs> we were talking about that two weeks ago. A week and a half, two weeks ago, actually, we was talking about that in here. Yeah, I, I'll make yeah. my own little pyramid. Call it Club Pyramid. <laughs> With your host, DJ Big T. No, 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 I ain't no DJ. Hey, you can't, you, you can't, you can't, you can't go past my security guard bubs, though, without, uh, <laughs> Got to without pay the verifying toe. who you are. <laughs> Got to pay the toll, bitches. That's right. <laughs> 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 if you can't if you ain't got no rolls you can't pay no tolls <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah I can see it now Lil John comes in there and be like hey Lil John I want you to meet Bubs and Big John <laughs> Big, who is this Oh, uh, oh, back to the four to six foot gators that we're getting eight and gnawed on. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I mean, we, we, we did sell them if they wasn't slipping. You know, if the hides, if, if they had just got killed and the, the hide wasn't slipping, mm -hmm. the, the buyer would, would buy them. Oh, yeah. And, you know, immediately cool them down. You know, and all that. But anyway, we finally caught that bull gator. And it was 18 foot long. And his tail was missing. And the game wardens, the biologists were over there. And they had to load that one with a forklift. They had to strap him up. Uh, it took eight people to get him in a boat. We had to call our buddies. And they came in other boats. And it took eight people yeah. to get yeah. that gator in the boat after he was dead. And mm -hmm. we had to shoot him one more time after he got in the boat because he was still kind of whatever. I would have been like, shot him in the head again. I would have been like, Godzilla! 
Well, it was Gatorzilla. It was Gatorzilla. Yeah, Gatorzilla. So, uh, we put the boat on the trailer. We went to the uh, game warden camp, uh, the headquarters where they were buying the gators because uh, that's where the buyer would would pick them up at. They had to take a forklift, strap the gator, and put him on the scale, and then take him off and put him in the truck. And the biologist said he was missing two foot of his tail. Then that was 18 foot without the two foot missing. So that was a 20 foot gator. And they were saying if he'd have had all his tail, that would have been uh, either the top gator caught in Louisiana that recorded, you know, recorded on the book or in the top three. I would have said, can you just give me the extra two inches there? <laughs> extra two foot. Just put it there. It's like extra I'll make a foot. I'll make a I'll make a prosthetic tail for it. Yeah, like, hey, there's your 18 foot plus. Yeah, what what what's the average length of a gator? Like probably half that, right? Mm, well, 12 foot. foot down here, 12 foot. Yeah. It, it depends on how populated the area is. Yeah, the right. gators. Yeah, yeah. Right. I've seen a couple. I mean, of eight to now. ten foot is usually eight, ten, twelve foot are usually average. Yeah, I've seen a couple fourteen and fifteen footers. I haven't seen any seventeens or eighteens. Oh, I, I, I run a I one on the turnpike down in Florida. I've seen many sixteens to eighteens. Many. Yeah. But they're getting a little far and few between because, uh, you know, people are getting more, more length. And I tell you what, though, those older gators were smart. Very oh smart. yeah, yeah. Those things won't let you capture them unless they want to be caught. Oh yeah. And I tell they're you, not what's like those juveniles. Gator, I tell you, what's worse than a bull gator is a mama gator. If you get close to her nest, because oh, all the babies God, yeah. after they hatched out of the eggs. What I what I do, my what? Bless me, what? What I do? I didn't think I sneezed. <laughs> Maybe they just wanted to bless you. Sounds like a small alligator to me. Yep, that's what that is. That's how you do the the sound for the small gators. Yeah. Oh man! I tell you what, if y'all want some excellent, excellent food, and y'all be around for Corn Island or Lafayette or Kaplan, uh, and it, they were doing it uh, in the off season when when they wasn't on Swamp People. My cousin Justin and his wife Liz, yeah, they had one of these uh, these big ass trailers, uh, fifth wheel that you pull, mm -hmm. and it was a a food trailer. You know, and they would do Cajun Cajun cooking because what they did down there, they skint their gator. Okay, mm -hmm. they they showed them selling the whole gator. Yeah, but <laughs> they would skin their gators. The smaller gators, they would skin them out and salt them, salt the hides like we used to do years ago. Yeah, we never yeah. sold the whole gators when I was hunting gators. No, we skin them and sold the hide. I mean, you see Troy Landry doing that. Troy Landry, he'll he'll he's always making uh, crocodile uh, alligator, alligator nuggets. Yeah, well, he's buying. The, the, he's trading off some meat. Is what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's but not, um, I forgot the real. I forgot the really heavy set guy, the one that wore the suspenders that had his dog. Junior. Junior. Yeah, he he would now he would no, capture not the junior. gators. He's talking about no. the heavy set guy, real frizzy hair. Yeah, oh, and had his dog. That wasn't Junior. Oh, that wasn't Junior. No, that's no, not Junior. Junior was with Willie. Yeah, yeah no. no, not him. He was an the older one, guy. Always had to, uh had his dog with him. And yeah, the one that ended up dying. One, that yeah, wasn't Junior. That wasn't Willie. No, no I forgot. No, no. I forgot uh, his name. Junior was with Willie all the time. Uh, got dog it. Uh, I forgot his name too. Uh, he was from uh, Hammond. Yes. Yeah. From Hammond, and he had yeah. a, 
he had a turtle farm also. Yeah. But now he would skin his own. He would skin his yeah. gators. He would skin his gators and he would cut the meat up and sell it. And sell he would it. package he had, it. Yeah. He had a, a Board of Health certified uh, uh, unit, you know, to do that with. What's up, Storm in California? Yeah, what's up, Storm? Hey, Storm and CA, how you doing? <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah, that's the guy I was talking about. That guy right there. Now he he he. I see how he does the whole process where he has to fillet right. it and he puts the salt to to the hides. Yeah, to keep them right. preserved. And he did the heads too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He lack them and all that and everything. Put the marbles in for the eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had a turtle farm too. That was uh, I think. Junior Wright. I was thinking of Junior. Okay, Junior Wright has a place in Hammond also. Uh, Junior and his brother. I forget his brother's name. They have a gator and turtle farm. The big snapping turtles, loggerhead turtles. Yeah. They have one in Hammond too. Uh, that's why I come up with the name Junior. Uh, and they're not far from each other. They only are about eight miles apart. Junior Wright. Yeah, yeah. Him up Wright's Farm, W R I G H T. Wright's Turtle Farm. Yeah, I hate loggerheads down here, man. Those things are so huge and ferocious. Yeah, but they're good eating. Yeah. Get, you, get, you, get you one of them uh, alligator snapping turtles. That's, That's what that is. That's it's called a loggerhead. Yeah. Did you guys know that, that turtles like to eat watermelon? It's true. Oh, uh, well, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. I also know for a fact they like to eat your finger if you put your finger. To <laughs> <laughs> you got to wait for it to thunder until they let go. Hey, or be like uh, Ernest, Ernest uh, P. Whirl. And he was like, and he had the little turtle. And he was like, ah, you should, you never do that again. When the little turtle bit him on his nose, he was like, ah. Oh yeah, er Ernest. Ernest was was big time. Like, how many movies did he come out with? I mean, like it was like Ernest goes to the army. Ernest goes, Ernest goes to jail. Ernest goes. Uh, I mean, okay. Ernest, uh, Ernest, Ernest scared Ernest. stupid. He stupid. goes to school. Uh, one, the one you were school. talking about earlier was Bruce Mitchell. Yes, Bruce. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Bruce. Yeah, that's it, Bruce. That's it, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, the yeah, reason because... I got Junior out of that is from the guy I know, Junior Wright. He used to come by my radio shop and uh, at Tiger I... Truck Stop all the time. Him and his brother. I appreciate you stopping by, Storm and CA. Hey, uh, we're just uh, uh. Winding down the evening. <laughs> no, being B and B, no. Uh most alligator eggs they were hatched out. Uh because you don't know how old they are, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh once you come across a nest, but anyway, turtle eggs. When you when when you uh clean the turtle and you got the eggs in the female, and then you got the little yellow ones. Before they had the, the shell on them, you know, just like a chicken. Oh man, that's good in a gravy pot. Now let me tell you something. That's awesome in a sauce. Ah, yeah. I can see Sam over there is uh doing some dipping. Uh you know, I got a bad habit. What's your hey son, what's your <laughs> favorite type? Is it skulls? Cody I've been dip I've been dipping since I was uh, sixteen years old. What you do, Kodiak or Skull? Skull. No, I, I, I originally I did uh, Copenhagen or I, I did uh, Grizzly Winter Green Long Cut for years, and then uh, yeah. I went to a, I went to Copenhagen Long Cut Original here lately, just because like it, it was a fallback. They need to make one. They need to make. Yeah, they need to make one that's after me called uh, <laughs> Choke to Death. <laughs> yeah, I, I dude, tried dipping, dipping went for me, but I got dude, hooked on them damn cigarettes. I tried dipping. I tried really? dipping one damn time, and nobody ever told me that you're not supposed to swallow it. 
Uh, Juan, when you dip, you either got to be a spitter or a swallower. <laughs> I heard he swallowed. Yeah. Spitters. <laughs> Grizzly and Kodiaks are my two favorites, which I don't do it anymore. I haven't done it in, oh, God, 30 years. If I, if I wanted to dip, I would just get that bubble gum big league and just. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. At least that's safe. Bubblicious. <laughs> it is her. Yeah, I, I really need to quit this shit. I mean, it, it's it's terrible, man. Like, you know, it, it's bad news, man. I don't yeah. need to do it anymore. Yeah. I thought you were trying to take you a little sneaky sippy sip on uh, your drink until I saw you go. <laughs> no, definitely yeah, I not. Seen, I seen a spit bottle earlier. i tell you yeah. one thing that's really gross about it, though. It really messes up your teeth really bad. It, it hasn't well, messed up my teeth. teeth. You can't really tell it that much. It, yeah. it hasn't messed up my teeth at all. You know, over the years I've done it, it's it's messed up my gums. Yeah, what's messed up? Yeah, it will do. It will mess up your gums though. Yeah, because you have to put it like right under and keep it right, right there. In your teeth. Look yeah. like and look like you just yeah, try big teeth. It kind of it kind of looks like you got liposuction under your lip. You know. My uncle, my uncle Howard. Now, what's up, Alex? Oh, Sam, I know what you need a bassoon. What's that? A bassoon. Uh, uh, oh, a spittoon? A spittoon, yeah. A spittoon. Uh, yeah. A spittoon, I mean. Not a bassoon. Well, fuck yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. A spittoon. I was like, I was like, what, I was like, what are you talking about? A, a woman's skirt? I don't need that. <laughs> no, no, a spittoon. A, a spittoon. Yeah, a spittoon. Uh, the, yeah, the, those are actually like collectible. They used to like make them out of, I mean, I don't know, I think copper and, and, uh, and metal. Brass. Brass. Doing brass. good, Alex. Doing good. A lot of these spittoons were brass back in the old days. Yeah, they were using okay. brass. Hammer, hammer had brass. A, got a big wide mouth on top, then it got down smaller, and then it got bigger in the bottom. I, I, I'd have been hate, I'd have hate to be in the one that was cleaning that out and the, in the old restaurants and bars way back a long time ago. Oh, yeah. I know. Man, I still remember I had a, I had a good old boy, uh, but about three years ago, he got off my off my pedicab and he was like, yo, man, that was the best time I ever had with you. And he spit and some of it got on my shoe. I was like, God. <laughs> was like, What's up, Alex? Long time no see you, little buddy. I was like, yeah. yeah. That's right. 710 Beale Street, birthplace of the blues. <laughs> I've spent many days, many nights down there at Beale Street when I lived there. Oh, uh, what were you doing, Big T? Partying, dude. That, you talk about, you go to Memphis <laughs> and you want to party during the summer? Friday and Saturday night on Beale Street, they close the street down on both ends. Mm -hmm. and, they do that here. Big T, you forgetting. You can drink in public here. I uh, do down there on Bill Street too. Yeah, Glee, Gleason snuff snuff is nasty, man. You don't need to be doing that either. Uh, yeah, that's that powder, powder, powder. And you that in the old days, years and years ago, I think we talked about this already. We already yeah. talked about this. Yep, the other night. In the little bitty cans, about that big around, size of a quarter or a little bit bigger than a quarter, about that tall. People used to. Sniffing yeah, in it. Yeah. I've heard of that. <laughs> hey, um, Cajun, Alex Conway said, if you like to party, Big T, come to New Orleans. Oh, boo, buddy. Uh, I'd love that to ain't a place to party. Here. Not, not, in South, not in Southwest Louisiana. Well, me and Alex <laughs> live that? No. No. You you go to I always wanted to go down to Mardi Gras one year. No, you go to Lafayette or, or Eunice for Mardi Gras. That's the traditional Mardi Gras. What do you say, Sam? I said COVID is going to cancel that shit. The the yeah. Mardi Gras? Everything. Oh, Mardi Gras already Dude, they already That's canceled our 4th of July. That's bullshit. Yeah, yeah they canceled our 4th of July. <laughs> this town is so screwed up. You have I'm to make it up in each big year team. before the 4th. You have to decide what day you want to do it on. Because it's different towns. Do they won't do it at all the towns at the same time. And it, we had ours this weekend. Mm. Wow. 
<laughs> Big, T. Big T, if you don't believe yeah. me, look this up later on tonight when you're off the stream. But, dude, here in Savannah, Georgia, they just made it mandatory that you have to wear a mask if you're out there. And if you're not wearing your mask, you get a $1,000 ticket. Whoa. A wow. A $1,000 well, ticket. And that's because in the past two days, we had a huge spike in this virus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was going to tell Big T that earlier. The state he's from, Florida, I think Georgia's in there. There's 10 mm -hmm. hot states right now. And that's yeah. as of this morning. <laughs> as of this morning. Yeah. Uh, the news announced there's 10 hot states that... 15 to 16,000 new cases mm -hmm. in the past week in Florida of Corona. Yeah. And Florida, they had this, Georgia. They had this Cajun girl that lives in Florida now. Uh, her name, I forget her first name, but she's a Gidry. Gidry. And she was pregnant. She was like five months pregnant. She died and they did an emergency C-section on her. The baby is, weighs like two and a half pounds. Yeah, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah, that uh, kind of a big girl, long, yeah. dark hair. Yeah, okay. I heard I heard about that in the uh, news. Yeah, recently. Well, um, seven ten, Florida. Uh, seven ten. Let me tell you something. A bunch of uh, states that are hot spots. Hey, seven ten. Let me tell you something. You come to my city. Come to my city, not wearing a mask, and see what happens. They're not part of my language. They're not fucking around here anymore. They're getting tired of it, and it's because people aren't doing what they're supposed to. The beaches are closed for the Fourth too, Florida. Oh yeah, they, yeah. they canceled. They canceled our Fourth of July. They already told us, don't think about a Fourth of July here. They're yeah. not going to have it. I mean, you can go out in your yard and barbecue and stuff, but you yeah, can't come on the beaches and all that stuff. You can't come downtown. You can't do any of that. They're not going to allow you. Um, B and B, you, I swear. Okay, you say some of the uh, strangest stuff sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you did it last week too. <laughs> I know. That's why I let them stay here because it, they, they intrigue me. <laughs> I get I can get laughs out of B and B. Oh yeah, big time. Mm -hmm. he, he's another hidden. Oh yeah. god, yeah. Hidden I, makes jokes all the time, and BNB's following in his footsteps. Yeah, where he's is that crazy there. anyway? He was here earlier. Yeah, no, I, I'm just I said he to him. B is hidden's uh, alter ego. I don't know. Uh could be. <laughs> you never know. I'm just hey, I'm not I'm not arguing with you, seven ten. I mean, I'm just trying to tell you that's how they're doing it here. So you know, if you don't want to choose to believe me, all all I gotta say is just come to my city. Don't. They are seriously. They are seriously cracking down on this. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Uh, okay, I gotta go get y'all. Y'all keep everybody entertained. I'm gonna be away for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, you gotta go do a little cooking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do a little cooking. It's one o'clock in the morning, so mm -hmm. I gotta pick some food. Okay. Oh hell, it's one o'clock in the morning. I gotta get the hell out of here, guys. I got stuff I gotta do in the morning. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be back. What you got to do? Yeah, all right. No, I'm supposed to be going with my way to her school. Uh, well, all right, nightmare. Yep. I'll see you guys later. Later, later, Juan. later, peace later, later my boobs. See you, Cage. All right, Sam. Pluto. Pluto. Firecracker. <laughs> so, yeah, but they got 10 new hot states they announced this morning. I think Georgia's in there. I know it's Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana. Texas, Cali, uh, Arizona, Nevada. Okay, I want to say Georgia too. And uh, I think Utah. Utah. Uh, there's 10 hot states now. 
that's all in red in the south. That's just the south. And I don't know if they got any, uh, you know, they didn't mention anything up north, which they probably got a few hot states up north, but they just talking about the southern part of the United States. And Florida had like 15, 16,000 new corona cases come up within the past week. That's ridiculous. People are not being careful. Yeah. I, I wonder I wonder how long it's going to be until there's a vaccine that takes place, you know? Oh, is Arkansas in it too, 710? Okay. Yeah, well, okay. That was my 10th one then. I don't know, Sam, but I'm not going to be the first one in line for it. Oh, I remember that tsunami that killed uh, about 300,000 people <laughs> over uh, by India. I remember that big ass tsunami. That that was bad there, man. Oh boy. Bubblicious. <laughs> I, I heard that that the flu vaccine actually had contained a small micro amount of the flu, so that people could become uh, not you know immune to it from mm -hmm. having contracted. So. They're thinking, oh, if they, we could do that with coronavirus, but the coronavirus apparently is so deadly to people that they couldn't do that. So, right. Well, if it's not taken care of, or you know, if you just think, oh, I'm gonna get over this, I'm gonna get over this. All I got is a little fever and blah blah blah. You know, uh, I'm gonna get over this, whatever. I, I, I'm gonna get rid of this fever. Everybody's saying, look. The health department, whatever. If you get a fever, hey, go get checked, please. Please go get checked. You know, yeah. it, it, you know, you don't have to have a hundred and three fever to have the virus. You can have a hundred and two, hundred one, hundred fever. Go get checked. You know, yeah. Yeah. they're begging people to go get checked if they run a little fever. Man, you know, people just. Like, oh, I'll be all right. Yeah, right. Now, if I get a fever, hey, I'm going to get checked, partner. I don't want to die right now. Yeah. yeah. You, can't, you, can't, you can't blame someone for yeah, exploiting the options. They put that thing up your nose, that swab up your nose, and, man, they go all the way up in your sinus cavity almost. Hey, Missy, my wife had uh, one of them corona uh, tests uh, three months ago, two and a half, three months ago. Man, she was running fever like 102, 103. And she went, but it was a sinus infection. Thank God. Yeah. You know, my sister's a nurse, and they do testing every day oh. <clears throat> down in the Capitol here in Ohio. Yeah, that was Steve Woods, what's going on, buddy? Steve popped in here. Yeah, what's up, Long mate? Time, we'll see. Yeah, I hadn't seen Steve in about a week and a half or so, two weeks. Right. So quiet now. Juan's oh. not here. <laughs> Dave not the first here. time I've seen you in here. Who? You. First oh, time me? I've seen you. Yeah. I don't oh, recognize you. Sam's been in here a few times. Oh, I'm not yeah. saying he hasn't. I'm just saying I don't recognize him as all. Well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I get bored late at night and uh and I, usually, if, if I have a few beers like I am now, I uh, I try to pop in. So, gotcha. Yeah, that's all but, right. But uh, I, I I really like I really like everybody you know in the in the coin community. I have no uh, I have no agenda. You know, some 
some people, which which is fine, which is fine. Uh, you know, if people want to promote themselves and, and do things like that, I'm just I'm just another dude, just just like hanging out, like you know, right. I, I don't have any agenda. Gotcha. I met Big T when he was still on Half Dollar. That's where oh, I met yeah. Big T from. Yeah. Oh cool, yeah, man. He was a moderator for Half Dollar, Make It Holland. Yep. Back yeah. when he was a mod, and well, I'm still a mod the last I knew, but I don't make it on there very often. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to watch uh, Half Dollar Make You Holler a couple years ago. I haven't been on them. I haven't watched them or went to their channel. And, uh, uh, I don't know, a year and a half. Yeah. yeah kind of rub me the wrong way a little bit i've heard that big t. I, I haven't i haven't personally big t and i have had some conversations but i haven't had that personal experience with it but we've had some conversations about it well when i'm supposed to get a package from him and it was never sent uh -huh. and then a birthday thing that was never sent or acknowledged huh and people were telling everybody, hey, it's Cajun's birthday. And what well, now, hey, I, uh, uh, oh crap. Uh, Paul, I love Paul to death. Don't get me wrong. Paul, I like Paul. You know, he's mm -hmm. a good friend of mine. But snacks, uh, and I ain't talking bad about nobody or anything. I mean, this is just the whole truth, nothing but the truth swear to goodness, you know? Yeah. Uh, snacks were rubbed, rubbed me the wrong way a couple times. The, the being, what is Wuhan? Wuhan? Oh, that's where the uh, coronavirus supposedly got started. Yeah. Oh, no. No, no, b, &B. I don't, <laughs> I don't yeah. like Wuhan. Man. <laughs> no, no. Come on, now. Say, man, no, yeah, man, no. Oh, yeah, Paul. Yeah, uh, no. Paul, uh, Cajun, I don't know, you might know, but Paul actually was in the hospital last year. Actually, it might have been earlier this year now that I say that. Oh, yeah, Paul, track of time with everything going on. Yeah, he had to have yeah. bypass. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, uh, I remember he went to surgery. Yeah, I was keeping yeah, up he with him. He had a bunch of shit with him. Yeah, yeah, he was out for like two months or something like that. Yeah. You know, that, that's one better. fellow right there. I would go to his funeral, you know. Mm -hmm. He's a good guy. I mean, if he was close to me, you know, right. I mean, right. in my area. <laughs> I mean, I'm right. not going to fly out to California, no. Uh -huh. Whereabouts are you, Sam? You down in Texas, too? I know that came up earlier. Texas? No, no way, man. No, I, I, I'm I'm from you. I'm from Tennessee. Oh, okay, you're not far then. No, uh, where whereabouts are you? Uh, northwest, about halfway up. I'm about dead center between Dayton and Toledo. Ohio. Ohio. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right off 75. Oh, right Dayton, on. Ohio. And I used to deal with a big electronics company when I had my radio shop there. Uh, 30 years ago, uh, I dealt with uh, CEI, Consolidated Electronics Incorporated. And the owner's name is Steve. I know him personally. Uh, yeah. I made a lot of big orders with that company, a lot, over a 15-year period of time. They would send me stuff just to send it to me, like, hey, man, you're such a good customer. Here you go, you know. Yeah. Hey, 710, I saw you mentioned, uh, was it 710 mentioned the tsunami? Who was that? Oh, that tsunami that he was talking yeah. about earlier? Yeah, oh, that, that was down in uh, India and all that. Right, India. right. No, I was going to ask him something. Who was that that actually brought that up? Oh. Uh, I was trying to remember. I don't know. Uh, I read it in here that back in 2004, Tsunami. Oh, it was mud swat. That's who it was. Oh yeah, mud swat. Mud yeah. Swat. Mud swat. With that, did you uh, 
have you seen the studies they were doing? I think it was either Washington or Oregon because they're predicting sometime. They don't know when it would happen, but if a tsunami hits there, they don't have enough warning for people to make it high enough to get away from it. Had you seen or heard about that one? Well, Oregon, if you're in Washington and Oregon, uh, you can flee to the mountains, the Cascades. You can't get there fast enough. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. They don't have yeah, early they have enough warning in, system. They have all them buoys out in the uh, Pacific mm -hmm. that will warn them of it. Uh, and I think you're going to have about four hours notice. But if it happens at midnight and you're in the bed sound asleep, you're going to be done if you live on the coast. Hey, Steve, what's up, Bubba? I'm back for a couple minutes. Uh, oh, you cooking on the grill? No. A uh, couple things in the, in the microwave real quick. Uh, yeah. I should have sent you a picture of what I was doing earlier. What I did for dinner, Big T. What did you do for dinner? I made some uh, steak fried rice on my Blackstone. Oh, cool. Blankstone, you got a blank stone? Yes, sir. I'm heading your way. <laughs> I, love, I, love blankstone. I don't have one, but I tell you what, I would like. I wanted to make my own because I can do it with a. Uh, I have a barbecue pit, a gas burner pit with the three, right, uh, three burners in it, and you know I have access to a welding machine, and uh, I got a steel company not far down the road. You know, like five blocks down mm -hmm. so i can i can have them break my metal for me yeah and uh oh man i would love a homemade or a real blackstone oh man that's yeah, just i didn't get the big 36. i bought the smaller of the two for home i didn't get the portable but it's nice yeah. I made some Philly cheesesteaks and fried rice on it, uh, fajitas. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, I got to make some breakfast one of these days on it. Oh, yeah. I I've mean, I've, I've got a couple of friends of mine in Texas, uh, one in North Texas and one around, uh, oh, I want to say he's in uh, San Antonio area, Austin area. Mm -hmm. uh, you two friends of mine, uh, mm -hmm. they each have a black stone. And they cook on it often. One of them's a uh, barbecue. Uh, in fact, he has a school. Uh, he's a master chef. And he has a school where he teaches younger chefs. Uh -huh. It's an accredited school, too. You know, it's not just, hey, I'm, I'm teaching you this. You know, it's accredited. You know, he's a licensed. So, barbecue. Uh, uh, What's the name of his channel? Right back again. Be back. <laughs> All right, Big T. Microwave must have gone off. <laughs> well, I'm doing uh, twice baked potatoes tonight. Stuffed potatoes. Oh, that's so good. I yeah, love I twice baked. Like, uh, I got some potatoes that are three quarter pounds a piece. I'm going to bake them. I'm going to do them in the microwave. But I'm going to do some pulled pork and barbecue mm -hmm. sauce because we have some leftover oh. leftover uh, Boston butt pork steaks from my sister-in-law's birthday party we had over here at my house. But it, we just had uh, a few people not show up. And it wasn't just that. We just cooked too much, you know. And I'm going to shred that, that pork. And I'm going to put that Kunaz Cajun barbecue sauce called Jack Miller's in there. Mix that up. I'll bake my potato. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to fluff it up. Take some meat out. Put all that pulled pork with that barbecue sauce in there. Mix all that up. Put it back in there with some cheese. Microwave that for about a minute or put it in my toaster oven. I got a huge toaster oven right there. Put that in there. Melt that cheese because all the pork's already cooked. Melt that cheese for about two or three minutes. 
and I'm gonna do mozzarella and some cheddar and the, the five cheeses, as they call it, the shredded cheese, the, the Mexican mix. And after that comes out of there, I'm gonna put me uh, like a half a tub of sour cream on top. And I'm gonna manger grand ton, baby. Let me tell you what, I'm gonna manger big time. Man, you just, you just made me hungry as an animal. I know. Johnny Best wow. said that on the way back from dropping my granddaughter off. Johnny Best said that. We were talking about food, and he said, Boudreaux, you're making me hungry, Nag. You're making me hungry. I yeah, said, that's, that's, that's my job, and I'm sticking to it. And that's my job. I make people hungry on YouTube. That's my, <laughs> that's my ultimatum. I make people hungry on YouTube. I need to stick with my cooking channel instead of my coin channel. Do you, have you ever been a, a professional or have you been a, a chef? Like, have you worked yeah. at a restaurant as a yes, chef? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I thought so. restaurants. I'm not an accredited chef, you know, a graduated chef school or anything. It, it doesn't but, matter. But I'm a true blue 24 karat kunas, and kunasas can cook. Okay. And my wife is a way better cook than I am. So that tells you something right there. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Brown, what's happening, bud? Uh, I don't have no sourdough starter, but I can send you a recipe for it. Well, all you got to do is pull it. If you got some sourdough going now, you just got to take a little of dough and put it in your jar. That's all. I haven't seen you in a little bit, Jeff Brown. About a week or two. I love sourdough bread. Man. And ain't nothing sour about it, neither. I'll be right back. I gotta go hang off the dock. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go take care of some business. <laughs> take, care, take care of the business. Bubblicious, are, are you from Ohio? Yeah, born and born and raised here. I went to school in Missouri, though. Okay, what yeah, did you get a been, What did you get a degree in? A uh, bachelor or double concentration, bachelor of fine arts with double concentration in commercial art photography. Wow! Not doing anything with it though. <laughs> now. Okay. So, what do you do now to stay busy? Um, I actually work at a refinery and I got my mom living with me from illness. And then my mother-in-law has a uh, cancer that came back. That's inoperable. So staying pretty busy between those two, trying to help take care of all that. Oh, and you're a good man. Again. You're a good man. So, so you work at the refinery. Mm -hmm. What's that? All, what's, what's that like? Uh, I like my job. I am uh, actually a control house operator. Okay. So I run pretty much all the equipment or have people go somewhere I need them to do something for me. As far as that goes, if something's going on wrong or whatever. That's cool. Oh, keeping, keeping an eye on things. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. Yeah. Nice. In my man. opinion, anyway. You got you got a hands on on the uh, the what's going on with metals, I guess, at, at the refinery. Oh uh, well, we we bring crude oil in and break it all down. Oh okay, I'm I'm, I'm thinking that okay, never mind. Yeah, I'll you're, think th you're thinking of, you're thinking of like a refining. A ref yeah, you know, like steel refining and things like that. Yeah, that, that's it. That's immediately where my mind went there. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Okay. Petroleum refinery. Yep. Oh, a yeah. cracking plant. Okay. <laughs> Not, well, we've got part of it's cracking. Part of where we work, we do cracking. Right. Yeah, I know what cracking plants are. Yeah, you crack your uh, natural gas down to acetylene, propane. Uh, uh, no, it's not natural. We don't use natural gas. We use crude. Oh, crude. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I thought I thought they called that uh, fracking with an F. No, mm -hmm. uh, no, no. Fracking is when you uh, when you drill it. Oil. Okay. A crack plant is when you taking crude oil, or like you can crack natural gas down, 
and the last part of your cracking plant is called coke. Imagine that. It's called oh, coke. Yeah. And it's black, <laughs> black, uh, like coal, coal dust and stuff like that. And then I think they found a way to crack uh, coke into something else that's useful. Uh, yeah, okay. they, they, they crack the coke down into uh, into crack. In <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. So that's our, that's our coker FCC unit. That's one e of our units. Yeah. Yeah, they got a. They do that. They got a coke plant down in, in Baton Rouge, uh, up in Baton Rouge. I mean, because I'm south of there. They got a coke plant up there, and they load. Uh, it comes from up north, or no, actually, uh, the trucks deliver it from the plant to the barges, and then that goes somewhere else, and then there's something else that comes in on barges, and then the trucks. Uh, and I tell you what, that's like it's like I said, it's like coal dust, you know. And the, and truck drivers, they don't have air conditioners in the truck. They gotta have their windows down, and you can be white like me and Sam and Big T, and you're gonna come out. You're gonna be black as the ace of spades. That's the uh, coke dust is nothing to believe, and you gotta wear a mask. I was gonna say that's when you really need a mask. Yeah, that's when you're wearing it, man. Respirator. You need that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, right. that black stuff will get in your lungs, and, and you only got a 10 year lifespan after you start working there if you don't wear one. Our that's refinery is not a huge one. We've only got two Coke drums where they, they break it all down, and then we send it out on rail cars. But some of your larger refineries have eight or more Coke drums and larger than ours. We only do about 100 and about 150 to 185 a day, thousand barrels a day. Wow! But you're down there on the Gulf. You got four or five, four or five hundred thousand or more down there. Oh, one of them. Good. They got they got four oil platforms out in the Gulf, and you can shake a stick at. If you go out of the Mississippi River or the Chappalaya River at night, uh, you're gonna see lights lit up like a city like new york city you can go a hundred miles and you still see in all them lights on all them platforms it's like it's never ending because of the horizon you know uh you, you don't see what's a hundred miles from you you don't see in like 10 miles on the water you're seeing 10 miles of light then you go that 10 miles you see in another 10 miles and if you're doing 10 knots, which is like almost 12 miles an hour on a boat, you see another 10 miles of light and another 10 miles of light. It's never ending out there. It looks like huge cities out there. Hmm. Gleason said, Big T, make me a sandwich. Who the hell you think I am? You made a chef, personal chef. Yeah, the light gas oil that we break off the off the crude when it comes into our main tire goes over to our isocracker and they turn it into gasoline or diesel and shit like that. And then the water white comes off that same tower and that's where you get your kerosene and shit like that from. Yeah, kerosene they call that coal oil. And all the all the light shit comes off the top of it, all your gases and stuff, all your propanes, your butanes, methanes, ethanes, so on. And methane. we put that over to our gas plant, and then we break that down even more. Yeah, methane, pig farts. Are, are you trying to say that? Are you trying to disprove that uh, cows' rear ends can't have a, a bag put on it to capture methane, and that couldn't solve all the energy issues? Nope, yeah. I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> our, <laughs> our methanes and ethanes, actually, we put into our fuel gas, and we use it to uh, burn for furnaces. We don't even use it because it's not worth it. Yeah. Now, even sugar cane, they got the bag ass from the sugar cane. After they grind it, uh, they throw the bag ass on huge piles. They let it dry up, and then they throw that in there. Their I furnace. Know, yeah. They, they, yeah. <laughs> 
they throw that bag ass uh, in the furnaces and they burn that for the boilers uh, to heat the syrup up. Oh, I think I just gave Big T a hint on what he's getting. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Remember now. Steam syrup. Oh. Yeah, that real dark syrup. If anybody ever had Cairo dark syrup, they make it with steam syrup from Abbeville, Louisiana, and they mix it with corn syrup from, I don't know where they get the corn syrup from. I like fresh cane syrup. So after it sits for a little while, you can dig down there to the bottom, get some of that sugar up with it. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That's just the bomb. You didn't catch on to that earlier when I was talking about it took me a minute, but let's talk about sugar now. It be, wait, be waiting on a box in the mail uh next week. All right. I appreciate it. Well, it'll be around uh I don't know. You probably get it on probably the fifth or the sixth, something like that. Well, that's this weekend. That's just coming up weekend. Uh, let me see. The fifth uh, is on Sunday. Yeah. Well, it'll yeah. probably be around the sixth. You're gonna get it. If I can get it on the sixth or on the seventh, that'd be a great birthday present. Oh, okay. <laughs> Since the, now is it is now technically Tuesday, my birthday is one week from today. How how old are you going to be? Thirty eight or thirty nine? Uh, thirty nine. Twenty one. Twenty <laughs> one. Yeah. I think oh, I'm right, better right. off thinking thirty nine. Oh, I, I thought he said thirty one. <laughs> I don't believe that more than twenty one. Now I'll be fifty two. There you go, buddy. You only got two years on me. <laughs> yeah, but I'm broke down, though. I'm already broke down. Oh, well, look. Hey, I've had both there. my shoulders done and my knee. It's a fakie. The other well, one will be that way in a few years. Yeah. Uh, Bubbles is right. my whole leg. Bubbles is right there along with me. Not dark Cairo. Not dark Cairo. Uh-uh. Steam syrup. Which is what they make dark K roll with. Steam syrup and peanut butter. Oh man, put that on some bread, fold that slice of bread in half, or some uh -oh. crackers. Oh my God. No, you take a big old you take a big old wall, put that uh that syrup, mix it with some butter, and then you get a cat head biscuit and just run it through there with that butter and uh, that too. That syrup too. mixed together. I know what a cat head biscuit is. That's where them big old cat head biscuits like that, homemade. Oh, hell yeah. I love oh, yeah. them. Mama they put brand. Like them too much, but I love homemade cat, cat head biscuits. Oh, I used to make those on the boats all the time. Homemade. I had At one time, I used to have my granny's recipe where, you know, using the, um, the uh, 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 buttermilk. And you, you're just using my hand to knead it. Yeah, you know, she didn't use nothing to mix hers with except for raw hands, just sticking your hands in there and mixing it all together. And then just squeezing off a ball, you know, with a little flour on your hand. Drop a ball, drop a ball, you know, do it like that, and then use a, uh, a spoon with a little bit of oil on it and touch the top of them like that. Oh, my God. Ooh. <laughs> Bless your that's, mouth. That's some heaven right there. Oh, yeah, it is. Man, I, I got to go to the grocery store tomorrow. Yeah, I got to get the stuff to make me some damn... Uh, cat head biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> I got to get the stuff to make me some cat head biscuits. So that way, when that uh, syrup gets here, you better believe I'm going to sit down with a big thing of syrup uh, and butter mixed in with it. A little bit of butter mixed in with it. And one of them cat head biscuits and just dragging it across there. Yeah, buddy. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, uh, Gleason, you're older than me, so who you calling an old fart? Yeah, Gleason. <laughs> What's he only older by you by what? Two years, I think. <laughs> hey, he's still older than me, and he's the one calling me an old fart. 
Yeah. You, you guys know it. Sometimes I like to make a, a a clam dip. Have you ever made a clam dip before? You you, uh, you put in some clams and uh, cream cheese, and you, you put in the clam uh, juices, and then you put in some Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of garlic salt, and that's pretty much good to go. You just put a dip in a chip, and you're good. Oh, we used to, my mama used to do crawfish dip all the time. Oh boy. Smoke fish dip. Oh, smoke fish is good. Oh yeah. Smoke, smoke, oh, down there in uh, South Florida in the Stewart area, there's a little bitty uh little bitty store there that they make I can't remember the name of it, but they make some of the best smoked fish dip that oh my god. Ooh, that's oh, that's good. Never had that. Smoked fish dip? Oh, my. I've had, I've had smoke, smoke mullet and all that uh, many, many times when I was in Mississippi and Alabama uh, for like eight, ten years, but I uh, never yeah. had smoke fish dip. Smoke fish dip. You go down to Fl South Florida on the East Coast side, and man, that smoke fish dip, dude. Eight, seven, Ooh. ten. <laughs> Thursday night. I don't know if you was in here Thursday night, but I was in your position like you are right now. <laughs> but I had taken an editable. <laughs> I had to have me an editable. Dave's not here, man. What's up, David Carlisle? Mon ami. Uh, Dave, it's been so many years since I made Crisco. it. Chris Coke. It don't yeah, matter. Chris, yeah. Makes him flakier than regular yeah. Lord. Well, Crisco is Lord anyway, but Crisco is, you know, re readily available. Yeah. In the stores. You know, now you can go down here. I can get Lord from the Florida house, you know, when they finish making the gratons, the crackers, yeah. uh, and all that. Yeah, I can go buy uh, a gallon of Lord. It's like, I think it's like ten bucks a gallon or something. Yeah, but I'll, I'll I'll take the Crisco. Pie crust, pie crust, Crisco. I went and checked uh, about my uh, first time I checked in a while about my getting uh, monetized, and this time it said I had something illegal on my channel. What? What in the past couple of weeks? It who's doing that? Video who's doing what? Oh, quit doing that. I thought it was one of the cats crying. <laughs> quit stepping crying on his here. tail. But uh no, something that said uh you had some illegal uh activity or yeah, one of your videos had some illegalness in it. And I it's probably just sitting up here talking about uh medical. Even though so, they've got channels devoted to doing stuff like that, but so this talking, was in about your, talking about your lefty, talking about the edibles, or sitting up here talking about pew pews or something like that. Yeah, probably one of them. Something. It was something instead of illegal. Hmm. Uh, now this is in the past couple of weeks. You just found this out. I uh, today. Oh, today. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it wasn't it was today. Okay. It wasn't the last week then. Dang. Had to be because. Man, I've seen guys that had YouTube channels. Uh, expect, you know, expect, when I had my Cajun, I mean, when I was on my Cajun coin hunter channel, this channel. Yeah. They had guys, all they was doing, they was in parking lots, okay? Had the camera on the dashboard, and they were breaking up pounds, pounds of it. Putting it in small baggies, little bitty, whatever yeah. you call it, little bitty baggies, and they're smoking the hell out of it, you know, like Cheech and Chong, a chorus full of smoke. Yeah. And they don't do nothing to them guys. I know. But before that, I mean, I had done everything right, got rid of a bunch of stuff, started trying to make, you know, do different things, but. 
Undoubtedly, something is against me. So maybe it's good that I'm not monetized. Huh. Well, I'm monetized and I got super chat and all that. And when I go live, you know, like for the auctions and all that, uh, for Mike Badger, Value Hunter, you, Big T, yeah. uh, America Silver Patriot, uh, Wheat Back Attack, whoever wants to join in the auctions, you know, they're more than welcome. I'm just the host of it. You know, What's up, David? How you doing, Mama? And uh, you know, I don't mention Super Chat and all that stuff. I'll get uh, no Uncle Bradley, no Bradley, Bradley Height. He'll send me a Super Chat. And, you know, I but I don't mention none of that stuff, you know. Yeah. You know? And when they send me a Super Chat, like a $10 Super Chat or whatever, you know, well, naturally, uh, YouTube gets 40 to 50 percent of it. I've had them take out 51% already on certain ones. It depends on where you're sending it from. If you're sending it from an Apple product, they take 50, 51% out of it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, we, you know, everybody knows that story. I had a video about it already. But, hey, you know, uh, I don't mind the super chats. I just don't beg for it. You know, I just thought it would be cool. Yeah, I, I fought so hard to get to a thousand subscribers. I already had the, the amount of time that I needed beforehand. I was just waiting right. to get a thousand subscribers, and <clears throat> I got it. And then when I went over to do it one day, it said mine was disabled. Then I was like, "What the hell?" They've never once given me a straight answer on exactly what before or now. They just said something was illegal. I'm like, okay, you know. Before it was, I didn't fit in their thing. Yeah. Okay. In fact, I got it back earlier. Right, right here. Thank you for your interest. In AdSense, after reviewing your application, our specialists have found that it does not meet our program criteria. Therefore, we are unable to accept you into our program. I get that every time I have uh, signed up for it. Right. Every time, but they don't say exactly what. This last time, it said I had some illegal stuff on it. When I went to AdSense to redo it i'm gonna try to get uh in a couple of days i'm gonna try to get back with paypal to see if their offices are quote unquote open because of the beer flu we got going on and <laughs> and see if i can get a a response or a, a live person instead yeah, of a yeah. computer uh a computer message saying, "Oh, due to the coronavirus, uh, uh, all our offices are closed right now." Well, see if they ever do that to me, I've got. Uh, I take Messenger Pay, I take uh, Cash App, and I also take Venmo. And I have a PayPal. And Mama T's got a PayPal. Oh, and I found out that. Uh, I can't do it. Venmo app on a laptop or a desktop. I have to do it from a cell phone. To uh, send money from Venmo to another person. All right, like, well, woman. Like we were talking about a couple of weeks huh? ago. Remember me and you, Big T, was talking about it about two or three weeks ago? About yeah. The demo and all that. Yeah. Yeah, you've been trying to figure it out for the past two weeks. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I have to do it from a cell phone. I can't do yeah. it from a laptop or a desktop. I'll be right back. Mama T needs me again. No. Okay. Always wonderful to be needed. No. Somebody can send me money to my Venmo, but 
I can't send nobody else money. I have to put it in my bank account. And I'm going to see how that works because I just put seven fifty in my bank. $7.50, not $750. I wish I had that much. Anyway, uh, $7.50, I did a transfer. First time I ever did that from my Venmo account. So I don't know if that's going to work out or not. No idea. It said it's transferring, but I'll see. Don't know. I've never messed with Venmo, Cash App, or anything like that. So I don't have any experience with that, Cajun. They have Chatbot on PayPal now. I used it the other day. It will start out with a bot, and then you have to get a real person. Okay, Mike. Uh, yeah, I tried to get with PayPal on uh, on their live chat thing, you know, online, line chat. They wasn't even there. All right, I'm going to try that, Mike. Okay, what you were saying, Bubs Alicious? I was just saying I don't have any experience with Venmo or cash app or any of those i don't i've never used them oh okay we well, see i had paypal mm -hmm. uh and my account got froze for six months six oh, my months my account got froze and it's been eight months now wow that that they holding my money what they freeze it for? Uh, is, it, is it like a, a wheel uh, of silver? They were a saying, couple, uh, coin roll hunting couple like theirs. Oh yeah, they uh yeah, their PayPal got froze too. Coin hunting couple. I heard about that one. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Mel's coin corner. Yeah. PayPal froze his, but they told him why. PayPal said, the reason why we freeze in your PayPal account is because you have gambling. They told him that straight out in a message, uh, email or whatever. Huh. They wouldn't give me a reason why. They just said it's suspicious activity on your account. But what I was trying to do, uh, I switched from a personal account like I was going to a business account because uh, I'm a guardhouse, guardhouse coin supply dealer. Mm -hmm. And PayPal told me, okay, they wanted my new credit card, debit card from mm -hmm. my bank. They wanted my new one. And they had been saying that for, I don't know about, eight months, six yeah. months, eight months. It was like, we need your new debit card, which I had my PayPal card and I talked to them about it. I called PayPal about it. And that's when I was active with PayPal and I got in contact with PayPal and they sent me a little five digit or six digit number code. Mm -hmm. So they said, uh, have PayPal contact you. So I'm like, okay. And when I would call PayPal, call that number, they said, please enter your code. And boom, boom, boom. I'd enter my code from my phone. And they knew exactly who I was, exactly what the, the, the issue was. So I talked to the guy or the girl, whatever. And I said, look, I have a PayPal card, debit card. I said, I have money in my account and all that. I says, why do y'all need my my bank my bank card, debit card? They said, oh, don't worry about it. We don't need it. You know, just keep on using your PayPal card. I'm like, okay, thank you very much. You know, five minutes, boom, bada boom. I'm, you know, said and done with. Well, about a year later or so, eight months to a year later, I went to send uh, uh, 
what they call that uh, uh some kind of work order or uh let me think there uh a request a request for money uh -huh. from for i was sending a request for uh chuck daughtry coppercoins.com the one that does mm -hmm. all the winking pennies the wheat pennies and all that all right he ordered a bunch of flips from it, like uh oh six hundred dollars worth of flips you know these These kind of flips right here. Uh -huh. The good ones. The non-PVC. Okay. Yeah. Those are not. Yeah. 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 He wanted like six hundred dollars worth of flips. Uh, six boxes, six cases. The thousand to a case. All right. So I sent him a request. And then I have to get in touch with I have to have my debit card included on my account on my paypal account so i i call paypal and i had my little code you know another code they sent me i had that and they said okay the, the guy said okay you need to uh close your paypal account I'm like okay so uh, or erase your bank that's what it was erase your bank and then start Start brand new. So I'll put my my bank account number. And I'll put my new debit card number in. The next day is when I got an email saying suspicious activity on your account. So I think that's what it was about. Trying to switch that. And I explained that to the woman, the girl on the phone. And she was saying, hey, you froze for six months. There ain't nothing I can do about it. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, can I explain what's going on? She said, you can explain all you want, but ain't nothing I can do about it. I'm like, what kind of customer support is that? Right. Yeah, they don't have any. That's why I never erase anything until I add something new on. Then I get rid of the old. Uh, well, oh. I was on the phone with customer support, and they told me how to do it. Yeah. But I, I, I always, whenever I've changed mine, I sit there, I, I, I add before I take the old off. Or I just leave the old on there and update it to make the new one my priority. Oh, I tried that. I tried to put my uh, new, new card, debit card, and it wouldn't go through. And that's when it says contact PayPal. Would you like PayPal to call you or you call PayPal? Yes. So they sent me that little number code. So I called PayPal and they wanted the code and boom. And that's when the guy said, well, you have to start over. Erase your bank account, start from new, and then put your new card number in, blah, blah, blah. And the next day I get this email message, uh, your account froze for six months. Suspicious activity. I'm like, that was me doing it. Yeah, invoice. Uh, invoice. That's right. Uh, somebody invoice. said that the coin roll hunting couples that PayPal did theirs because they were taking friends and family all the time. I don't know if that's true or not. I, I don't know what that ended up being, if they even found out. Okay, here's what... Because pay, PayPal wasn't getting their share. Here's what Nate told me, because uh, he got in contact with me. Here's what he told me. He said that according to PayPal in paragraph 50 or 51 in their uh, user agreement policy, it's paragraph 50 or 51, no bullion. You cannot sell bullion with PayPal. Now, if that's through friends and family, I have no idea. So, no, I don't know. like I said, I, I don't know. But they were doing a lot of bullion, silver bullion, gold bullion, or whatever. Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't matter if it's silver or gold. 
I'm not saying they were doing gold bullion, but they were doing a lot of silver bullion. And you cannot buy. Now, what, what the heck is that? Appmax? Uh, JM bullion? And all that? They sell bullion, silver and gold bullion through PayPal. Am I correct or am I wrong? No, they do. Yeah, they do. Okay. Well, bullion is bullion. You know, yeah, like, like I said, Cajun, I don't, I don't, I don't know why they did. That was just what somebody had said. They had heard, that, and I don't know if it's true or not. That's PayPal's message to coin hunting couple. You cannot do bullion the way you're doing it, or you know. So I'm, I'm thinking it's because they have friends and family instead of goods and services. Now I would rather pay that three percent or five percent, six percent, whatever it's going to come out to be. Like Ken PB was doing, mm -hmm. he didn't accept nothing but goods and services. That's it. He'd refund your money if you would send. Yeah, um, he yeah. made a mistake one time. Mama T made a mistake one time and sent him. Uh, she forgot to change it over. She sent him friends and family. He seen it. He returned he it back and then had to redo it. Uh, right. Goods and services. I mean that, but hey, I want to. How much money did Coin Hunting Couple have in their PayPal account? It I had know. to be way more than what I had. I had $151 in mine. They had to have way more than I did. I don't know, but it sounds like they should have transferred it faster. <laughs> Man. And then they said, in six months, Casey Coin Hunter or whatever, uh, we will send you an email on how to retrieve your money, you know, how for us to send your money to your bank account. Mm -hmm. you, you know, your account is like closed. And PayPal, I checked it like two months ago, and they took the money out of my balance. I have a zero balance in PayPal. Now, I don't know if I can receive money right now, but it doesn't say my my account is closed. It just says I have a zero balance. But I can get on PayPal. And after 90 days uh, from that transfer, that transfer will be gone. You know, erased from the memory. Like an old uh, email or something. You know, uh, in your trash or something. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I, I, I've been trying to get with PayPal, and they know I've been trying to get with them in the past two months. Yeah, that's a bunch of bull butter. Is what it is. Yeah, that's yeah. why I made uh, all you know backup ways of so right. I can do things. You know, right, and it's. You don't have to worry about the fees with the other ones or anything like that, especially with Cash App. You ain't got to worry about the about the fees and all like that. Uh, Venmo, uh, Venmo, there's no fees, and that's well, a, see, Venmo. Venmo sub, is part of PayPal. Yeah, it's a subsidiary of PayPal. It is, and there's no fees. <clears throat> but you have to have the app to send to send money to anybody. I got you can only do it from a damn cell phone or a notepad. And I've got, you know, the uh, messenger pay. Yeah, I take messenger pay also. <clears throat> oh, I have Google Pay. I don't have the Google Pay. I got messenger pay. I tried to set Google Pay at one time and it got... It was saying something wasn't going through, and I just said, screw it. Yeah, something like that. I, I know I think I have it, but I'm like, uh, it's kind of weird. I try to spread it on my phone, so when I go to the grocery store or something like that, all I got to do is turn it on and touch the thing and not worry about it. Yeah, but, no shit, huh? <laughs> yeah, but screw it, you know. But when I do go to the store, I have to figure out what card I'm using because I got... My bank card, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, plus I have Mama T's uh, 
her debit card and her PayPal card. I got six different cards in my wallet. I have to figure out which one I'm using. <laughs> already, already cut two of mine. Up. I cut uh, uh, PayPal and another one I had that's no good. With you know, it was expired anyway. But but what I like about Cash App, Venmo, and uh, PayPal, you can show somebody in front of it, and not worry about your numbers getting taken because they they put them on the back of it. Oh yeah! Oh, the one with the chip on it. Yeah, yeah. That's like my bank card. I got the chip on it and the numbers on the back. You, but you insert that card instead oh, of swiping yeah. it. Yeah, like that. Venmo. There. Yeah, like that. Venmo and Cash App. Hmm. I need I need to get with Cash App. I guess you gave me an idea right there, Big T. I need to get with Cash App. Yeah. But are you doing that from your cell phone or your laptop? My cell phone. Oh, okay. Let me write that down. Cash App. Let me write that down there. Yeah. Cash App. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people have PayPal. Mm -hmm. And if I want to do my silver wheels, start that back up instead of doing the money. It right. says too. Big T coins. Yep. There it is. And you got a dollar sign in front of it. That means you got money in it. <laughs> no, that dollar sign is actually how you uh how you pay you know, you look it up. Right. That's what your uh that's what my thing is on there. Dollar sign, big T coins. Same with uh with Venmo is hashtag Big T Coins. Right. Is dollar sign Big T Coins. Tigaboo, what you doing? Tigaboo. Oh, that's the cat's name. Tigaboo. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I I named it Tig. You know, which is French for tiger. You know, wonderful thing, tigger, the ticker from wonderful things. So uh, I said, well, I think uh, Missy had gave me an idea. I think she had said uh, Tigger Root or something. And I'm like, wait a minute. Tigger Boo would be a, a good name for the cat. Tigger Poo. Tigger Poo. Yeah. No, she goes, in her, she goes in her poo pan. Oh, Gabby did? Oh, okay. Yeah, Gabby did Tigaroo. I thought it was Missy that did it. Anyway, Gabby had said something like Tigaroo. And I'm like, and a couple hours later, the next day, I said, wait a minute. Gabby gave me an idea. I'm going to name the cat Tigaroo. 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 So I, I, said, uh, I said, well, the cat got a new name, Tigaroo. You know, boo, yeah, short, boo, 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 like my my other Luquette. You know, my garden and cooking channel, boo, Luquette. So, Tigger, boo. So, Booger, no. We had a kitten. <laughs> There's a bat in the belfry. <laughs> we had a cat, uh, well, a kitten when it was born, uh, that uh, it was a calico and it had a big orange patch right there on the front of it. We wanted to name it Butthead. <laughs> it had a big, big orange spot right here in the middle of its forehead. I just I Butthead, one time, and this is way before Come here, shit butthead came out. All right, Mud Squad, you have a good night, Bubba. All right, Mud Squad, later, dude. See, Missy don't like that name, Tugaboo. So they might get another name. It's not used to that one yet. Yeah, I know. She takes her up a name. I, I don't care if she calls it Princess. You know, yeah. or. Yeah, we wanted to name it Butthead, but Mama T didn't like Butthead. Oh, I didn't have any Butthead. 
30 yeah. years ago, and that's before Beavis and Butthead even came out. It did butt-headed stuff. But my one number one favorite cat is actually her ashes are right here and then tattooed on me right here. Wow, there you go. And the guy even when he said he said he says I've did cats before, but he said I've never did somebody's personal cat. He said I've did you know big big cats and cartoon cats, but not somebody's you know house cat that they as a pet. <clears throat> I think I think he even said that on the uh, show too. I think they actually kept that for the show. But to show it, I had to show my movies, <laughs> and my movies do not want to come out tonight. <laughs> Freaks go about at night. <laughs> Especially, especially on YouTube. <laughs> I had a cat. His name was Mr. Cat. Because I never came up with a name for him, and I always yelled at him, Cat! <laughs> Dude. He'd get up on the counter and shit, so he just became Growing a up, cat. we had two dogs. They were, you know, they were Heinz 57. They were a mixture of Pekingese, Maltese, and Dotson. Their names were Boy and Girl. <laughs> They were, they, it was a female and a male. They were named boy and girl. And I had a Red Lord Amazon parrot that my dad brought back from South America. And its name was Bird. <laughs> bird? Bird. Yeah, Bird. Come here, Bird. <clears throat> oh. My, uh, my cat liked to swim in the tub. No, nah, you, you, you try, to get, <laughs> try to wet one of our cats. I tell you what, I'm telling you, man. Cat ate up. I got pictures. We had a couple cats that loved to jump in the tub to take a bath. They loved the water. Ask Missy. Oh, Missy will tell you that. She's she's watching on on the cell phone on my cell phone. She's watching. Yeah. Hey, Missy. Yeah. yeah. She said, "Yeah, we had a cat that or two cats that loved the water." But you remember those cats that I saved from like three days old and I raised them? All right. Well, that was those cats because she would give them a bath like once a week, twice a week. And they wanted to jump in the tub. I have seen videos. Yeah. Where... Hey, Chigaboo, she gave that cat a bath last week. It didn't care. We had, I watched the video that this cat was sitting there under, you know, in a sink filled with water or it was a, a, a bowl or something like that. The person took the cat out and went to dry it off and the cat turned around and jumped, crawled back into the water and laid back down in the water. It was like, <laughs> yeah, it was trying to cool off probably. <laughs> funny. I mean, it was already wet and it looked funny, you know. Because everything was wet except for head up. Yeah. So they yeah. It out of the water. Yeah, cats do look funny when they wet. And then it just, it, you know, they turned around to reach the, the towel. They're like, let me get the towel, we'll dry you off. The cat go. sidestepped, got right back in the water, and laid right back down in the water. It's like, yeah. <laughs> it. too funny right there. I like that. Taught herself how to use a toilet to pee. Does a pee standing up or sitting down? Well, she's a female. Of course, she's sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> it's a female cat. <laughs> sitting down to pee, I guess so. Now, Missy saw some uh, some videos on Facebook one time that there was a cat using the toilet. Haven't you ever seen Meet the Fockers? No, no, oh no, uh, -uh no, no, it, it wasn't Jinx or uh, whatever they no, call it. Jinxie. It wasn't Jinxie. No, no, the cat? it was real people. It wasn't uh, off the Meet the Fockers. You go look at Mama T's old, uh, one of her old Facebook posts. There is a video of her cat 
literally sitting there. You know what it's like to have to walk into the bathroom and your cat's sitting on the rim taking a piss and you got to wait <laughs> for the cat to get that piss in before you can pee? Yeah. Well, that's, that's good. And the way we, you know, she used to follow Mama T in and out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. We're sitting there watching TV one night and all of a sudden we're hearing water go, you know, dripping into something. And the bathroom was right off of our bedroom. Right. And I just eased and did this somewhere right here. The cat's sitting on the toilet and turns around and looks at me. He's like, All right, get out. Mind? Like what? This is my <laughs> private time. Yeah. <laughs> Quit get looking out. at my little pussy, pussy on my pussy cat. <laughs> and it's like, okay. Back away. I'm using the toilet. <laughs> now, if we could teach her how to flush. It would have been better. Or teach them to crap in the toilet and then flush. Right. Yeah. You teach the other two to do that, it'd work good. That way you wouldn't have to buy no more cat litter. Yeah, that's just expensive. Uh, yeah, well, the dollar store has it for, or Dollar Tree has it for like a buck of five pound bag. Yeah, but that's not the scoopable. I don't buy nothing but scoopable. Oh, that, okay. That non-scoopable stuff is not you're wasting your money when you buy that stuff. Oh, okay. oh that's the stuff you use for oil dry. You know, that's you use that for oil dry, that non-scoopable stuff. Oh, I okay. To, I used to do the biodegradable. Yeah. Now that's that shit, that shit that is that. expensive. That biodegradable. I wonder yeah. how sand would work. Well, you would have to get a good dry sand. For yeah. them to be able to, you know, move around. Right, right. Yeah, not wet sand. Wet sand. No, uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. I mean, if you bought say, I'm, I bet sand would work. I, I have no idea. Never tried it. I mean, my granny's cats. My granny never had a litter box. She, had, all her cats were inside, outside, and they, you know, none of them ever used the bathroom in the house. Yeah, you open the door and they take off outside and you know. Right. Well, we get yeah, our cat Rosie and uh the other one we had Tiny. You remember Tiny? The black one with the white mask. Yeah, she would go to the door and meow and we just let her out. You know, when she did her business. Yeah. She'd meow and scratch yeah. on the door and we'd let her back in. In fact, I got a little black one back down here by my feet right now. Well, welcome back, Alex. Hey, welcome back, Alex. That's what Akasha used to do. The other cat I had. She'd go out with the dogs. Use a pot. Never did use a litter box. Yeah, ours, ours grew up on litter boxes. Yeah, she refused. She didn't yeah. go out right with the dogs. Now, I had one cat that refused. Would not. I don't care how long you left her. With dry food, she refused to eat dry food. Huh. She refused, flat out refused to eat dry food. She had to eat wet food. And when she was a kitten, I'll be damned trying to lock her into a, a room or something like that because that little shit would find a way to get out from state. When we moved from uh, South Florida up to the Panhandle, Florida, we were staying with my mom. And that kitten was, you know, a decent sized kitten. I mean, she was still small, but there was a crack about this big underneath the bedroom door. That cat would just flatten itself and slide out from under that door <laughs> and race me to the kitchen so it could get fed. That's funny. But then all I would have to do, I would slap my leg and she would literally run up my body up onto my shoulder and walk, you know, right on my shoulder all the way to the kitchen. That's what my raccoon used to do. Well, yeah, I just slapped my leg, and uh, this cat, uh, Bella, would run right up my side and right to my shoulder and sit down as I'm walking through the house. Hmm. So she thought right away. I had to ev eventually add a piece of wood up under the door so she wouldn't slide out. My mom didn't want to, you know, didn't want the cat running around the house right. at the time. 
and then she got used to our cats. And then she had a stray that started coming up to the house after we left. And she's like, oh, I'm not going to feed it. And then she started feeding it. Oh, I won't let it come in the house. Then she started letting it come in the house. And the cat eventually, I mean, I worked with it until it got friendly enough to where, I mean, I could hold food down there and it would come up to you at first. Mm -hmm. And you could pet it. It would first it'd start growling, then it'd purr a little bit. But between me working with it and my mom working with it, it became a friendly cat. That's good. But she called it meanness. Mm -hmm. Meanness. That's a good good name. Mama. Mama was a bit on the eccentric side. Now we had a mama cat over here, and that hey, was the mama. Whitney, how you doing, hon? Hey, Whitney, how you doing? Whitney, how you doing? <laughs> Where'd Sam go? It's his turn. <laughs> all those cats, all those kitty cats that we raised from three to five, six days old, they come from a wild mama cat that hung around the house. I felt so sorry for that old mama cat. Yeah. yeah. That, uh, I would feed her. Well, I wasn't thinking straight, I guess, because she would attract other cats, feral yeah. cats, because she was a feral cat. Wow. Yeah. She would attract other cats from the neighborhood over here. They started hanging around the Tom cats. Yeah. Uh, Okay, well, okay, Tom Cat. Let me see. That sounds familiar, Tom Cat. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, good so, seeing you, Whitney. So that they would eat with the mama cat naturally because she was so wild. One time, I got a finger or two fingers on on her head. Yeah, and that was it. That mama cat was, and that was her name, Mama Kitty. That's what I called it. Yeah. There's hey, no uh, way Whitney. in hell that we could have ever tamed that cat. Whitney, when Mr. Uh, Gaming going to come in here and say hi to me sometime? I, yeah, know, really. I don't know how long. Yeah, come up in the panel, actually. I don't care if he comes in the panel or not. He just needs to bring his little sorry bud in here one day and say hello. You come and say hello. He needs to come say hello. I know what she's going to say right now. She's probably typing. He's sleeping. Yep. Yeah, he's always sleeping whenever, I, whenever I'm on. Right. Hey, Big T Cage, and I'm going to take off. Good All time. right, Bob. You have a good yeah, evening. You. you too. Take care, Bob. I got to get some sleep. Four. Four, four is going to come off early. <laughs> what time? Four. All right, that's less than two hours away. I know. <laughs> it's a good well, thing I have a nap hour, hour, half hour nap in. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. All right. Take it easy. Everybody have a good one in the chat, too. All good right. Job. Night all. Uh, Whitney, this is every Monday night. We always up here at least anywhere from seven to eight hours, and we've been just past the seven-hour mark. Yeah. Usually it goes about eight hours, correct, correct. Yeah, in between, yeah, in between seven to eight, depends on when Mama T starts asking for stuff a lot more sooner. So, in fact, when when I got back, all right, I met uh, Alex Conway and his wife in Livonia after we dropped my granddaughter off. Uh, we met Alex and his wife. Then we had an hour, ten minute drive back. And then me and Johnny Bess was looking at an outboard, checking out an outboard motor at, at the big shop for about 30 minutes. Then we went to the store, came back, unloaded the stuff, whatever. And, uh, and then I jumped in the auction under my other channel, boom, boom, boom. and uh, I hit the like button. And then I had a few phone calls. Uh, hey, Mr. Uh, Gaming, when you going to bring your butt in here one day, boy? So uh, I had about one day. Four phone calls. <laughs> I had about four phone calls. And in fact, uh, I text messaged.
uh, Gleason, and I said, well, Big T's live right now. I said, uh, I was in there earlier, and he said, I'm in there right now. I'm like, okay. So, and then I got a few more phone calls, and I knew if I said hi, that had been the end of that. <laughs> I would have spent 15 minutes telling everybody hello, typing it. Yeah, that's why sometimes when I go into a room, especially if I don't plan to stay that long, I'll just lurk. Oh, but I was watching, you know, I was watching. Well, while you I know, was Whitney and gaming were the first two people that accepted me in the coin community three and a half years ago. Oh, okay. They were the first one. Actually, gaming was in it. And he got Whitney into it later on, but they were the first ones to accept me as friends in the coin community. Very first ones. Oh, okay. That I did not know. Yep. They are the very first. Uh, we love you too, Whitney. You and gaming. I think I met Whitney and gaming uh, in your live streams, if I'm not mistaken. That's the first well, time I met them. Uh, either in mine or in, uh, like when you said, when you used to go into half dollar, they used to be big in the half dollar also. No, it wasn't now. I think it was in yours. Could be. And or, or silver was, sneaker. For, no, first time was yours. All and right. then they used to go into, uh, TLT streams. Yep. They used to go into TLTs too. Yep. 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 But the first time I seen, uh, gaming balls and Whitney balls, was in your live stream. Yeah. Your, your hobo uh, hut. Yep, back yeah. in the hobo days. Right, hobo hut. Yeah. There's my there's my brother right there. there yeah, okay. I'm, still, I'm still on that sappy story. <laughs> What's up? You know, you know I still love you, gaming. So I always got to give you a big old wet kiss. <laughs> oh my God. I always give him a big old wet sloppy kiss with tongue heterosexually though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, boy, boy. Yeah, but that's back when I started. Oh my God. I was still under my before I changed to Big T Coins. I was still going under my original name, Ralph Maddox, going by my real name. Oh, okay. And then just before I started my channel, about a month or two before I started my channel, a couple months, I changed it to Big T Coins. Yeah, you see, I knew you and a few other people on my original channel, Boo Luket, you know, my name. I really never went on to your original channel. The Cajun Coin Hunter is the only channel of yours I ever had. Oh, I, know, but I used to watch you on my. Uh, oh, okay. On my uh, my first channel, <laughs> my, my real name, Boo Luket, and uh, and then I said, and then me and you were talking more and more on a half dollar, and I yeah. said, and that, and that gave me an idea. I says. I said, oh, I see Big T Coins, and I see all these other coin channels. Let me make another. And I didn't want to crowd my who look yeah, at yeah. it because I was doing garden cooking and lawnmower repair. You yeah. Know, yeah. And tricks on how to fix your lawnmower real quick instead of bringing it to the lawnmower shop like a push mower or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I was doing tips and tricks on that. So I said, I want to make another channel. And let me think of what of a name. Uh, Miss yeah. Whitney, a week since this is now Tuesday, a week from today. Next oh, Tuesday. She remembered. Yep, she did remember. Next Tuesday. Yes, uh, Gaming Ball says, I did not want to leak that in the public. <laughs> uh, you know, gaming, you know I love you. <laughs> you about that big wet sloppy heterosexual kiss. <laughs> oh, it, there's enough people that have seen that going, damn. <laughs> so that's when I added my uh Cajun Coin Hunter channel. You know, that's my second YouTube channel. My you know, my other ones are still alive and well. In uh, fact, I'm almost, at a thousand, I'm almost at a thousand 
uh, on my Boo Luke Head channel. I'm up to right at 900. I'm going to say 900. Yeah. yeah. Uh, me I would and me to exchange coins. He, I'd get in a new uh, hobo coin. And I'd send it to him without him knowing about it. Or me and Whitney would uh, plan. Uh, well, I found this one and this one. She's like, oh, yeah, that'll work. And so we would make plans. And I'd buy different ones every once in a while, a couple extras, and send them to gaming balls. And he's like, oh, my God. And then next thing I know, I got a package coming from him. and We played package tag. Yeah. Oh, like TLT and Redneck used to do? Yeah. Yeah, they had the tag a lot. The, the pack, they had what they call the package wars. And they they could gaming, it, I do the other one. Gaming gave me my very first piece of, uh, actual first piece of silver, which I still have. And my itty bitty balls that look familiar. Oh, that's the first piece of silver I got, and I got it from gaming balls. Let me see the back side. I thought so. Right there, and that piece of silver right there does not go either. Right there in my box of constitutional. There's my itty bitty shitty kitty. <clears throat> Kick your boot. So I, yeah. Mama T tried to get, we were first auction. She tried to get rid of that. I was like, no, 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 no. You do not touch that silver eagle for anything. She's like, why? I said, that's the one that gaming balls gave to me. You ain't getting rid of it. That's right. That's my first Silver Eagle. It was given to me by Gaming Balls, and it goes nowhere. I still got everything I got from you on my birthday hobo uh, pack. Oh, my God. Well, she didn't know gaming. She didn't know she was going through. We were going through both of our stacks and on our first auction trying to make money to fix our truck. And she started to, and I pulled it out real quick. She's like, okay, no problem, no problem. <laughs> she yeah. didn't oh, know. Yeah. You just didn't realize where it came from. Nope. But now I've got that silver eagle that I got the, my 86 that I wear on a necklace. But gaming ball stays put up in a capsule. So nothing happens to it. Yeah. Him I, try to, I try to keep my coins when I get them uh, from somebody. I try to keep them in the envelope. Yeah, um, and you know, I, I started that about I don't know, eight months ago or something. You know, even like a, you know, auction, auction stuff. You know that I win yeah. in an auction. I keep it, that way. I know where it comes from. You know. Well, I got a pretty good memory when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, I've got, I've got stuff all over from different people. You know, I've got to right. get. Oh, me too. Yeah. Little by little, I'm, I'm getting things straightened back up where. I want to have all my constitution on one thing, all my pennies and all like that, that I've gotten from different people uh, right. in one thing, you know. It's just, I've got so much different stuff. Well, when I would get, like, say, from you, I would get stuff in flips. I would write on it, you know, like, birthday, yeah. birthday present from Big T, you know. And all that. Oh, yeah, that's, and that's all right. those are uh, uh, storage boxes. You know yeah. that you know the long boxes that you put the clips in, and uh, oh, B and B's back. Oh, I would put him in a flip. Yeah. Now, uh, Whitney. Yeah, Whitney got that ET hobo. Yep. Uh, gaming right now. I don't have to leave them in envelopes, but. You know, you never know. <laughs> You're that little kitty cat. Yeah, she's a sassy little thing. And Cajun's petting his pussy. And she's, know, got them, she's got them, look, 
you see on the side, she's got them oscillate spots. Yeah. Spots, and then her face and her legs have the tiger. Look. Yeah. Look at that hind leg and that front leg. Yeah. How they got the trigger stripes. And uh, Juanito even commented on that. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, getting to be one of those cats like I got, you know, that he got. Uh, yeah. yeah. That special breed that Judy, uh, Judy Kaspersky or whatever uh, invented those thousand dollar cats. Yeah. yeah. Well, that one there has some pretty colors and all on it. So that's why I like that cat. That one right there. When Janice brought that cat over to give to Missy and my granddaughter, I'm like, oh man, I like that cat. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let you listen to something, uh, Cajun. I gotta find it first. Hopefully I didn't get rid of it. Uh oh. Got me recorded on another uh, live stream somewhere. <laughs> No, I gotta see if it's gonna load up. Kind of like a fart. It does sound like a fart. Big old orange cat. Oh, okay. What yeah, that was. He was snoring. Oh, snoring. Oh, yeah. okay. Sounded like he was farting. <laughs> no, he was snoring. Uh, <laughs> Farts better uh, than a cough. <laughs> Bobo. Uh, <laughs> Bobo, did you just come down? Bobo. Come here, Bobo. Yeah, for it's better than the cough. Right here in one of them, Whitney. <laughs> There's Mr. Bobo. Yeah, our, the one that used to be the favorite, though, was the orange one. But, you know, last year we had to put him, you know, have him put to rest. Yeah, that was a sad day right there. Oh, uh, it was. That was a very sad day. Yep, named after Bo Brady from Days of Our Lives. That is right, Whitney. He is his name is Bo Brady. Mr. Bo Brady Maddox. <laughs> He's my little snuggle kitty. And right down there by my feet is Miss Buffy. And my black one. Whitney, I don't know if you've seen this picture. Hey, I one of uh, Buffy not long ago. She was sticking her tongue out. I took the picture right as she was licking her lips, and it looks like she was sticking her tongue out at me. Boy, don't tell me that thing don't look like one of Juan's cats right there. I've never seen one of Juan's cats. Oh, it looks like that. One of them tiger cats? Yep. Them, uh, but this ain't that breed, though. But he says, man, that got the earmarks of, uh, of that. This is what yeah. she likes to do. She likes to sit on the back of the... Uh, the chair usually, and then lean over my shoulder. Tigger boo, tigger boo. Uh. <laughs> she rolls over when I call her name. Tigger boo. 
Tegabu. Oh, look at her belly colors, Big T. Watch when she yeah. rolls over. I've never seen a. <laughs> yep, it's still a good number gaming. <laughs> I it's never seen a cat that, that. that color. That's why I like that cat. Yeah. All right, Bobo. Thank you, Bobo. You, you're such a good baby boy. I'm just my good baby boy. And that one oh, right there. Care. Sleep on my lap. Well, Bobo's right here. Him's a good boy. Come on. You want to come here? Come on. Come on, take a bit. I think there's a, a light in that camera she don't like. Now, I'm giving you the new, uh, new address, uh, Gaming. That was the old address. You, know, you didn't have the new address since we uh, bought a house and moved. John, go to sleep. I tried. Yeah. Yeah, B and B is something else. Oh yeah, B and B. I. I I, I don't I don't know who B and B is, but I get a laugh out of them every time they come in the room. I, I think that's like like you said, that's hidden hidden numismatist alter ego. It's gotta be. It's gotta be hidden uh alter ego. If not, they're they're they're, they're funny. That's and then uh uh, Yankee. Yankee cracks a lot of jokes, too. Yeah. Yeah, Yankee's another one that likes to crack his jokes. Yeah, Whitney. She is a cute kitty. And I didn't want another cat. And I told Missy, I said, if we do get another cat, it's going to be one that that I'll pick out and like the colors of and all that. And I said, you know, I, I like one of them tiger stripe cats like that. What time is it where you're at, B&B? &B? What time is it where you're at? They said they're in the south part of Iraq. Oh, Babylon. With oven temperatures almost 122 degrees yesterday. Yeah, he's from uh, Babylon down there in the, the desert overseas. Yeah. 9.30 a.m. Yeah. Uh, seems like it should be more than seven hours difference. 9.30 a.m. Uh, seven hours difference. Because I'm at 2.30 a.m. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> could be. Oh, yeah, I, I I don't know about all the time zones. Yeah, me either. I don't keep good. I don't do good. Well, with time and, uh, who's the guy from Cincinnati? I mean, Connecticut that lives in England now. Uh, he married an English girl. Uh, Ace Bullion. Ace Bullion. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, uh, gaming. I wish y'all could make it up to uh up to Cincinnati uh this next month. Uh, today is Tuesday. Morning, uh, yeah, today's Tuesday here too. Yeah, Ace Bullion. He was 
when I was, uh, I would be on at like 12 o'clock at midnight. It was breakfast time for him. Oh, wait a minute. No, uh-uh. I'd be uh, like, Whitney, oh, Whitney. in the morning, it would be breakfast time for him. And his Whitney, girls were Whitney. talking to 68 degrees right now and beautiful and dark. <laughs> uh, yeah. dang, uh, next month is the Cincinnati Coin Show. The Cincinnati, Ohio uh, Coin Show. And guess what? I'm going. I am going. And I'm jealous. Well, I've got somebody picking me up. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, you got Charles Kelly picking you up. Yeah, where the hell is Charles Kelly tonight? Uh, he probably he works overnight, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so sometimes he's on, sometimes he's not. Yeah, because he works overnight. Uh, yep, I'll probably shoot some videos. I'll probably actually do some live streams also. Yeah, if they let you. Well, uh, somebody said they they uh, allowed them to, but as long as you're not showing people and their, their things, as long their as you keep the camera on yourself. Right. Yeah, as long as you don't show their faces and... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Ohio show is more lenient than uh, the other show. Uh, yeah. because they want they want people to uh uh go live so other people are go to remind them it's kind of an advertisement for them yeah i'll be, I'll be shooting videos i'll be rolling along in the wheelchair yeah shooting videos <laughs> like the one in uh in louisville kentucky yeah uh, by new coins over there uh, yeah they didn't have a problem at the Louisville show. You know, they they let them do what they want. They just told them, look, don't get people's uh, faces uh, if they don't want to, you know. And uh, what's that one, Green Greenville or? Uh, I don't know. There's another one. Uh, no, they don't let nobody uh, uh, yeah. taking pictures well, or videos. They don't want nobody doing that. Greenville or uh, Green is Green God, something. God. They kicked out a guy, and he had all that on on video. Yeah, and the guy was buying like you know four, five, six thousand dollars worth of stuff. Well, I don't know how much money I'm gonna have with me. I've got a hey chunky butt. <laughs> Gotta love some chunky butt. Uh -oh. oh crap, he snuck up on me. <laughs> Gotta love some chunky butt. <laughs> Mr. Bobo. Mr. Big Bo. Mr. Big Bo, you up here purring. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Mama T is going to let me go. Mama T can't go, but she's allowing me to go. So I'm going to take advantage to get out and meet everybody. Get pictures with people so she can see me meeting everybody. There's, I, I know Jeep and John's going to try to do some live streams. I may even try to do a live stream and it's going to be fun. Yeah. I remember Gleason uh, saying he wished he could go. Yeah. He's got, he's got too many responsibilities that he actually can't. Right. Meet. Right. Yeah. That is correct. He's got too many responsibilities where he can't. If right. Mama T had, if we had a comfortable way for Mama T to travel and, you know, all like that, Mama T would go, but, you know, it'd be hard because I'd have to push her wheelchair and I'd have a hard time walking myself. So, <clears throat> at my back. So, it'd be fun.
Yeah, she won't have her electric wheelchair for a couple months. Yeah, she's got the auctions and all like that. She has to get, yeah, she'll have to be here to get ready for that because when I get back the next day, you know, I'll get back on Sunday. Monday will be the auction. So right. I ain't going to have time to, yeah, she got to have time to get all that stuff set for us. Yeah, I'll be taking the computer with me. So anything she works on, I can go use the computer to. To fix, she does most of the spreadsheet, and then I work on the rest of it after she does her part. We both, I, I do the easy part of the spreadsheet. She does the hard part. Yeah, y'all didn't have a spreadsheet tonight, did y'all? Yes, we did. Oh, okay. Yeah, we always have a spreadsheet every week. I didn't see it uh, in the description boxes. On Mama T's or yours? Uh, I hardly ever put it up. Because we usually post it in the link as we're, you know, in, in the room. We always oh, post it in yeah. the room as we go along. Oh, okay. Oh, it's my drop down on my video. No and she works. puts it on her drop down on her videos. Down there in the description, she does put it in there. Uh, but wait. nobody seems, for some reason, they don't watch the videos. They go in there, they watch the first couple of minutes, and then they say something and they leave. People are not watching the whole videos. Because I checked uh, Mama T's uh, video from yesterday, because Johnny uh, and Alex had wanted to know uh, what was in the auction. Uh, the best way to tell you can go to my community page. The very last uh, one that I posted over a month ago, we just redo it every month. Oh, okay. Every week, I mean, we change the day. Oh, okay. Now I know where to go on it. Because Alex yeah. was telling me uh, when we met up today in Livonia, he was like, uh, I want to get into Big T's uh, auction. I'm like, uh, and your auction. I'm like, what, you got something you want to sell? He says, no, I want to buy. I'm like, oh, okay. I oh, said, well, oh, Big, Big T is going to be live in a couple of hours. Uh, From now on, like, on Sunday, usually by Sunday, Sunday evening. Oh. And then Alex said, well, when is he live? I said, every Monday, every Monday night. I said, six by you time, you know, our time. And he was like, oh, okay. So he says, I'll be there. Yeah. And which, like you said, he was he was there. You know, for a little while during the auction. Now, I don't know yep. if he bought anything or not. You, uh, know? No, you still hadn't bought anything. But, I mean, during the auction, we we're always putting up the uh, the link. I got, you. I got you. All right, Whitney, you and Gaming have a good night. All right. Good night. Bon week. Love, peace, and crackling grease. Catch y'all. Pluta. Y'all take care. Oh. Be safe. With all that beer flu going around, please be safe. Yep, the beer virus. The beer flu. Yeah, the beer flu. That's what I call it, the beer flu. Yeah, me it's too. If you call it by its real name. Ah, man, that's... Uh, I'm tired of the real name. That's why I call it the beer flu. Well, the to me, the real name is bullshit. There you go. BS flu. Yep. Well, because more people die a year from a common cold and a regular flu than they have this thing. Uh, well... They had uh, 15, 16,000 people in the last week just contracted the beer flu in Florida. That's yeah. a lot. That's a lot. And that was on right. the news this morning. 15,000 people? Man. I think they just thought, you know, because they've known about it since 2009. 
They have known about it since 2009 and just now becoming a pandemic. Give me a break. Well, more people are aware now, and when they run a fever, they go in and get the check, and yes, so more and more cases, individual cases are coming out. You know? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say Bill Gates forced the vaccine. You know, Bill Gates is just a computer guy, but then chipping us. Yeah. Hey, the, one day there may be. I've seen you know, you know, usually movies of Vinci are, are like telling the future what will actually happen one day, you know? Yeah, you're right. Correct. Correct. But, you know, when you got to think, when we were kids, they were showing, you know, 2000, 2001, 2002, we'd have flying cars. Yeah. Eh, well, we haven't really got those yet. We kind of do. We got hover, the ones that'll, you know, will puff up on a, uh, on an airbag and float around, but as far as taking off and flying, no. Yeah, like Back to the Future. <laughs> yeah, uh, we don't have yeah. that yet. You never know, they might have some of them out there that we don't even see that the government's hide. Could, could be. But you know, you they know they they finally let out Area 51. The government finally said, yeah, we have an Air Force base out there. You know, yeah, but that's all they're saying. Nobody's allowed on it. You can't get in there. Nope. And you why? They that, that video where this guy was driving the tourist uh, SUV and somebody, right when he got to the sign that said, no, nothing beyond this point. Uh uh, uh, forceful, whatever, uh, or whatever will yeah. be shot, you know. Yeah, with somebody, somebody in the tourist in the back seat were asking him a question, he turned around and blew through the damn boundary line. And oh, yeah, the camo guys stopped yeah. him right away. <clears throat> they let the, the sheriff's department. Take him away, and the only one that got the fine was the driver and not the tourist, uh, because they wanted to shut the company down, the tourist company. Well, there's two guys that a uh, they used to do yo know, adventures and all out. There it was a father and son team that uh, went out there one time. <clears throat> to the back gates and all like that, where they, you know, it's just a little dirt path back there. And uh, they crossed over the line, took pictures, stepped over the line and all like that. They ended up six months in one of them camps. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. They have they have a thick place where they keep them for six months. Yeah. Hey, Gleason. Yeah, somebody's lurking. And after that, they closed down their, they basically have not put nothing else on their YouTube channel ever since that. They basically, that, nobody heard from them for a while. And then all of a sudden, little by little, the sun started uh, talking a little bit to certain people. But yeah, they ended up six months in an internment camp, encampment. I'm just waiting for uh, well, the only reason I think the only reason they made this a pandemic was because they tried to <clears throat> impeach Trump. It didn't work. And uh, then right after that didn't work, they turned around and all said, oh, there's a pandemic flu going on. That's my thoughts on it. I think I agree with you. You got to look. It, it runs par for course. I mean, 
they, you know, he's a good president. Don't get me wrong. He's a good president, but he's got to, you know, between his mouth and his tweeting out on Twitter, you know, makes him seem like an asshole. Well, maybe he is an asshole, but he's a smart asshole. Right. He's trying to run this country right. Yo, he knows he's how to go down in history. He's gonna go down in history as one of the best presidents there ever was. Bar none. Because he will get elected again. Yeah, I have a feeling he'll he'll get elected again. There you go. Trying to shut it down. Rather have him than Sleepy Joe. Oh, or, Joe Biden is, is or a can't Trump. remember Joe. Yeah, he, he tries saying stuff and is like, um uh uh uh, that that thing, you know, uh, dude, you're fucked in the head. Give it I up. I seen a, a YouTube ad today. Uh, this afternoon, I seen a YouTube ad where Joe Biden is not begging, but saying, "Please, y'all do me a favor. We at the end of this quarter now. We starting a new quarter." Please help us get this new quarter started. Please send five, ten, fifteen dollars, or just send whatever you can to get this new quarter started for my campaign fund. Really? Come on. Trump don't ask for no money. No. Nope. Uh, man. Trump's got his own freaking money. He don't even want to get paid a president's salary. He, he's yeah, got to yeah. take it. Though. He's got to take it. By Irish, all means, he has to take it. Iris, did you resend me your address? I don't know if you... I didn't see it. Resend me your address, if you would. Bring home all the troops from World War II. How are you going to do that? What, the bodies? Most everybody from World War II is dead. My dad was in World War II. The whole damn thing. My dad died in 2000. His, my dad was born in 2018. My dad went through the whole episode of World War II. He was in there before they bombed Pearl Harbor. He was in there for a year. He volunteered for a year. And then he got out. A month later, they bombed Pearl Harbor, and they called him back in. And he spent until 1945 in there. I wish I had his DD-214 right now. I've, he got got my, dad, dad. I've got my dad's DD-214. Well, I wish I still had my dad's DD-214 where I could show you all the proof I'm talking about. My dad was uh, stormed the beach on D-Day and all that and everything. I wish I had my dad's DD-214 right now. Yeah, I know who my dad is. making $35 a month. $35 a month in the service. Risking getting killed for $35 a month. And was proud of it, too. Yeah. And then he was in the CC camps. I don't know if you ever heard of the CC camps. The what? And the CC camp. It's uh. All right. After World War Two, in the late forties, they had a. It's it's a work program where. Uh, you could work and earn money for your family if you didn't have a job. Well, he went on a GI Bill and my uncle went, my uncle Walter and my uncle Sidney, they were all in the CC camp. And two of them uh, got the GI Bill. In fact, my uncle Loveless, he's the one that started Abbeville Radio and Record Shop. That's who gave me the inspiration to, for me getting into electronics when I was a kid. Yeah. Just look at the CC camp. And you're going to see 
all kind of stuff on Google where uh, that, that's when they were building the levees, like the Mississippi levees and all that. Yeah. And they were hiring people that wanted to work. That was the CC camps, they called it. It was called, uh, it had something to do with the government. Uh, that's usually the Army Corps of Engineers. Yeah, but but you were hired out by the CC camps for the Corps of Engineers that was doing the Mississippi River levee, like the Chafalaya Basin levee, uh, doing whatever job they gave you. It's called a CC camp. And they got uh, in the historical uh things in fact uh what's that guy's name uh the good of the land i think his grandpa was in the cc camps and he was showing in texas <laughs> over in texas some of the old barracks about that irish uh, you're funny yeah <laughs> right. Did anybody see my horse and buggy i swear i parked it here <laughs> oh he went back to the future in the night before the next day. He thought he was at the dang. I told him, oh my God. <laughs> Too funny, Luck. That's something hidden would come out with. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know Irish is in that. Yeah. Yeah, he came right. Yeah, they say he's got what? Uh, Alzheimer's or uh, dementia or something. Both of them, I think. Three girls, two boys, and it was oh. six of them. Six grandkids. He said he has three girls and two boys. Yeah, that's five. Three and two, five. Unless you do the Jethro math, it takes him a half hour to do three and two. Not, not from not equals not. Well, my dad, my dad had three kids. My mom had four kids, but yet there's only six of us. But one died. <laughs> oh, wait a minute! I didn't hear it all the way. My dad had three kids. My mom had four. Yet there's only six of us. Okay. Well, you one of them. Yeah. That's what I said. Daddy had three. Mama had four. But there's only six of us. Yeah. Right. Okay. You the other one. No, I'm I'm amongst that six. Oh, okay. Are you lost, Cajun? You trying uh, to do no. that, ain't you? No, not really. Uh, okay, then explain it. Uh, your daddy had. Daddy had three kids. Three. Mama had four. Okay, but there's only six of us. Wait. Well, nope, that's no what I said. Somebody I'm died. Not, I'm not counting. I'm not counting my sister that died. I'm okay, wait a minute. I, I'm not going to hear the answer. I don't want to listen to the answer. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, Big T, hold on. I'll, I'll get this success out. Okay. Big T, your dad had four? No, daddy had three. Okay, dad had three. Okay, wait. Dad had three. Mama had four. four. Okay, wait. Mama had four. But there's only six of us. But there's only six. But it's only easy to figure out. A lot of people figure it out right away. Okay, I'll figure it out and I'm turning the speaker down so I don't want to hear it. All right. Irish. Here it is. My dad had two. Mama had four, but there's only six. My, my dad had two kids by his first marriage. And my mom had three by her first marriage. 
Wait, I'm going to mute myself. Yeah, while I'm two just of them, they had me, so which means my dad had three and my mama had four. I make my dad's third one and my mom's fourth one. You get it? Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, I didn't know if anybody was talking or not. Speaker's down. So okay. your dad had three kids and your mama had four kids, but there's only six of y'all, right? Right. Okay. All right. I'm turning the speaker down and I'm meeting myself again. All right. Okay, uh, Irish. Where's my pen here? Okay, Iris, right here. There's mom and dad. Okay. My dad was married. My dad was married once before. Okay. He had two kids. My mom was married once before. She had three kids. All right. Two kids and three kids, right? That's not counting me. All right. No problem, uh, Imperian. All right. You see that? Oh, thank you, Imperian. All right, uh, luck. My dad had two kids by his first marriage. My mom had three kids by her first marriage. Now, when they married together, they had me. All right. All right, cool, Imperian. They had me, so that made... Another one. Right there. Number three for my dad was me. Number four for my mom was me. You see? <laughs> See, that's the way you can mess with somebody. Daddy had three, mama had four, but there's only six of us. Yep, it's a good one. And no, you're not drunk, Irish. It's just me. It's a good riddle. No, Ma, no, baby. Daddy had two by his first marriage. Mama had three by her first marriage. I make daddy's number three and mama's number four. You get it? Daddy had three kids. Mama had four. You would or you wouldn't be trying to figure it out. Daddy had Beth, Penny, and me. Mama had Buddy, Tony, Deborah, and me. You get it? No, I'm not Let me do something here. Wait, let me ask Big a question. Okay. Okay. Are you saying that your daddy had three kids and your mama had four kids? Yep. And there's okay. only six of us. 
and there's only six of y'all. Right. Ah, uh, but there's only six of y'all. Right. Three, nobody died. Yeah, nobody died because I said, well, one of y'all died and somebody else in the chat, because I got the chat off. Somebody else said one of y'all died. Uh, that's not the that's not the answer. <laughs> Cajun uh, is really simple. No, I yeah, I can imagine it's simple, but I want to figure it out. Okay. I know it's all logical. Okay. It has to do with logic. Exactly, baby. And Mama T just now figured it out. Mama T just figured it out. Yep, and she okay. worked on it last time. I'm concentrating on this. Uh, I gotta go hang off the dock. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> If Biden wins, we're in a world of shit. He would be the one that would send us into World War Three. So they're going to tell him that red button, you don't touch it no matter what. And he'll wake up the next day and say, oh, if I need something, I'm supposed to push this red button right there. And he'll push it. So... Yep, Gleason, I am a tad bit loony. Mm -hmm. Come on, okay, I have a question for you. All right. Okay. Uh, damn, I forgot what it was. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's six of y'all kids left? No. Uh, okay. That would mean somebody would have had to die. You know, Miss is saying 14 or 21 or something. I'm like, no, I don't think he's going in that direction. Uh, <laughs> Daddy had three kids, right? Uh, and Mama had four kids. But there's only six of y'all kids left? No. Mama had, Daddy had three. Three kids. Mama had four, but there's kids. only six of us. Kids, right? Okay, because Daddy had three her. kids. Mama had four kids, but there is only six of us. Oh, wait a minute! I think I got it. Okay, tell me. I got it. I got it. I Look, think I do. I think I do. Off. Hold on. Let me do some math right here. Hold on. Did Hold you? on. And I got my paper here. See, I got it wrote down. I got it wrote down. <laughs> See, with my cash app thing. Okay. Hold on. There's only six of us. Okay. I, th I, I got it now, I think. Hold on. I'm going to mute myself again. And I'm turning down the speaker volume. All right. <laughs> Cajun's so funny. He's trying to figure it out so bad. <laughs> yeah, I wish I am. <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm trying to tell him, but he won't let me tell him, Iris. It's so easy. <laughs> I think he's trying to use Cajun logic.
It's just funny. It's it's funny as can be. Uh, no, I didn't. Was it a silver one, Iris? Oh, wow. The gold one went for three forty nine. And the silver solid the bronze one going for one twenty. Wow. Okay, two ducks in front of two ducks. And two ducks in the back of two ducks. And two ducks in the middle of two ducks. Okay, I got another question for you. Okay. Okay. So, dad had three, mama had four kids, right? Yeah. Said there's only six of us. Right. Six of us kids? There's six kids all together, yes. Yeah, okay. Dad had three, mama had four. I was thinking that the mom or the dad has to do in this equation. Cajun, uh, you, you, the way you're figuring, you're figuring up, <laughs> you ain't going to get it the way you're doing it. Okay. It'll take you days. Well, I'm trying to do math with this damn logical question, or illogical, <laughs> the way I'm thinking. I'm thinking illogically instead of logical. Okay. My dad okay. was married once before, and he had two kids. Well, okay, I was going to okay. say this for, for a stepmom. My and dad was married. My dad was married once before. He had two kids. My mom was married once before and had three kids. I'm the kid between them. I make daddy's number three and mama's number four. Okay. Well, I did say that earlier. I said there's a stepdaddy in there somewhere. No, the, no. My uh, my mom and dad were not step to either one of us okay see when my dad was married once before he had two kids right okay he got divorced and he had two kids my mom was married once before she had three kids she got divorced that made three kids for her right. when they got together they had one kid me yeah so I make daddy's number three, mama's number four. But together, I'm one person. Yeah, well, that's what I was getting at earlier. I said, there's a stepdaddy in there somewhere. And if I go back in the video, or either I was thinking that, I said, there's got to be a step parent in there somewhere, you know, where you have a, a not a, illegitimate brother or sister but there's a stepbrother or sister in there somewhere. no i don't none of them are stepbrothers or sisters to me they're all half brothers and half sisters or half yeah that's what i meant yeah okay well yeah that's it okay yeah that's the way you were doing it you were going the long way around doing it I mean, but i think i did say 
Well, no, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't I say did that. Right. Okay. Nope. I'll have to. I'll have to rewatch it at the end of the video. But I was thinking, more or less on the lines. There's got to be a stepdad or, uh, you know, a different marriage in there. <laughs> Yeah, that was the one question you should have asked. Were they married at one time beforehand? Yeah, I thought I did say that or ask that. Yeah, I showed it. To, uh, I showed it on there. Yeah, right but there. I, wasn't, I wasn't watching that. I was watching my paper. Yeah. I had the volume down and all that since the beginning of this uh, riddle. You know, well, yeah, okay. See if I went... Six. One, two, three. No, the six. Four, five. His daddy had his daddy had a couple of kids six, from his six, first six, marriage, and then his mama had a couple of kids from her for, first marriage, and then they had Big D. Right so, there, right there, it shows it. Mama, like one, two, three. Daddy's four and five. And you look at me under both of them, and I make number six. Yeah, right, right. Okay, let me get my uh, chat back up. I bet you everybody's laughing at <laughs> laughing at me like big time. Yeah, it's a, it fools a lot of people because they do the same thing. It's like, will somebody yeah, die? I, I was doing the logical thing, and, and I knew there was a step-parent or, or a different marriage in there. Mike Badger got it. One kid was theirs. Right. Yeah. How you doing, Badger? And one was sold off for a bag of silver. <laughs> well, I could have used, I did have a sister before I was, three years before I was born, that died at two and a half months old of crib death. Oh, okay. But yeah. she's not counted in the equation. Right, right. Yeah, because she was only right. two and a half months old. Yeah, uh, I got a brother that died uh, at like two months old. He was uh, two years older than me. Yeah. You better eat that, take a book. Yeah, Cindy would have been uh, 65 this year. Yeah, Cindy would have been 65 this year. Not not 65, 55. I'm sorry, she would have been 55 this year. Yeah, I had a brother two years older than me that died at like two, three months old. Yeah, uh, yeah, Cindy was three, would have been three years older than me. I got two uncles that died before they was a year old. In fact, I helped Daddy uh, make their new. They were buried underneath a oak, a big oak tree. So I helped Daddy make two. We formed up two concrete when I was a kid. We formed up two concrete slabs, and Daddy had uh, uh, markers. You know, the granite stone with their names on it, marked. Uh, on the outside of that big oak tree. In fact, it was kind of close to that oak tree when we did it. So I don't know if that oak tree has done overgrown the roots, overgrown those tombstones yet. Uh, Gleason, the question is six. Two ducks in the front, two ducks in the back, two in the middle. That makes a total of six. Yeah, he said there was dad had three, mom had four, but there's only six of them. Uh, Gleason, you cannot, if there's two ducks in the front of two ducks and two ducks in the back of two ducks, that makes four. Now, if there's two ducks in the middle, Oh, you are right. You are right. Four. I didn't think of it. Single line. Four. Yep. Two ducks in front of two ducks. Two ducks behind two ducks. 
two ducks in the middle. Yep, four straight. I didn't think of a straight line. I was thinking side by side. But you are correct. Okay, so. Well, who's number four? You? No, it was a question Gleason had. If there's two ducks in front of two ducks. Oh. And two ducks be in back of two ducks. And then there's two ducks in the middle of two ducks. Oh. How many ducks in total? Oh, let me go up and chat. Okay, two ducks in front of two ducks. Two ducks in the back of two ducks. And two ducks in the middle of two ducks. How many ducks total? Four. Huh? Yeah. And two ducks in the middle. Oh, yeah. Four. Yeah. That's just like. Uh, See, that's the only way. The way it comes out to four is if they're standing in single line, you know, single line, because there'll be two up front, and two in the back, right? And there'll be two in the middle. Ow! What's Joe Biden's favorite game? Space Invaders. Oh my God, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Thank you, Luck. <laughs> uh, okay, two ducks and two ducks remind me of another uh, logical thing. Uh, and hell, I just forgot about it. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. If, <laughs> if you in, let me see how it goes. If you in a race, like say a foot race or whatever. And see, how does that go? And you pass up second place. What place are you in? That's how it goes. No, if you're in a foot race or a car race and you pass up second place, what place are you in? Hold on. I was looking at badges. One more time, Cajun. Oh, okay. If you're in a foot race or a car race and you uh -huh. pass up second place, what place are you in? You're in second. That's right. Because you were in third place. Yep. You passed up second place, so you are in second place now. And Badger, the answer to yours, if you have no brothers, you have no sister, but that man's father is your father's is your father's son, that person would be you. Yeah, look, you see what I'm doing? Me. <laughs> yep, that's an easy one. That's an old one. Yeah. No badger, you would not be first. If you passed up second second place, that would put you in second place. Yeah, because you were in third place. Because you were in third place, passing that, passing second place, so that put you in second place then, and the second right. place would be in third. Right. <laughs> That's a good one right there. That's a moneymaker at a bar. All right, All right Irish, go for All it. Right. Yeah, all right, Lucky. Uh, let's see. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have nobody. I have nobody. But I come alive with wind. What am I? Oh, I know that. Um, uh, I want to say fire. I mean, just... You know, that fast. I want to say just say fire. Oh, Mike Badger said wrong, Big D. On his reel. Oh, wait a minute. Brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father 
is my father's son. Who is that person? Well, I want to say it's me. Wait, brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father is my father's son. Who is that person? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's a different one. Uh, brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father is my father. Uh. Uh, okay, I got it. Um, that man's father is my father's son. Is my father's son. Damn it, I know this one because I, I read that a long time ago. And I wanted to say it was me too. Uh, that man's father. Hey, Pammy. Hey, Miss Pammy. How you doing? Okay. Uh, speak without a mouth and hear without a ears. And I, I know that one. I have nobody yeah. to come alive with wind. What am I? Uh, I don't know why I want to say fire right off the bat. Uh, okay. I speak with, without a mouth. I hear without ears. All right, let me see. I'm still trying to do the first one. I know this one. Uh, hold on, Iris. Give me a minute. Yeah, I know both of them. I've heard him before. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father is my father's son. I believe I believe Pammy's right. I believe it is a river. Father. Father's son is the father. It's got to be the father. No, it's not a river. It's not a river. Let's see. Speak without a mouth. Uh... Echo? Echo, yeah. Gleason, that's right, an echo. An mm. echo. I knew I knew it. Let me see. Uh, speak without a mouth and hear without ears. An echo, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. A river makes sense. A river has a mouth. Yeah, okay, he said Gleason got it. Yeah. Okay, now what about... Uh, it's either... Brothers and sisters, I, I think know. that means it's my son. But that man's father is my father's son. That's going to be yeah, either the father, brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father... That man's father is my father's son. It's got to be his father. No, uh, <laughs> my ne his nephew, his nephew. But that man's father is my father's son. Okay. Someone can solve this riddle. You can keep my wind from the night. Oh, oh, it's a new riddle. I have cities but no houses. I have mountains but no trees. I have water but no fish. What am I? 
I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? Oh, that one's oh, easy. easy. That one's easy, Irish. What, the one with cities and houses? Uh -huh. No trees and no water, but no fish. What okay, think of what, what has cities, but has no houses. Then think what would have mountains, but no trees. Now you can look at this and you look at it with it's laying flat down. You'll see cities, but you won't see houses. Oh, Dolly Parton? <laughs> no. Oh, cities, not titties. Never mind. Yeah, cities, not titties. <laughs> In mountains, but no trees. And then you have water, but you won't see fish. Oh, with the yeah. map. A map, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Penny got it the same time I did. It's a map. Yeah, I'm thinking too much out the box. Yeah. A badger. Yours is nephew. That man is father. Father. Yeah. I'd have to do the little stick figures on that one. Uh, okay. Let me go up here and read it again. Who is that person? Okay. Wow. All right. Let me do a stick figure. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm all alone right here. Okay. All alone. No brothers and sisters. Zero. Zero. Brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father. Okay. And his father. Let me put another stick figure up here. And his father. And my father's son. Yeah, I want to say that's the father. I want to say the father. And I always did say that, and I know that. that. Mike said, I think you said it a while back, Big B. Gleason said, nephew. It's actually a paradox. Kind of, yeah, like a catch it's 22. It's actually a paradox. Yeah, like a catch 22 type deal. <laughs> Pammy got it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we already set a map. Yeah. No Pammy, no Gleason. Badger. Because it would either be you, a uh, badger, but it's actually a paradox. Mike said, no, Cajun, that's not it. 
because I said father or me. And you said nephew. Well, originally I said himself. Yeah. Like Andy just said, I originally said himself. I think but so, yeah. It's actually a paradox because it actually really can't work that way. And that might be no family, not himself. Uh. There's actually a couple of different ways it can be answered, but the true answer is it's a paradox. Brothers and sisters, I have known. You see a boat filled with people. You know, that's not. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't even want to know the answer. I'm going to. No, I can't do that neither. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do that. And I want to figure that out. I want to do the math on that. Okay, copy. Uh, Okay. Paste that right there. What's that, baby? Oh, I didn't have it. Okay, I'm not even going to look at that. All right. I don't even want to know the answer. No paradox. Like I said, X missing. Brothers and sisters. So there's a couple of different ways to explain it, but it breaks down to a paradox also. Or the daddy. I got to copy and paste it so I could write it down on paper and <laughs> My hands father. Oh, crap. Okay. It's your grandfather. You're your own grandfather. No, not uncle. Grandfather. Yeah, I heard it one time before. You're your own grandfather. Something... Something like that, I believe. No.
Oh. Duh. It's the father himself. No, it's the father himself. Okay, grandson. <laughs> The father herself is who it is. That's what I said earlier. The father. My dad. My father. No. He said no. Grandson. Tammy Jones said. No brothers and sisters. Well, I said it's me or it's gonna I said it's gonna be either me or my father. I said that earlier. All right, all right, Badger, then. I mean, we've given every possible answer, then what is it? Nope, we're talking about all males here, Pammy. That man's father is my father's son. We've given every answer there could be. Father, grandfather, himself, son. The man is my son. The man is my son. Mike said. Okay. Oh. That would be the grandchild. The man is my son. It's the way you read it. Yeah, Badger, you're right. You're right. I get. I got it now. It's the inflection on the way you read it. You can read it different ways, but if you don't read it the right way, you read you. Know, you won't figure it out. See, brothers and sisters, you don't have no brothers and sisters. Right. Okay, it's actually supposed to be, you're looking at a picture. That man's father is my father's son. Who is that person? Yeah, that would be my son. Like, okay. Right. If if you do it, like I'm going to explain it here in a sec. Brothers and sisters, I have none. It, it's a rhyme riddle. Well, it's it's but, all, all in the inflection on the way you say it. But that, yeah, that man's father is my father's son. Okay, that means this person, I'm the daddy. Yeah. And... I'm the yeah, son out. <laughs> of the 
Uh, who is that person? Yeah, makes a lot. Hey, of flies low. Long time no see, my brother. How are you doing, fly? I have not seen you in a long time, fly. About eight months. A long time, yeah. Right, I'm going to go get my shower ready. Okay, Pammy. Suppose you're looking at a picture. And there's a man in that picture. Okay. You have no brothers and sisters. You're a man. Okay. And you're looking at this picture of a, of, of a man in a picture. And you say, that man's father right there is my father's son. That man's father is my father's son. Now, you're your father's son, so that would mean the pic person in the picture would be your son. Oh, uh, cool. Fly. Where you been hiding that fly? I haven't seen you in, oh, ages, months and months ago. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, about eight months. Six, seven, eight months ago. Okay, Pammy. You're looking at a picture of a man. Okay. You know you have no brothers, you have no sisters. All right, I already explained it to her one time. Yeah, like I said, you're a man, okay? You're looking at a picture of another man, all right? You sit there and say, that man's father is my father's son. So since you are your father's son, that means the man in the picture is your son. Oh, that's cool, Fly. I'm glad you stopped by. Uh, all right, Pammy, since you're female, you're looking at a picture of a girl in a picture. Hey, lady. Yeah. Got some towels. Uh, yeah, yeah, there, there. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> that probably what it is, Pammy. You're looking at a picture of a woman. Since you're female, you're looking at a picture of a woman. You're not a... You don't, you don't have no siblings, no brothers, no sisters. And you say to yourself, that woman's mother is my mother's daughter. Okay? Which make that would make that your daughter. Uh, I can probably do it better with. Okay.
Okay. No, Penny. The mother. I'll show you this way. I'm gonna put me on the big screen. Here's the sign. Brothers and sisters, for I have none. For the man in the picture is my father's son. Okay? The man in the picture is my father's son. Or, don't get myself confused in, here in a minute. Yeah, that man's, this man's father is my father's son. So if you are your father's son, and the person in the picture is a son would make it your son. Because the picture says that man's brothers and sisters, I have none. There's I. But this man's father is my father's son. Now, my father's son is me. So that must mean that's my son. Yeah. Yeah, that man's father is my father's son. Who is that person? That's it, the son. The father of this man is my father's son. The right. father of this man is this father's son. So this son had a son, and that's who they're looking at. You got to read it this way. Brothers and sisters. Okay, no, this is right. This is right. I mean, I looked it up a couple of different ways for it to be a paradox and all like that, but you read it the right way. Brothers and sisters, I have none. Okay, which means you're an only child. Now, that man right there we're looking at, his father is my father's son. Now, I'm my father's son. So that would mean that boy. Yeah, who is that man? Mike restated it. Who is that man? Oh, oh. be right back. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, I have none, so I'm a single child. That man's fa that man that I'm looking at, his father is my father's son. Since I'm an only child, that would mean I'm the person in the picture's father. So that would make it my son. We're trying to fit you're trying to figure out 
Who is in the picture? Nope, not a grandson, Gleason. Well, the grandson from the original man. Yeah, but once you... that'd be your dad's grandson. So that'd be your but son. That's not the question you're asking. Uh, that man is my son. What Mike Badger just said. Exactly. That's why I explained it the way I did. We're looking at a picture of a man. And I sit there and go, that man's father right there is my father's son. Hey, guys, I got to run. My bath water, my bathtub's getting full. And as always, everybody, see y'all later. Love, peace, crack on grease. I'll catch y'all. Blue tie. And yeah, that's, that's me. All right. Have a good one, Cajun. All right. Blue tie, y'all. Blue tie. Had, had a blast. Loved it. <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to read it. You're looking at a picture. Brothers and sisters, I have none. But that man's father is my father's son. It's all in the inflection on the way you say it. Well, the original riddle was about a picture. But it's over the years, it's been broken down. All right, Badger, have a good one. Yep, you got it right there, Flies Low. Yeah, there's always, you know, it's always the inflection. And a lot of jokes have met, you know, people have maneuvered them over the years and taking parts out and all like this to where it makes it harder to uh, solve the riddle. There's another one. It's kind of a gruesome one, but I can't remember all of it. All right, Pam, you have. I think I'm gonna get off here too. It's already four o'clock in the morning. It's going on nine hours. <laughs> Past hour and a half, we've been trying to figure out riddles of, of each other. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, actually, yes, Matt. We're uh, wrapping it up now. <laughs> All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all coming out tonight, but this fat man's gonna uh head out himself. Uh I appreciate everybody that stayed up this late listening to us ramble about stupid stuff now <laughs> and trying to figure out riddles. And Pammy, you have a good night. David, you have a good night. S Mac, you have a good night. Uh, 
Mr. Mike Badger, Mr. Flies Low, Mr. Gleason News. All oh, y'all have a great night, Cajun. I think he's already gone too. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate you for sticking around and hanging out with the old fat man here. <laughs> but this old fat man's gonna go make Mama T her uh, nightly stack snack that should have been a while ago. And hit the bed. But I will see y'all all later. And until the next time, this is Big T saying, May all your hobo dreams come true. <laughs> and much love to everybody. Y'all take care of everybody. Kiss your loved ones. Make sure you... I don't know what I'm saying now. I'm getting too tired. <laughs> but y'all take care, everybody. Huh? Oh, bite me. All right, everybody. Y'all have a great night. Y'all next time. Nighty night. <laughs>